On screen, say hello to them. Wave, everybody. Wave to them. Hi. All right, oh. there we go. Wave, everybody. Here is your cast for February 9, 2019. Shea. All right. Mary Catherine, your camera keeps going off. She's stuffing her bra. Oh, okay. Doesn't Expo for that one, mate. Just the one side, though. She likes a grapefruit on one side and a teacup on the other. Ah, yeah, uh, that makes sense. Kids. That makes sense. All right, welcome, gentlemen, ladies. Welcome to the Raj Royale podcast. Wonderful to have you all, everybody. I'm going to give you guys a chance to introduce every single one of you one by one. S fan, you're in uh, Austin's old room. That's very nice. Uh, look, yes, I just moved in, actually. Yeah, well, that's nice that you know, since it's vacant now, somebody had to move in and stream from there. So that's very exciting. Uh, okay, so let's introduce our cast one by one. We're going to start with Miss Candyland. Hello, welcome to the Raj Royale. How are you? Hi, I'm very good, thank you. How are you? I'm doing well. My God, I love your choker. That's so nice. Mm. I Do love you? that. Whew, wow. Yeah, I'm trying to look a little bit more badass. I realized yesterday I like uh, guys who wear face masks. Yeah. They, that's really hot. So, so uh, I'm trying to look more badass to attract more badass guys. Wow. Well, I think there's a company that came out with a face mask recently. Uh, that's the topic of today. One of the topics. Uh, anyways, welcome <laughs> aboard Candyland. Everybody, say hello Thank to Candyland, you. ladies, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we lost one. Go ahead and knock Bye. if if you if you lost. All right. Uh, welcoming to the Raj Royale podcast, Mr. Method Josh. Hello, Method Josh. Did a fantastic job on the reverse show. Welcome back, sir. How are you? I'm really good. Is this not the dating show? Thing? No. Uh, all right. <laughs> fuck it. Hey, did, anyone? Yeah, okay, whatever. Did it's you cool. think right, this was the dating great. show? It doesn't matter. I guess we're here now. So okay, whatever. well, welcome to the show. This has nothing to do with dating. You're in for a wild ride. I hope you didn't... Uh... <laughs> You're in for a very wild ride, right, we're Josh. We're fine, we're fine. Let's That's go. all right. Yeah, you're probably wondering why there were so many other men here. You're like, wow, this is a lot of competition. Uh, everyone say hello to Method Josh. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing from the Last Royale podcast, Invader V. Welcome. Good to see you, ma'am. How are you? Uh, I'm great. I'm trying to do double duty by being a good dog mom and also like a good participant on whatever the fuck Well, I'm is. so excited. Are you, you, you don't have a tent for it anymore. What is this called that you're in? No, 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 no. This is, a bl this is still the blanket fort. We had to reshape the blanket fort because it was getting in the way of everybody else who wants to like live and survive outside of the blanket fort but still in this building. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> All right. Well, everybody say hello to Invader V. Good to have you on the Royale podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't know which way he's looking. E Rob 221. Well, welcome aboard, man. Good to see you. Good to see you. You know what? Honestly, one of my favorite emotes of you is the the uh, the eye emote. What's the the fucking uh, fuck? It's the fucking. Uh, is it the Pepe with the yes, the Pepe eye? with the wonky eye. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, well, welcome aboard, E Rob. Are you? In, where are you now? What's going on? I'm living with Miss Kiff. You're living probably with Miss Kiff. You probably really? Don't know. Oh my God, I had no idea you were living with Miss Kiff. Yeah. He's and supposed he to come on my yet? show next week. We'll see if he he's shows up. Huh? He's not gonna, <laughs> he's not gonna he come, come on, on, is he? Exactly. Why is he so chicken? Because he's scared, dude. He doesn't want to grow. Oh my God, he's wait. He doesn't want to get too big. Is that really no, what he's afraid he's of? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Everybody, say hello to E Rob, ladies no, and gentlemen. I can't even, I'm a badass, so. Are you? Yeah, you yeah. look like a little bit like a badass. Yeah. What happened to Marie? Uh, we don't want to talk about that. <laughs> oh. Wait, is that, the, is that the girl from the CSGO Twitch clip? Yeah, yeah. Oh. No. no, 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 she's the, oh, wait, that's hey, the French one. Why are there, why are there, why is there toilet paper on your bed, on your bed, on your bed? Mm -hmm. Ooh, uh-oh. Can we go get rid of that real quick? Uh, is that? Well, no, because, yes. You guys, he can't, it's glued down. Where's People were saying I couldn't fit my dick in uh, toilet paper rolls. <laughs> so what? You cut out. Okay. Say again. So what'd you do? You no, know, he was testing it. He, he wanted to see. I wanted to see if I could fit my dick in it. I think that's a cum. I, I think that's cum rag, isn't it? Yeah. Could you? But it's glued down. You can't talk. get it off. <laughs> next person. Glued down with what? <laughs> next person, move on. Come. All right, next person. Mini Titan, welcome to the Raj Ryan podcast. Introduce yourself. Hey, since nobody doing, knows who you are I'm anymore. What's going on? Me. Tell us about yourself, sir. Oh, me, I'm the fucking resident dumb cunt. Uh, I'm here just to talk fucking pure shite. Slicker's gone, fucking. So some hey. other pathetic motherfucker had to take his place. So hey. you know, yes, I'm just right. Hey, that's right. Welcome, this fight. Where are you from? Tell him where you're from. Scotland. Scotland forever. 
There you go. Welcome, Mini Titan, to the Raj Royale podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, so happy we could welcome this individual fresh off of their 24 hour ban, not seven day ban, Mr. Hassan Piker. Oh, yes. Welcome. What's going on, everybody? Welcome. Congratulations on your unbanned, sir. Go ahead. Uh, say what you wish. Can't wait to fucking get all of our votes split between me, Destiny, and Izzy for like the first five rounds and then uh, probably get kicked out. Because... Actually, you know what? Slicker's not here. Is... Let's go, boys. <laughs> so I mean, at least, at least, have actual... least Pokey won't be pulling the trigger this once time. Again. Yeah. Slicker's not here. I don't know about this Titan dude. I don't think he's gonna be like uh, he's, he, I don't think he's gonna be serious competition. Asana, I'm so. glad you're here. I'm ready. Oh, fuck up, mate. I'm Please glad this on a dating dude. show because to be honest, this one kind of looked like the one who uh, you like take him home for Netflix, but then you watch a Columbine documentary on your first date. <laughs> <laughs> What is that? Oh, no. <laughs> it's the documentary I was watching when I got banned. Oh, yeah. Oh. All right. Welcome, Mr. Hassan, to the Raj Royale podcast. Introducing to the show, Mrs. Mary Catherine. Welcome to the show, Mary Catherine. Oh, I am so. I love your new hairdo. What'd you do with it? That's the same. I just put on a beanie. Oh, wow. That's amazing. I'm fashionable today. Same shirt, though. Yeah. I, was, I, I do yoga a lot, as you can tell. I'm very fit. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for bringing some men, but and not just like boring e-girls. So yeah, no, absolutely. Like, no, well, excited. yeah, no, no. I'm sorry, but absolutely, like Mary so Catherine. Bad. So nice to have you. All right. Thank you very much, Mary Catherine. Welcome aboard the show. Okay. Introducing to the show, Miss Casey Tron. Hi, Hi, everybody. Hi, I'm Casey. I'm Casey Tron. Um, I've spent the last six years on Twitch pretending to be a dumb bitch. I'm not sure if it's true or not. Um, I'm here to show how good my opinions are and how bad everyone else's opinions are. <laughs> Thank you, Casey. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. You're welcome. Uh, introducing to the show, back for another show, Izzy. Hello, Izzy. Where's hey, you? Raj. How's it going? Uh, I'm I doing well. Welcome. Go welcome. I'm I'm here for my third week, and this time I'm going to farm votes. Chat, you fucking hate me. I will come every week until I win a wood watch by Jord. If you want to get rid of me, fucking vote me to Just win. Just give her a watch, please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Izzy Bear, you kind of look like you're doing a Mary Ca Catherine cosplay, except you look like shit. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Let's not compare uh, trans identity to Let's not get me. there. Let's not cross that road, Stop Betty Catherine. Oh, Probably. Let's not cross into that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> S-Fan, welcome aboard the show. Go What's ahead. Up? Hello. Yeah. Hi. I'm S fan. Yeah. I, uh, I'm a, I'm a wild WoW classic guy. I'm a classic WoW guy, but I can't play classic WoW, so I do a lot of IRL and I do variety and yeah. sometimes I do retail WoW, and that's about it. Yeah, that's amazing. Could you do your flick real quick? Oh, you want to do the flick? Yeah. Could you do the flick real yeah. quick? I just want to. Yes. <gasps> yes. Yes. That's fabulous. That's, that's fucking so fabulous. sexy. Yeah. That's so sexy. All right, last but not least, introducing to the Raj Royale podcast, Destiny, three-time champion of the Raj Royale podcast. Do you think you're going to win today? Obviously. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't even like this shit. I'm just here to make sure no one else. <laughs> Stop gatekeeping, Destiny. Uh, yeah, that's I'm true. Here. Actually, nice. I found a topic that you and uh, you and Hassan you and Hassan won't agree on. By the way, um, what capitalism? Uh, <laughs> it, well, no, it was actually the uh, which will be the topic that we're going to start out today with, but it's going to be exciting. I don't know why the quality shows shit. Is is the quality bad for anybody else, or is it just me? Yeah. It looks like yeah. shit to me too. Yeah, it's like 360p Andy over here. I know. I don't know what the right, fuck's going on. Next slide, Raj. Uh huh. What what'd you say? What'd you say, Manny Catherine? The next slide. So, oh, sorry. Okay. Well, anyways, welcome to the Raj Royal Podcast. Let me uh, ex explain the rules hey, to everybody. Fun. So, hey, train and my co-host, Trainwrecks TV, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for him. Everybody, say hello. Hello, Train. Hello, Train. Hi, Train. Hey, 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 listen, I've been up. I've been up for like 28 hours. Listen, let's do this. Let's yeah. kill it. Hell yeah, baby! Be All right. Be careful. Be take care of your heart. No, it's the hey. brain mate needs to take hey, care of. Okay, so uh, you don't cope. Okay. Okay. Take care of so nose. Train, I'll get you on camera like right after the Next first round. person yeah. leaves. Yeah. If that's Sounds all right great. with you. Um, so oh, I, so anyway, so this is how the rules go on the Raj Royale podcast. Essentially how this goes is you vote for who you want to keep on the Raj Royale podcast. Not kick. Keep, not kick. And then that person, that person will get to decide between the two lowest amount of votes. All right. The last winner of the Raj Royale podcast was Destiny. And I believe he beat, who did he beat in the finals last time? Destiny, who'd you beat? 
Slicker? Slicker. I'm being so bad, that guy fucking ran off Twitch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah shots That's true. He, shots back. fired. He fucking yeah. handle it. That band wasn't an accident. He was fucking embarrassed. <laughs> it was it, literally, it, Slicker um, is going to be back next Thursday for the reverse show and the next Royale podcast, unless he gets banned between that period of time. Uh, but anyway, he, he got banned for harassment or some shit. Uh, okay, first topic oh, is, so and it's glorious. very exciting because... Uh, Hassan and Destiny both disagree. Uh, they disagree on this, uh, and it's very exciting. We talked yeah, about we, it briefly. We disagree on actually like quite a bit. I don't know if you realize this or not. But <laughs> yeah, Destiny and I spend most of our time arguing. Uh, yeah. with him, but he's not fondling my pectorals. Why can't we hear Hassan? What's going on here? Everyone can hear uh, except one. Train, yeah, just leave and enough. come back. You Would you fucking him. mute me, Train? Oh. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. yeah. I, 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 I have him muted. I have to choose my fault. No, I deserve Shit. it. I deserve it. I'm sorry for not. I I, I, I heard that. Uh, really? I heard that your 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 podcast was incredible because there was no Hassan on it. You had like Ooh. 85 fucking posts on your subreddit. Like, thank hey. God there's no politics. It was <laughs> actually the only time. It was the only time I've ever looked at Trainwreck subreddit, and I've only seen positive posts. So I'm just never. Hey. I, I'm, I'm so glad. I'm Listen, so glad that your community hey. can fucking I get actually, together I, and, and I at actually, least have. No, I actually had your back to the point where they were telling me, I, I listen, I, I had your back. If you watch the VOD, I had it. So, hey. Hey. Thank you. Thank you for having my back. Brotherhood. All right. So, I want to talk about this for the first time. And there's people that disagree on it. Um, and it has to do with Liam Neeson. Um, mm -hmm. All right. So, Hell, you're my guy. All oh right. My so, so, Liam Neeson, uh, did it happen during Black History Month? Yeah. Yep. Does that yeah, make it we're worse? still in Black History. Uh, it, it happened in it happened in honor of Black History. Um, so, <laughs> so <laughs> basically, <laughs> that's not how honor works. So, oh, th this is basically yeah, what happened: is Liam work. Neeson came out and said that he w wanted to quote unquote beat up a black guy after he was looking he to be. Didn't say a black oh. guy. What did he yeah. really say? Yeah, what did he quote? He wanted to kill a black. You guy. get the quote. Sorry, I don't want to misspeak. Go ahead. He wanted to kill a black bastard. Oh, a black bastard. Is that what? That's what he said. That's what Liam Neeson said. Uh, and this is after one of his friends were, was raped, correct? Yeah. Brutally raped. Brutally yeah. raped, yes. And this is what yeah, happened. Ne to, okay, do you want the actual, do you want the rape? quote? Yeah, go ahead, quote? go ahead, Hassan. Share the whole quote. Okay, so um, he, so his friend gets raped, and he explains his mindset at the time, adding, but my immediate reaction was, I asked, did she know who it was? No. What color were they? She said it was a black person. And then... He went up and down areas with a kush, hoping I'd be approached by somebody. I'm ashamed to say that. Accent? And I did it for he's, maybe he's a, a week, in World of Warcraft. hoping some mm. black bastard would come out of a pub and have a go at me about something, you know, so that I could kill him. So that's the entire fucking quote. Uh, and, okay, yeah, and it's that's obviously hugely problematic. Understandable. I mean, it's not just What's problematic, your it's fucked up parts of it uh, for some weird reason is, is escaping everyone. Uh, like they're focusing on the fact that like he wanted to go and kill a black person, which is really terrible, of course, obviously. But there, there are uh, there are plenty of weird things to ask. If one of your friends gets raped, the first question is like, what color were they? Like, what color was the rapist? That's a weird. Question so let me to ask immediately. The and then on top of that, to go out and like attack a random person. So was that well, really what they asked? Like, so this was, but how, how many? But he's probably paraphrasing, right? I don't know. Like I just heard. Like, no, this is a good point. I wasn't that whatever, like, Go ahead, yeah, Casey. Let Casey go. He, he probably yeah. is, right? No. Did he say the first thing? I just thing want to talk whenever everybody else is talking. Yeah. <laughs> go, go ahead, Casey. Please. Oh, I was just gonna say, like, I heard a really good point that, like, race is something. Like one of the first things that a police officer will ask whenever, like, trying to figure out who. A person is i just heard somebody bring that up in context to this and i was like oh that's kind of a good point it's very right um, no 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 hold on well, the problem that i have with this go ahead v go no, ahead v no, no. the problem that i have with this quote has i mean i mean it's problematic the way that he framed it the worst fucking part of this is that he is generalizing that's the problem when you say racist shit, is that it not only is it like awful is that it's a huge gross generalization so he is generalizing that it would be equivalent in his conscience and in his fucking mind that if he went out and found somebody who had the same shade of skin that assaulted somebody that he knew and attacked that innocent person, he would feel good about that. Like 
That's the fucking yeah, but problem was... for me. No, but the, the, the problem is, is he wanted a black person to come and fight him so no, that he, he could. He said he was going to go out. Okay, so that makes sense to kill them? I get mad at white people for one specific white person so I can go and instigate and like try to get some white person to fight me so I can go kill them. If you come at me and you stop beating me up, you act like that towards me. One at a time. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You can defend yourself. You can, of course, defend yourself. But if you leave your house going, I want to pick a fight with somebody and I want to kill them because I'm so angry at that type of person, my dude. Then you yeah, when his friend person, was brutally raped, he to be up. my dude, yes, his friend was brutally raped. Brought his weapon, okay? He brought his fucking kush, yeah. whatever. And I looked it up. I had to Google this shit because I was like, "What the fuck is a kush?" He's like, Don't "This is like is that like the, the, the kosher dish? dish? It's a beat, it's, it's a beat like stick. A yeah, it's a fucking beat stick." He's I'm like, "When I'm yeah. when yeah. I'm going out to do hate crimes." I have a weapon, and my weapon is a kosh. That's my favorite weapon to use when I'm going out to beat random black people to find, to, to enact well, vengeance. You're missing the, you're missing the whole context of it, though. This was, he, he literally was, yeah. no. So, so, he was go ahead, Josh. This, this, go ahead, Josh. He was talking about this thing 40 years ago from a point of personal growth, saying that this was unacceptable right. and bad, and that he'd moved on, and that this was one of the darkest times of his life. And the fact that someone talks about that, and then the entire fucking world vilifies them, as if they're a yeah. fucking oh. like, are we, are we never allowed to do anything bad in our past, and point. then move on and grow as a person? Yeah. Like, and all you guys talk about is yeah. how, like, yeah. oh, yeah. he was yeah. pissed yeah. Friend, I do agree with your point. Shit. Yeah, so half of my ago. friends, I thought we half of all of my well. friends say stuff like that all the time, and if they some they get famous, like if it, that comes back. Wait, half of yeah. your friends say that Candyland? Yeah, like, what? what Liam? Hey, okay, hold on, hold on, yeah. Candy, you yeah. totally missed the point. Said your friends. Wait, why are you friends? Go ahead, fucking like, people, man. What? <laughs> Go ahead, Destiny. What the fuck? Why are you friends with like really racist people? Well, no, everybody, everybody, no, it's just how like everybody. Everyone is not like that. Everyone is in Scotland. It's very fucking racist. Yeah, yeah, no, to be There's fair. There's not a lot of black people up here, mate. So, it, we're kind of scared by them, like when you're walking down the street. Wait, are you black, black Mini Titan? My grand eyes, but that's not the point. If you go okay. walking down the street and you see a black person or a group of them coming towards you, you cross the street, you don't walk right in fucking front of them because something might bad happen. You might have to mm -hmm. defend yourself. Wait, is there like a lot of what? Why? What? Oh, what the that fuck? Is crazy. Is it, what? If someone starts fucking you up, you have to defend yourself. Yeah, I know, okay, but isn't, okay, isn't okay, that okay, kind okay, of rude? Okay, if there's like, a group of white people, you'd be like, hey, my homies. Wait, 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 go, 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 go ahead, Hassan. Go ahead, Hassan. You're saying that that's the mentality that people have. You're not saying that that's like what you think, right? No comment. No comment. Oh, shit. Oh, mini Titan, be careful, dude. <laughs> Wait, what the shit, fuck? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. If so... I see black people walking towards me across the street, that's Whoa. not racist. Dude, that's... Uh, yeah, that type. is. That, 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 is. that is. is. That's not that appropriate. Is Many... Like myself, I would never, like, shit, like... Uh... That's that's not a... Uh, that I mean, you yourself... Uh, well, I was going to say African-American, but you're not. Uh, yeah. African-American? But, African but he's Scottish. Scottish. He's Scottish. Yeah, um... I mean, I don't know, Hassan. I, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a. I don't know. Is that racist? Is that racist to think like no. that? Yes, Wait, racist the monolith, to think, yes. all black people I as, think as potentially racist. violent is absolutely racist. What the fuck is not well, racist? Then, then every, nothing violent. is racist if that's not fucking that racist. Is, that is, yeah. And like, I think we should love that everybody. The, that is the definition of like. That's not me being like a fucking social justice warrior reing out uh, uh, about fucking racism. That's literally like that is what you would look at in a textbook and 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 see uh, as far as the definition it's not of racist, racist cuz you don't want to see No that but that's, but, but you're using I with every group of people if I see like okay in Scotland we like to wear tracksuits like that's just our fashion if you see people in tracksuits you're like oh fuck hey better move out of the way ain't fucking with these people yes but the what? But the difference between no but do you not see the difference between that you're profiling an entire race of people which is literally not racism race. I do it with fucking white people as well how the oh, fuck okay, do you get anywhere? Just right. cross right. the street. Right, you just not walking. Are you like please please running across the street? Oh, oh, God. God. Oh, God. Oh, this is why you have a tracksuit. One at a time. One at a time. One at a time. I do have a tracksuit, but that's not the point. One at a time. I will say this. I just got back from London, okay, and I heard that you can't wear two hats there. And if I saw people that look like that guy who tried to tell me that I can't wear two hats, I was like, okay, like if a guy looks kind of dodgy, then I should probably just like stay away from them. Yep. Wait, it's a, it's a, it's a, Wait, what? Yeah, but it doesn't matter like what thing. color someone is. It's no, not, it's, it's not matters. about it's not it's not about the color of the skin, right? Uh, it's that's that's completely ridiculous, right? Mm -hmm. But if yeah. somebody is just like they they you know they're, I, I can't I, I can't describe it. Like that guy came up and he just he, uh, like I don't know he just like looked shady. To okay, me let, let, yeah. okay, yeah. regardless of dangerous Scotland, than many. others. Exactly. So if you see a group of people who are in like baggy shorts and like really long tees with like a. a 
basketball Dreadlocks, yeah, mate. You probably go have you a fucking talk. Who who is like shirt tucked with khakis and stuff? Which which person would you be more fearful of? <laughs> Wait, what? The one who looks like a respectable member of society or someone who you see in movies over and over, you've seen in past a hundred times. Uh, I think the big violence. difference is that right there, yeah, you just describe someone... somebody by their attire rather than their skin color. That's the difference. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I was going to continue to make the point. I would and... be more I would be more apprehensive of someone, an African American dressed like that than I would of someone dressed uh, in like very business casual person. Okay, yeah, but again, what you just said has nothing to do with race, right? I tell you yeah. stuff. Like people do definitely profiling roles. based off of attire or the or the demeanor of people is more understandable than profiling off of someone based on their ethnic background or their race. Mm -hmm. So race I think it's good. good. Like that, that guy, yeah, that yeah. guy, yeah. that guy clearly said he made a mistake and he apologized for it. Like that's good. He did the right thing, I think. So so yeah, hold on. I so bring this up though. Why did why was he quoted for this? And why would he think that it's a good idea to talk about? I used to be like so super duper racist, but now I'm only like a smidge racist because I still think about being racist. But it's cool that I can talk about it now. Like, so he's well, doing, he's doing an interview. Wait, why does he's it even matter? For a new movie, I and as part of the movie, the main character is like seeking revenge, and so he was trying to tie it into his personal life, or whatever. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That. So. So. Ooh. The the fact that this is forty years ago. And and um, the way we're treating Liam Neeson as though he like he did this yesterday is a little weird to me for sure. Mm -hmm. But it's yeah, also yeah. weird that Liam Neeson thought that this would be uh, a, a decent way to promote his show by tying it to his like personal background without showing without understanding fully that this was a racist this was racist behavior and not just like pure vengeance or revenge. Enacting pure vengeance or revenge on the person finding who the person was who raped your friend and trying to kill them is still bad behavior. But saying that you're going to go out and find like a random black person mm -hmm. and, and see if they will instigate a fight so you can use your weapon that you brought from your house to beat them with is like entirely different. What's the that difference between that and Neighborhood Watch? Uh, I will say don't that acknowledge that it's too. purely, <laughs> it's not just <laughs> revenge, it's not just <laughs> anger. <laughs> neighborhood Watch does that a little bit different. But hold on, but that Trayvon Martin piece of ego fucking hard. I'm pretty sure, also for the record, I'm pretty sure Liam knew it was racist. Like, I'm almost positive he knew it was racist. Yeah, and you're talking about a guy's mental state. I want to know what has gone to this. So I think to a certain degree, like subconsciously, like we all have some like, racism in us right and i think like throughout our life nope. it's like we're trying to overcome it if you no, think i think like to a certain degree that. like it's easy to have like these subconscious stereotypes that go on you're in your mind natural, i think that's you're fair. natural prejudice you're not talking about racism yeah like, like yeah, you yeah. okay sorry yeah, yeah. And I think you have preconceived yes. notions you have preconceived notions about yeah. things right. due to your own yeah. personal mm -hmm. history and i think that right. to a okay. certain degree like he's looking back at it in a you know like he obviously like regrets having those thoughts and i think that's mm -hmm. part of like overcoming it sort of like how in like i don't know like aa part of overcoming alcoholism is admitting you're an alcoholic oh you know what i mean oh like sort of like in that way to i don't know so no, I just no, want to know okay. what Hassan oh, thinks of that. It, but no, like that's that's completely outlandish. That doesn't even make any fucking sense. Like you don't get to call biases natural. Most times when you look at it, like a small white child isn't scared of a large black person just because they're black. Yeah, but those it's because biases, of their those biases are taught. Right. Not like natural, a natural yeah, thing. Yeah, it's because the things you see, things you live through. A fucking mm -hmm. child hasn't lived through that much, so obviously not going to have that kind of prejudice. When natural, kid, we're not saying you're born oh, with it. Wait, Wes, but every nurture is our nature. You were so like, not. So you were in a situation where you personally were impacted by the existence of black people then. Is that what you're saying? In order to have these I'm sorts not of saying, biases? I'm not protecting my own beliefs. Well, it, no. it depends, the problem I is guess. This. The problem is I, this, and you mentioned this, I, Mary Catherine or Wes. You already mentioned this. Mary Catherine, please. That the depictions of black people and the imagery and the his stereotypes name, of black people in, in movies bad. is a very specific uh, way. And that is yeah. precisely how people are socially conditioned into being afraid of black people and and I get that othering them a lot and of thinking people that black people are, are naturally violent. No, what? people, you're not, not saying I'm not saying you're at fault. I'm not attacking lie. you at all. Yeah, do you not I think it's like that? It matters a lot what we what, like what you look like because I a lot of people are looking at me and say like, oh, she's just a like yeah, Twitch topped and stuff like that. She's a <laughs> link hard. streamer. You know, that's, that's awful. Not, that's, you gotta that's understand so it. That's not terrible. Same, like that's not the same as like systemic. I mean, that's not the same as like slavery, segregation, systemic racism, and like the the continued biases that people experience. I mean, black yeah. people experience and, and right literally, now. Yeah, literally the point that it's 
it's the, permeated every single like element of our culture that like exactly people are born with these like innate prejudices and yeah. it is preyed upon in the media and in music and in movies and no, everything you're wrong. And they no, wanna feed, I, no that they want to so feed on the division that they want to feed on the division of you with look different prejudice? than me yes How people are born yeah i think no but it's from experience go ahead destiny destiny let destiny go yes people are born liking people that look like themselves and like their families um and this is born out in a lot of different psychological research like um like here like here's an example for black people looking at other black people they're able to distinguish naturally black faces from one another whereas for white people looking at black people it's harder and then that's true of every race that looks that's not a prejudice how how is that not by how definition? is it a prejudice just because liking something isn't the same as disliking something just because you like white people because you grew up or you were born in a white family oh, like i'm sorry i forgot people? i have to go back to kindergarten that, and connect destiny let destiny go oh shit so yeah. our ability to like see other people as like being the same as us is is not something that we are innately born with we grow up looking at our parents looking at the people around us and those are the people that we generally associate with now as you grow older if you are exposed to other people growing up so if you're in a big city or whatever you see lots of black people lots of asian people etc cetera, etc cetera, those beliefs will be tempered over time massively people that live in rural areas that don't have as much exposure to other people of different races um typically have a yeah. less favorable view of them than people that are exposed to them all the time but we are born with kind of like a tribalistic thing on the on the Liam Neeson thing, okay. Also, also we learn a lot from experience because, like for example, I was in the store uh, the other day, and it was like a tall guy who was a little bit like I don't know how to say it, slusky. Like he was a little disgusting, and when he saw me, he was looking at me, and he was like, like, and I was like, ew. Oh, and next time God. I see a, next time I see a guy looking like him, I'm gonna be like. <laughs> Think, think that he was yeah, probably checking broke. you out, Candyland. Jesus. Yes, no, but he was absolutely was. But what the fuck, man? You can he look at like a garden of like, roses, but you're not gonna go if, up and jam your tongue in a tulip. Like, come on, you can appreciate a beautiful kind of bullshit, woman though. and not have if, to. If, like and someone like sorry, someone done that to you, you'd be like, oh damn, well, that's fine. People hey, do that's that shit to me all the fucking time, buddy. People all the time go, hey baby, how you doing? Get the fuck away from me. Wait, they do. Yeah. Weird flex, but all the time. Which is why it's also so fucking frustrating that men like Liam Neeson are gonna be like, oh, I wish I could, I wish I could just go beat up the next guy. I what see do you mean, men? Well, like hold on, Neeson. Listen, dude. listen, listen. Well, because he, because some man hurt a woman that he knew. God damn it, Liam Neeson, you've hurt women your fucking self. Like maybe okay. you're part of the problem as well. Wait, what? Oh, he said sorry. Yes. Did you just call him a rapist? No, 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 no. Wait. I did not that's a whole if you did what if he didn't think that way and he didn't change, he wouldn't have brought the fucking topic up. Sorry, okay, so I think that for somebody like Liam Neeson, okay, so this is something that I've experienced innately throughout my entire life. I think it's really important to have somebody that made really bad mistakes and has come to be aware of it and can tell those stories in the past and illustrate some personal growth. This is one of the reasons why I think I've been so effective at communicating lefty political progressive politics or whatever to a lot of people is because people can look back at me and they can find videos of me being extremely right-leaning, extremely conservative like eight or nine years ago and being able to point back at that and say, hey, I used to believe these things. This is why I believe them. They were really fucked up and this is what I believe now. I think that's a really important part of, of not only a person's individual growth, but also setting an example for people that might not 100% be where you need them to be, but can look at another person and say like, oh, hey, well, he used to think that thing too. He grew, you know, maybe I can kind of like aspire to the same thing. I think that stories like Liam Neeson's are very important. And I think telling stories like that are, are wholly beneficial as long as we don't demonize the fuck out of a person doing but it. Did, because all, yeah, sorry. Yeah. So I agree with Destiny on this take, by the way. Okay, then, then, but, 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 but Hassan, then why are you working to perpetuate the villain narrative then? No, I want to I want to specify I want to specify one part of the conversation, okay? The part that's often overlooked is the is the elements that is racist about what Liam Neeson was talking about. So I wanted to clarify that like this is indeed a very racist thing because I I often hear since I started talking about the story, I often hear people saying that wasn't racist at all. He was just he was just overcome with vengeance, uh, 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 an anger that he he couldn't control and he was talking about how terrible it was just exclusively because he was really angry. And, and a part of uh, what Liam Neeson didn't do was acknowledge that that was pure uh, uh, racist bigotry. One at a time, one at a time. Destiny touched on it. Destiny was completely correct. It depends a lot on where you grew up. I, I think most people who grow up in big cities will think that's racist, and most people who grow up more rural will not think that's racist. I don't know where the fuck you grew up. I don't know where the fuck Little Neeson grew up. I was wondering where Mini grew up when he said about Scotland and shit. Because it depends. Yeah. I, like, I, I mean, in, like, I grew up in the middle of nowhere. I live so in Southern S. Southern S is literally 250 no. people. I think there's maybe. I, yeah, Mini Titan, you gotta yeah, fix your mic. It's really robotic.
Fine. Well, that's the point. That's right. I agree Josh, I disagree. It's not where you grew up. It's your political beliefs. And even though they're no. more well, well, but your no, political no, beliefs like, are hey, the, the is it shaped by that, right? That's what, okay, if, there, if there are a hundred, if there are a hundred yes. black people and in your town, often, right, and, and you know towns, most of them, this side, and more often in bigger towns, you're gonna have this side. But I'm just saying, it's not no, no. where you grew up. It's your, it your political beliefs. It's if, if, if there's what you think about this, this is like a hundred black or whatever minority people in your town, and a majority of them, for whatever fucking reason, outside of race act like this or do these things and you know that then yeah you're probably gonna be more like why are you doing like oh those are the guys that jacked that guy's car whatever the fuck completely outside of race because you know that minority in your town specifically or wherever the fuck you grew up you know the one guy that's like that right and you kind of get like uh, bothered by that that's not racism at all that's knowing that people and like okay whatever the fuck maybe some of them aren't who cares okay uh, but I think if they're socially okay, conditioned about... to be racist don't you think that they're still it's still racist though like that i don't i don't think we should demonize the guy who was like okay all right one at a time guys mm -hmm. go ahead his Josh. friend was raped his friend was raped he was pissed the fuck off i don't know where the fuck he grew up island wherever or something like that but like i don't know if it was big town small town whatever the fuck he went out he was pissed stupid thing to do bad thing to do was it racist i mean he asked the question she answered he went out he said he said he wanted a fight i could understand wanting a fight I don't think it matters if it was racist no, or not. It was wait, 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 real quick. Go ahead, Destiny, yeah. Destiny, yeah. Destiny. Yeah. Destiny. This is exactly why like, I want to specify. This is exactly why I want to specify singling out black people and looking for an innocent black person to enact vengeance on. That's very different. If the, and the reason why I talk about this, okay, let me let me use an analogy here for one second, okay? If a dog attacked a person, if a dog attacked your your female friend, and if you went out and you fucking uh, wanted to kill a random dog, you would be like. That's kind of well, fucked you, up. You Why would you go out and like try to dog. kill a random dog? Okay, everybody everybody agrees with that. Yeah. Every, like the thing, like he, he came out and yeah. he actually said like, no, you're saying that he didn't acknowledge that. He actually did. Like that was the whole point. Like I read through the oh, article and he said not, that was the whole point. It's not just saying that this is like this is. He was uh, saying that this is something uh, wrong. He said they're being something. angry. The fact that he was looking, singling out all black people, uh, to, and blaming all black well, that's people. What, that's for what the actions of one black person is the is the the racist element here that we are overlooking, and even when people with good intentions. Are, are, are talking about the story and saying like, oh, it's good that he uh, is uh, repenting for that, still overlook that reality, that is a problem because we can't advance the conversation and, and, and move to a more productive place where we acknowledge certain things are, are uh, racist and, and eliminate those ideas. Or at least well, fight to. But, but, uh, like, okay. Yeah, this was forty that was years ago and we've come a long this. way. But that, wasn't that the point of it, Hassan? Didn't he say that it happened forty really years ago? Way. Yeah. The, the yes. reason why it is racist, and, and it doesn't seem like it, but the reason why it's racist is because oftentimes what we do, if you have a neutral, so like a neutral appearing person in today's society would, would be like a white male, right? Anytime you have something that diverts from the neutral, one of the features of being like a minority figure is that you can be a stand-in to represent your entire race. This is how we get to the racism part. So for example, um, in gaming sometimes, a woman might do something dumb, and somebody will say, well, you're making all women look bad. Or in a certain area of life, a black person might do something dumb, and someone will say, oh, you make all black people look bad. But when, you, when a white person does something dumb, Nobody ever says you're making all white people look bad. Nobody really says this. So when Liam Neeson asks, like, what is the wow. race of a, what is the, this yeah, doesn't fucking happen, happen in real life. Fuck off with your bullshit Twitter bullshit. In real life, this never no, happened. No, I wasn't going to, no, it does happen in real life. It does happen in it real life. It absolutely does not happen it to does. any measurable degree in Destiny real life. Hold on, before I answer, wait, 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 before I answer, I'm trying to please let me finish my fucking point, okay? okay? So the thing is, is that if Liam Neeson is asking what the race of a person is, and the person was like, oh, I was raped by some white guy, it is highly unlikely that Liam Neeson is going to go out looking to pick a fight with any white guy. Guy, right? Because this seems more like something. Lives. Because there's a lot more people where he lives who are Yeah, okay, you're giving me reasons. Yeah, you're, you're, you're justifying. Get no, 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 you're justifying. Yeah, wait, so what you're saying like, are all reasons to be racist. You're saying, well, because of where he lives, that's why he's being racist. You're because of the people around finish. him, that's why he's being racist. What? I live in such a small town. There's like, uh, let, let, I've Googled it. Oh, I, tr I want train to go in after this. And the most, yeah. there's literally. Guess I'm guessing finished. five black people. So if I, I found out that was a black person, it's so much easier to find that than like the black person who done it. It's just that simple. You're using not... an extreme what you... example. We can literally do it by process yeah. of elimination. But you don't try like to that's like saying, well, my city has one black person, so if someone's they got raped by a black person, that's not racist. That's process. Well, that's obviously that's yeah. what we're talking it probably, about. Here, right? I don't know where he lives, don't... but it's island, so it's probably there's a lot less black people than there are white people. You're so. still you're justifying racism when you say that though. You understand? Yeah, no, that? Not not a just because it's a minority doesn't yeah. excuse look. Just just because the minority doesn't excuse monolithing an entire group of people and enacting vengeance on uh, on an entire race of people. Okay, like a yeah, random. Who, who would who would agree with that? Like nobody nobody agree. Like well, that's nobody, what he's saying. That's what he's no, doing. But he justifies it by saying, saying, well, there aren't that many black people in Ireland.
No, but that's you, so. So back to the Liam Neeson thing. That's not what Liam Neeson's saying. Liam Neeson is saying this was. I wasn't wrong. referencing Liam Neeson. I was referencing. Right, right, right. right. But I'm saying, I'm, but I'm saying, kind of bring it back to the original point. Like we're we're getting off the topic at this point. Train. I, I want to go back to what Train said. What what were you what were you about to argue? Oh, I wasn't about to argue. I was going to say it certainly does happen. It does. It happens all the time. And a good example of when it happened, a big example, is when Donald Trump got voted into office. Man, <laughs> everyone. And it's a fact, and that, that's that, that's just that's just true. It's just that simple. But that's when murder. was the last time a movie came out and somebody said this movie was ruined because they cast too many white people or too many men? Like the people like seriously made these like massive fucking movements where it started because it happened with the female Ghostbusters movie. Yeah, it almost happened that. with the new Witcher cast. It happened with the fucking Black Panther. And like this happens all the time. Or, like, it happened so with Battlefield Five when they put that fucking woman on the trailer of Battlefield Five. Like this happens all Destiny, the time. Destiny, but I feel like, but do you feel like the Ghostbusters is a good example because I feel like people are. So mad, not because they were women, but it was such a deviation from the original that it that it, it didn't even seem yeah, like the like, same movie. All of our original they franchises and media are all men because they were like, women. All of, all of our original Who franchises. No, like, like, son, like holy like, shit. Keep like, hold up, like, what if Austin Powers in the fourth movie was all of a sudden played by uh, Beyonce? Like, it just wouldn't be yeah, the same they, fucking movie. Well, 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 it, all of our classic we, franchises are based around like straight white men. So of course, if we're gonna start to recast things, it's going to deviate from that, right? Yeah. If you go back 50 years, this is like ubiquitous that every lead role is played by a straight white man. So if we're gonna do new James Bonds in the future, if we're gonna do new people, we're freaking out over I don't know how to pronounce his name, the Idris Elba, or whatever guy, the Idris Elba, Idris Elba. Dude, that is yeah. Yeah. That is him, of him being like the new James Bond. People are freaking out over that shit. People freak out when they see black people in like fucking like, medieval shit. Like yeah. people freak the fuck out. Like is James Bond? Wait, is James Bond played by a female now? No, but like no. even if they did it, like, one at a time, one at a time. Against British, British identity. People think about that. Like, like freak the fuck out. Typing, stop, stop typing. That's just not a race thing. It's 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 just How? not, man. Like wait, 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 wait. wait you think casting Idris Elba and people freaking out about that isn't a race thing? No, here, here's what I'm saying. Okay, if you cast yeah. James Bond for fifty or for a hundred years as a white person, okay, listen, it's okay. I don't think anyone would care if you casted a black man. You know, and it was in that named, role originally. You know, you know, uh, yeah, I uh, think uh, that doesn't matter. But they wouldn't cast. No, 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 no just wait. Let me finish. I'm not going to say as James Bond. I'm going to say, you know, as another another movie in the action area, like fucking Mark Mark Philbin, and then that's that's the new James. I, I don't know. I just feel like whatever you, for example, okay, imagine a hundred years ago they casted a black person as James Bond, and. For a hundred years, everyone saw James Bond as a black person. And then one day they just change it to a white person a hundred years yeah. later, people will have issues with that as well. This isn't well, a that James that's, Bond. Wait, real quick. Cool. You know that James Bond? People you know that shoe James... polish on their faces, so it's a you little that... different. But no, James you're not. Well, that destiny go, Hassan, one James second. James Bond is a different character. Obviously, James Bond can be blonde. There's a massive difference between Pierce Brosnan and uh, whatever the fucking latest guy was, right? Okay, okay. No one ever, no one ever gets mad if it's a white guy that looks drastically different than the other white guy. But when it turns into a black guy, all of a sudden everyone's like, "Whoa, what the fuck? Well, That's not well, the same thing." No, 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 why can't it be a different character? James but Bond's that, character has changed throughout time, and no one has ever complained about it. Under the core has always been, been the same. Handsome, go ahead, Josh. The core has always been a handsome, little bit older, kind of mature British guy. The race is specified in the books. I don't think the race is overly important, but that's always been the core. If they if they cast a fat slob, people would have an issue with it. It's not just the yeah, race changing; yeah. people would have an issue with, right? That's like true. the the fact that it would become a black guy. People now. I don't put. Yeah, I don't think people listen, would care. Listen, I'll give you a perfect guy. example. Actually, listen, I have a great example for you guys. Um, the Green Lantern. Every Green Lantern I've seen has been a a, a black man, right? And yeah, they, when they, Ryan Reynolds was cast, and, it was yeah, like and they played Ryan Reynolds. I thought I thought it was fucking weird. There's not anything racist against white people. No, it's because I grew up as Green Lantern, Lantern being a black man. Everyone is yeah, reaching yeah. to make this about a race There's thing. It's not a race thing. Oh my thing. god, it's versions. so much more complicated There's than that. So many okay. different oh. Green Lanterns. But, but that's so many different. No, 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 no. Okay, hold on. Give me like two seconds, okay? The problem is that for a long fucking time, the majority of people that were casted in these types of movies were white straight men, okay? This is the majority, okay? And Making right movies. now, the way that our environment works, the most popular movies that sell are fucking superhero movies. Look at fucking Marvel. Look at fucking Disney. Like all of these fucking movies that are most popular are the superhero movies. So in current media today, it is 
has dictated that what we do is we enact on things that were, have already existed in the past. That's just the reality of the situation. If you deny that, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you, okay? Now, that being said, because that is a reality, we have to deal with the fact that most of the movies today are going to have, if we go by your prescription, white men that are casted in the, in the leads. That's just what's going to happen forever. And the problem is, is that when more people want to take part in media, when more diversity wants to be shown so that other people can feel like they've got superheroes and shit, you're going to necessarily have to change some of these people. The idea that you would just start a new franchise is hilariously fucking I get that. That's I, not get what that. I get that. I get that. That's not what I'm arguing about. That's, that's no, no, no. That's that not what I'm You just lied. Stop. You just lied. You just said that's not what you're arguing. That is exactly what you argued when you no. said instead. Yeah, no, no. Just let me fucking finish. Holy shit. One at a time. One at a time. Tell me what I meant. Let me rebuttal and tell you what I Literally, literally, literally. You literally just said. You tell people what they meant and you get away with it. Can I, Raj, can I fucking finish my fucking sentence? Hold on, hold on. I really want to jump in on the sentence. Can I finish my fucking sentence? Destiny, finish your sentence and then train wrecks correct him for what you actually meant. So, literally earlier, you said instead of recasting a white person as a black person for James Bond to make a new super agent secret whatever fucking movie. But that's not the reality of what people do. We do fucking remakes. We do shit that's already existed. We build on old franchises. So that's not always possible. It's more likely to have a successful new Mission Impossible or James Bond movie than a new random fucking secret agent movie. There. That's what right. you said earlier. Trade okay. X, go. Yeah, I, I did Does say that. Does anybody else but, think James but, Bond sucks though? Christ. Shut the that's bullshit. All right. Carry on. No, listen, th that is exactly what I said, but what you just said, it proves my exact point. This isn't a race thing. People aren't upset because they're randomly casting or maybe because I, because it's a black person. They're upset because they grew up with this, with, with, with an, uh, they, they grew up with a person being this, you know, so. I wanna... Rex, if you grew up your entire life and you had slavery, I'm going this, I'm going here. Your entire life that's, you had slavery that, and then no, someone tries to take it totally and change it. That's so different. Exactly that's so different. All right, all right, all right. Izzy, guys, guys, one at a time. Guys, look, hey, Manny Catherine, quiet. That's a straw man. Izzy, Izzy. What if we ask a more relevant question? It's the exact same fucking thing. What if you're black and you grow up and there are just no black secret agents? You've got the Jason Bournes, you've got the Mission Impossibles, you've got the um, James Bonds, but there are like no black secret agents. So like you're, you're looking at all these white people that have had 50 million fucking secret agents that they can all like circle jerk off of. And if you're black, it's just not a thing that black people do, I guess. Like, so, yeah, actually that's the exact problem. That's what we're talking about. We're in a new time. We're in a new time. We're, a new time. we're, we're, we're in the future. Make new ones. Why, why does everything good. old have to? Why does everything yes. old have to be replaced to make a point of fun for equality or something? Yeah. Make new ones. Make new ones. Why not make new ones? Guys, okay, all right. For equality is the problem itself. The fact that you can't just have a black person play James Bond and every without everyone fucking losing yeah, but their no mind over it is the no problem. No, that it's no, a black yeah. person, a son. Yeah, like, they're you're pissed because for a hundred years, point to prove James that. Bond the identity Izzy, of Izzy, I want, was I want, a I want to get you man. in on this, Izzy, next. Okay, okay, Izzy, so go so ahead. Unbelievable. After, how much you, the fact that you have unbelievable how much you guys leak. Everything is racist. Everything is sexist. Everything is this. Everything is that. Holy shit. Let me give you a tissue. Wipe those fucking tears and then use that same tissue to wipe your fucking cum stains off your monitor. <laughs> Holy fuck you. Fuck. Yes. All right. Yes. Like Izzy, you're you saying this and you're acting hard, right. but you're the one that's talking about the race. I, of the I didn't understand what he was change. saying. Like, Wait, you can't well, change that's... anything without having people being super annoyed with it. Like, it's just gonna happen. Yeah, no this has been happening for ages and it happened with Green Lantern. Green Lantern wasn't originally black. Green Lantern came out in 1940 as Alan Scott and he was portrayed as a white man. 44 years later, when Marvel tried to make, I mean, DC tried to make him black, sorry. Um, they, the they fucking fans it. lost their mind and they boycotted Green Lantern for fucking ages because they were replacing Alan Scott with a fucking black man. Marvel and DC have been doing it for years where they actually use their platform with media to put in more diverse elements. Fucking X-Men was revolutionary because it was talking about the differences in society referencing gay people. That's why they have the first gay fucking superhero couple. Um, you saw it again with fucking Dr. Fucking Who. Dr. Who for years was all white <laughs> men and everybody got pissed when Dr. Who became a woman, but it's very canon in the fucking universe for gender not to matter in that entire fucking species. I, it's not I, about what's canon, it's not about that the that history, it's about no being a fuck. pissed because of their prejudice. Mm, this is why it's so fucked oh. up that Liam Neeson I'm says I'm pissed because you're wearing a nicotine patch like and smoking no, 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 no. at the same time. We're pissed off about this, though, because Liam Neeson is one of those people, is one of those heroes, is one of those, like, James Bond type people. Liam Neeson is a hero in society. We've all seen Taken, we've all watched him get his daughter untaken. He is somebody that people look up to. And when people who look up to somebody 
and they hear them say, yeah, I was going to go out and just kill some random black guy because I was so angry. There are some sick people who will hear that and be like, my hero wants me to do this bad That's shit. That's not his Telling problem. people how wrong it was, problem. though, that he what? thought that way back yeah. in the day. Hey, we, what if I'm inspired by your streams to go be crazy? He said what? something, and now his mind's changed. He's not saying... Yeah, he's trying to help people that have those death thoughts. Of random black people. Yeah. Real quick, real quick. That. Irav, how do you feel about this? Yes, I'm just saying I that the fact that he said that. it is the problem. Go ahead, Irav. I am so lost. I am not listening to what I get. Irav. All right, uh, look, guys, it's the end of the round. We're going to pick this up in the second round because I think a lot of people still have opinions on it. Uh, all right, it's time now. The Raj Royale, you're voting. Chat for who you want to keep. We're going to eliminate one person from the podcast. One person will be removed from the podcast right after this vote, and then that person will be replaced by my co-host, Trainwreck, who will become um, on the screen. Okay, here we go. The straw poll is going to come into the chat. Chat, vote for me or I'm coming back next week. <laughs> hey, Iran. Uh, yeah. All right, here we go. Is what Miskip made you want to be more of an egg? Is that why you have the whole, like, shaved head thing? Yeah, I don't know, dude. You're looking like a lot like eggy. Egg? You're pretty no. eggy. Oh, not. Head shaped like an egg. Oh, you're, you kind of actually have your brother's head, except without the head meat. Because it doesn't work out. You don't use the stairs. Oh, yeah. Europe has nice hair. Mm -hmm. All right. Hair. Well, how the fuck is he? It is really nice. So good. Yes, he doesn't even like have any votes. Oh, it looks like All right. Do you think I look good? Yeah, you look really good. All right. Go ahead and vote, Chad. Vote. All right. People are voting. Strawpole must have fixed their service. Um. It's not working for me. Oh, it's not working for you. What'd you say? Oh, yeah. S fan, check Discord. S fan, check Oh, oh, oh sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, who left? Who just left? I'll be right back. I'm just refreshing. Okay. All right, I'm uh, gonna, don't I'm gonna get, uh, train. I'm gonna get you to knock here in a minute. Just hold on. I'll tell you when. All right, the winner of the poll after a lot of people can't access the poll. Server, server. Error. It says error. Okay, we'll wait just a minute. You're knocking? Okay, got it. <gasps> oh, no, it said thanks, and I didn't even vote. Oh. oh. Interesting. Okay. Oops. Candy 10 IQ Bible Thumb. Actually, did you guys hear? Candyland actually has 122 IQ. Destiny, did you hear about that? That was a fake one, though. Wait, what is 120 IQ? De De uh, 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 Candyland has 122 IQ. Holy shit, the language barrier must be a lot bigger than I thought then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and also I used to have a I have a bad I'm bad at expressing myself. I'm not very good like Somebody just left again. Yeah, I'm trying to get it. Perfect. Being a dick. Okay. You're perfect at express. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Oh fuck. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you're perfect. You. All right. And to be to be thank real you, clear, I it is need actually to improve. When you're having an argument with somebody and you're speaking English as a second language, it's very fucking frustrating to get out your words. I feel really bad for people like XQC and shit when they make fun of them for like not being able to speak clearly. But... Oh, oh, thanks for, thanks for understanding the flight. Okay, here we go. Yeah, yeah, even Hassan is second language is English, right? Yes, motherfuckers. That's why sometimes I make long winded points. Oh, okay. you oh, just oh, because oh, you're all right. The winner of the last <laughs> round with 20. That's a convenient thing. I spoke oh, exclusively Turkish for the first 18 years of my life just because I'm a I have I'm bilingual. So you're doing this right now. You're talking very long and Turkish. fast to try to get your point. Wait, how old are you, Hassan? I'm 27. All right, the winner of the round with 27% of the vote was Erob 221. Congratulations. <laughs> Yeah. All right, congratulations. You need to choose between the two lowest amount of people voted, and that is Mary Catherine and Invader V. Yikes. Wow. Ooh. Iram? Wow. It's been fun. Didn't make friends today. Between... I want Invader gone. You want Invader gone? Yeah, I want her gone. God. That's fair. Okay, well, Invader, thank you. Attractive females. Thank you so much, Invader, for coming. Would you like to give yourself a shout-out? Uh, yeah, guys, please join me in the blanket for it. I'm going to be on my channel. Thank Ooh. you so much. Bye, Invader. Bye, Thank everybody. you. It was nice talking to Bye. you. It was right. a pleasure to meet you, Invader. I love your Instagram. Thank you. Bye, Invader. <laughs> All right. Uh, Damn. Ape was gang. Invader bringing Go in like 14k oh. votes last time she was on? Holy shit. What happened? She forgot to host the stream, so our white knights aren't here. Uh, oh. Damn. Oh, my God. Uh, All right. Um, uh, Trade Rex, go ahead and knock, would you? Yeah, yeah. I have yeah. a good topic idea. Can I say it? Yeah, of course. No, oh, oh, uh, yeah, okay. So if. If if you think it's uh, sluttier to like be uh, lightly yeah, dressed so on Instagram than to than to be a porn star, like what's slut sluttier? What? what? Being a porn star. Yeah, yeah, you can't speak English. Say it in Swedish. <laughs> <laughs> Man, if all if all the artists 
Are you getting fucked, you getting fucked on Instagram? Is this what you're trying to say? No. She's Mom, trying to say, is it so sluttier to be an e-girl on Instagram or be a porn star? Yeah. 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 If we define slutty oh, no, as like things related yeah, to no, sex no, or no, fucking no, no. people, it's Wait, pretty obvious that being I a porn don't... star is going to be up there, oh, like in terms yeah. of no, anything. No, I didn't mean like that slutty. I meant like. Uh, well, that's what you said. Well, more okay. What I meant is like, yeah, more respectable. Yeah, I think that yeah, more yeah. Well, okay, in so society today, respectable. we typically demonize the fuck out of anything related to sex work. So being an e thought or whatever on Instagram is probably more respectable than being in sex yeah. work. Yeah. And yet we all watch so? it, you know. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I actually think people respect porn stars more. It's yeah, like after yeah, you came, because you I, like, after you came, you're porn. angry. Yeah. You love yeah. porn stars. No, no, like, no, no. You respect, wait, what? Say it again? Yeah. I think I would respect porn stars more than Instagram, very on the line oh. stuff, yeah. Yeah, I feel like people because, who post nude, yeah. nudes on Instagram are like uh, insecure, super, I mean, nudes. It's not about the insecurity, it's about the fact that every I've single tried. Instagram girl who I know that is, is like right on the line, like very kind of sketchy stuff, when you yeah. DM them, you buy all I'm kinds not. of like actual hardcore stuff, you can like pay for whatever, and they're very coy about it, they pretend that they're not doing that, they pretend they're not like full-blown sex workers, most of them are, porn stars at least up front about it, I respect that. Mm -hmm. I, I agree. Hey, with you. I agree. Um, this is this is something called the hierarchy. I know that this is right. <laughs> no, I'm serious. It's, I know it sounds like it's not TOS friendly, but amongst sex workers, the term the terminology for this is literally called the hierarchy, where uh, porn stars are are usually uh, referred to as like really extreme by strippers, and then uh, people who are on Instagram doing like similar things, or people who have private Snapchats or camming. Uh, mm -hmm. Look at strippers and porn stars as though they are extreme. When in fact, like everyone is participating in that similar. Everyone's industry getting paid for the different body, ways. It, everyone's just as bad. Yeah. It don't fucking matter. No, it's not I just know, as bad. It's not just bad. It, not, none of it is bad, especially <laughs> oh, because it's I'm great. Like, you love I fucking like... probably jerking off to all that porn, don't you? Yeah, no, I mean, regardless, yeah, you're still like, jerking like, off. Being, being, being a porn star is Instagram really respectful. Cam, cam girls and and porn stars, they are respect. Yeah, but if you're a porn room. star, you're getting railed. The nice yeah, thing about Instagram is you just get to rail yourself. Well, so I think if I would post like in Aunt society, Pixel. what do we respect? Right, innocence. No. Like the less what? sexual expression, I would be you very are, you integrity. We're all no. we're all a bunch the of the more way. sexually expressed no, no, no. woman, the more demonized you are. We actually respect innocence. We respect the portrayal of innocence. No one is fucking innocent. Even Liam Neeson wasn't innocent. You're all you're all wrong, dude. I don't think. Any. Wait, mute yourself, train. It, it appeared. Yourself. You, you, Kesson, you need you're to learn how to mute wrong. people and appear and just dude, hit the mute listen, button. Dude. Yo, you're all wrong, dude. I don't listen. From what I've learned from my multiple Twitch bands, <laughs> dude, there is no profession, no clothing, no attitude that listen. Everyone is equal, should be equally viewed no matter what you wear, how you act, what you say, what you fuck, what you suck, what you don't. It doesn't matter. We are. What if you wear a Nazi uniform? Uh, no, I don't agree. Oh, I, don't God, agree. I respect. I would respect like, someone really who doesn't. <laughs> he said no and left. So I would respect someone who doesn't post like ass pics more than someone who does post ass pics. Would you do porn, Candy? Yeah, That's I could. Cool, I would right? do porn if I didn't have a good uh, family, but I have a really good family. Oh, <laughs> so you just said it yourself. Sure? Oh my god, that was the language barrier. Wait, your family's view. Oh. So, Candy, so you well, respect? You already you, do pack you, with the Instagram, oh. right? like this so you just argued against what Hold you on. said earlier. Let Candy finish. Well, Candy, finish. Go ahead and finish. Uh, well, yeah, I said I would never post like uh, lightly clothed pictures on, on so Instagram. Are you for cat girls. Candy, are you sure your family is that good? I mean, I'm just <laughs> yeah, my family is No, they would be disappointed if I okay. was like... Okay, like, okay, I mean, what's the really difference think between about what if they never found out? what you're doing right now? What? Like, That's sorry, her tits, not her ass. Long. Exactly. No, I, I, I think... I'm what she's doing right now is she's wearing a shirt. She's wearing, but why, 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 yeah. What the fuck? What's wrong with what she's wearing, Minnie? That's still a bit skimpy, though, isn't it? So, like, what? You've got so Wes in drag wearing oh, only a sports bra. What, what, a sports bra? Yeah. Human being. what are you, know you talking what? about? Man, I'm feeling real Sharia line here, here, boys. Like, I'm just <laughs> wearing... <laughs> What at a time, one at a time. Same shirt as I do. Like, Sharia I used to wear normal clothes. What at, yes. one, one at a time, Mini. Why, what, hold on, what's wrong with what Candyland's wearing and why? I'm not saying anything's wrong with it, but it's definitely a little bit loody. Hey, like, but, but hold on, but you say the fucking shirt, Oh my god. He's like, he's, he's telling you to cover up, Candy. I'm not, no, I'm saying wear less, but like in Twitch, I don't think I can say that. Oh. You're the no, reason Candy, why Jane and Ron Moore's cleavage was removed. Candy, it's that thought process. True. So wait, so, so many times, but why don't you have a problem yeah. with what Mary Catherine's wearing? 
Mm -hmm. uh, because right. that's a you're man not and there's no it. overtly sexual about hey, his breasts. Right. Exactly. Thank you, Minnie. Would you, where do you see cleavage? No, it's just some chest. That's not hair, by the way. No, I promise. Um, it's a, 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 an actual, like me or and, fuck. And I didn't pay to get go, my Go ahead, Izzy. Go ahead. Wear that. Go ahead, Izzy. V couldn't wear that on fucking cam without getting banned. That's what the fucking mean? problem. I've, you have you seen Amaron stream lately, darling? Hey, Minnie, don't yeah. mention other streamers' names, please. I'm not, but do you if know how many they're fucking are? Yoga or I, I know you really like I playing think, victim I don't know. because your life's so unfair. fucking hard all the time. Hey, Maddie, oh, Maddie, oh, Maddie. Can I, I think it's unfair can I just because I have a this body. One, one at a time. I, people, I can't wear whatever. Like, I I, I don't know. You've paid for it. You might as well flaunt it. Minnie. All right. Can I chime in with personal experience Jeez, on uh, uh, by dating two different girls on both sides of the spectrum and why I have why a lot of people I think have this different perspective on e girls versus like or or thoughty girls versus like porn stars. Wait, what spectrum? What? Okay. Um. All right. Here's here's what it is. So I dated a girl who used to do some really questionable things, and I didn't know originally that she would like uh, go and get paid to uh, appear at parties and stuff like that, uh, that she would get selected off of a face sheet. She was a model. So I thought she was a model and I thought that, you know, she, this is, this is her only, no, no, she was like straight up like Times Square fucking uh, billboard model. Like I'm talking legitimately, mm -hmm. legitimate source of income from modeling model. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I realized halfway throughout our relationship that she was also adding additional uh, uh, streams of income by going to parties and attending parties that rich people threw. Uh, and and I was a little thrown off by it, despite the fact so that after I broke up with her, I dated an actual fucking porn star. And there's a difference there. It's the it's this implication that this person is putting on a front that I think yeah. pisses off a lot of people, like Instagram girls that have uh, private Snapchats that are that are open about their private Snapchats don't get the same kind right. of scrutiny or vilification that Instagram girls who act above it do. And I think yeah. that's understandable. That's not about sex work, though. That's about the fact that these people are making it seem as though they are um, totally different and doing something uh, that is uh, completely innocent, I guess. So uh, believe you, me, when, when you, you DM dated, them with the money, the porn star, they're all the same. When you when you dated the porn star, did you did you ever go watch her stuff? Like well, her, her her work? No. Why would I watch? Oh, her stuff? But how did it, how did it make you feel like when she but he didn't have to pay for it? I didn't want to be that cooked. Yeah. Like when she came back home to you, like how did you have sex with her after she just got fucked by somebody else? Well, she only shot porn um one time while we were dating. I told her to to do it. Uh, we were in an open relationship. Oh. I was like I was looking up with mm. other people, and it was dope. I didn't have a problem well, with it at all. You actually are a cook. Fucking was she shit. tired like or did she want to do it afterwards this was only one time so i can't really talk about it as far as like it wasn't a consistent thing just out of but curiosity I... this is an actual genuinely curious question go ahead do people do the porn stars enjoy sex while they're working um some of them do i mean I, I, think, I, mean, I, I, assume, or... I know that I can only speak for one person that I know for a fact uh, loved to have sex and made her passion her life's work. Uh, Candy, do you enjoy your monthly do Patreon shoots? I do not have Patreon. Oh, I would never have Patreon. Sorry, my That's bad. just straight up. Mary Catherine, you're a bitch. Yeah, you you're are. You're a fedora. You're a fucking Don't talk. bitch. You were talking. Well, I was trying here. to dress up like how you really are. You were dressing up like a cam girl, so I was dressing up like a neck. Oh, excuse me. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Well, you guys get the distinction that, that, that I was trying to the, that I was trying to address. It's not necessarily like what they're doing. It's mostly the way they go about hiding it and making it seem as though they don't participate in sex work, and 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 even oftentimes vilify others who do. What what a lot of these Instagram girls should be doing, a lot of these like Twitch thoughts or whatever should be doing. Excuse me, being like, hey, look. What? Ego. Please don't say the T O H A T O T S word. Okay, whatever. Uh, I I'm, I'm I don't know how to classify this, so I'm just e girls. Okay, what they Cam should woman. be doing is like, look, I have fucking nudes and lewds on my private Snapchat, and there's nothing wrong with that because I genuinely don't think that there's anything wrong with that. And I if people are more open-minded and didn't mm -hmm. consistently act like, uh, uh, you know, selling nudes or whatever is something to be vilified when uh, when people are it's about uh, it, working for defense well, contractors who are responsible for fucking killing Yemeni's children. Um, what? Then, okay, hold on. What? what? Oh. 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 I'm saying that I'm oh, way more oh, 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 to work yeah. for a defense contractor than sell fucking titty pics on the internet. Yes. Oh my god, Jesus, holy oh, shit, Hassan. I didn't really YouTube mean video? sell. Yeah, I didn't mean that. I just mean girls who are slutty on Instagram. Like, th like that's how, yeah. It's like 
Yeah, but the, the point is, Candy, that a lot of those girls that are studying on Instagram and pretend like they don't do anything else actually do a lot. Like, Min a lot of them. Minnie, oh, what did you really Josh, do? Josh, can you, can you DM me some examples of people that you're talking... I mean, just for my own <laughs> research purposes. <laughs> Pull up the folder, Josh. I know a I don't. I know a few. Yeah. Just, Minnie, just, Minnie, Minnie Titan, didn't you yeah. want to say something? <sighs> Uh, I'm just saying that most of those girls are fucking insecure and they're like, oh, these horrible e-women, ugh. But really, they want to be an e-woman, but they don't know how to get into that path. But True. Sucks what? to suck, I guess. So wait, you think people that sell lewds and stuff are insecure? 100%, they're getting fucking gratification by other men jacking Not off Not everybody, I don't That's think, I think some people, it's a good, I mean, I don't I think, think some people, they're getting people... gratification, they're getting But they want to, like, go, well, they want to go right something. into that work, but they it's, can't, well, because this argument is very different, because every some single human, do... we literally all spend our lives, like, seeking gratification for people, like, getting, like, approval from our friends and family or from strangers is, like, yeah. a huge part of the human experience, I want literally everyone does this. There's even a thought, there's even a thought that, like, fucking degenerate. Well, yeah, there's a thought that even like doing something nice for somebody is like you're doing that for your like your own self satisfaction, right? Because you feel mm -hmm. yeah, like doing the, something nice. Like the yeah. people who give money to homeless people and make a YouTube fucking video about it. Yeah, but there's nothing wrong with that. Who the fuck cares? Yeah, I, I mean, people always complain happens. about shit like that, but like, do you think the guy getting the money gives a fuck if the guy's oh, no. making a video of it or not? Day, like, like no. the thing happened. Yeah. <laughs> I saw people tweeting giving ninja shit about that because ninja tweeted that they went on to help people. Like, oh, you just want the attention. Like, even if he does, who the fuck cares if you're yeah, doing something he's good? Make a video of it though, so like he didn't get the full fucking the, the good shit that he was looking for like if you put that on youtube could have been an easy 10 million view video that's not for so okay i have a new topic that i want to play it should should people be able to do yoga on twitch and like perform mm. insane oh. positions that are like often positions. yes 100 yes. yeah, percent and no <laughs> betty uh, catherine we'd prefer not to see your yoga but i do <laughs> you're missing out then. i mean speak for yourself uh, should should is it considered sexual really at all? Like, should they be able to do that on Twitch? Wait. Yeah, they should, but there's a difference about like the girl who I don't know. Is she I gotta pee, girl? by the way. So keep talking about this real quick. I don't want to offend oh, someone. Oh, Roger's gone, so you can name drop. Wrong, Just name drop what him. What the fuck? Oh, Look at this dude. Oh, holy what's shit! Wrong with yoga? I, I, I don't name yoga? drop nobody, but yes, Candyland, go ahead. Oh, the here. In the situation. Oh, 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 here we go. Order. Okay. Order. Well, it was like it was someone, but I don't know. Was she was she banned? Is she banned? I don't know. She's not banned from Twitch, no. But do not mention her name. Who is talking here? I'm talking. Okay, so producer Andy. So, well, it was a it was a woman who did yoga on Twitch, and she did very very vulgar poses. You could see her entire ass and stuff. And it's uh, I don't know. It's like was she wearing like the really tight leggings that are like really tight? No, she and was it's wearing camera. really like panties. It looked more like panties. Oh, it's oh, pants. Oh, I yeah, saw like that one. Very small shorts. Small shorts. I saw I that one where she put I watched her legs that a lot. behind her head. And I feel it's a difference if you're like. Swan, I was the watching like... it too. <laughs> let's if you're... let's not talk about particular streamers. I don't know if we're doing that or not. Okay. I'm actually gonna gladly do that. I think well, it's it's different how you go about it. Like if you do professional yoga, just uh, or if you or if you try to look sexy and like yeah, lick your fingers. I don't know. The it's problem with that. She was what yoga pose do you have to lick your fingers for? I've never heard of that one. <laughs> well, it must be a new problem. one. The it's called the candy. burning doggy is what it's called. <laughs> the, problem, the problem with that candy is if you give it such a wide thing that a bunch of trolls are just going to like group together and say that they're doing this to be like e-girls or to be like titty streamers for no reason and all that garbage. The, if Basically, if you're going to wear clothings that will fit into TOS, yes, you should be able to do yoga. Now, if you're going to do something to where it's going to show way too much skin, then it's going to cause a problem for Twitch's other yeah. TOS. It's not yeah, even I about the clothes, though. It's I, about I the positions that... and shit. Is this Shariah yeah, I don't know. Like, yeah. Okay, so we're kind of like, we're dancing around it, but like, this is... It, mm. Basically, we need to like make a decision on whether or not sexual content is allowed on Twitch, because there are a lot of people, and it's but hard to have this conversation, because content? fucking incel Andes, like fucking train wrecks, are gonna jump up and agree, <laughs> and I don't know if I'm comfortable with that, but like, there are a lot of women on this site that literally do things because they want to do sexual content. So for instance, there might be people that do like some of the body painting, or some of the just dances or some mm. of the yogas and really they don't give a fuck about the actual activity they're doing it's just their way of like doing sexual content and it's like the way of doing it like a tos approved way have you ever um, seen like the females with like the the naked leg but like they've got shorts on and they always have like the leg up like that's still kind of sexual and they do get more views so... maybe it's just because you jerk off the weird things let destiny continue <laughs> well no i was just saying that like that's like a thing that definitely people do and it's yeah of course of they do they want to make easy so money yeah. I would fucking do it. I do it I all the time. But My also, Patreon's like, it depends on, yeah, but, I was, uh, I was, well, it depends on how the chat is too, because I, well, it, not mentioning anything particular, but uh, the chat was like, 
very much like like can you fart for us and stuff like that. <laughs> As long as she's like, like, the one. chat was like, That's the thing is, if chat starts requesting things for money, then it's obviously becoming sexual. Yeah. Isn't ASMR a little bit sexual, though? Like, should ASMR it, be It okay? can be, but it's not inherently, no. So, yeah, but no I don't... I think though. ASMR well, is... Just because been people will beat their dick to anything doesn't make it sexual. Is it no, technically yeah. against the rules it to does. fart in your microphone? Well, some some it's ASMR is like very clearly sexual. Yeah. Like, yeah. But but not all of it is. It's not But like, Go ahead, go ahead, Casey, please. Well, I actually did a very informative sex ed stream a few months ago where I was showing pictures of the female reproductive system and the penis and talking about, you know, the vast deference, the ovaries and things like that. And I really just did it so that I could show penis and vagina on stream. <laughs> what do you think of that? You're going to get banned for saying that? Admit, admit well, it, it, says, it says in the terms of service that as long as it's used in an educational way. Uh, and I, I was that. very educational. About so hold on. So, so hold on. I was talking about periods I and show wet sex dreams and boners. I wasn't if showing sex up and positions. Put a condom on, would that be fine? Uh, if I'm I don't know. I, I don't showed know. how to put on a condom. So if I stood up right now and put one on, I'll be fine. Well, I don't know. I did it on a banana, and I was showing it in an educational purpose. Okay, a banana is different than like actually. Yeah. So like, what's the difference in like putting on like a, something from like a penis? You know, a depiction of how to put on a banana and a penis. Than, like, actually showing a penis. <laughs> well, though. what I mean is like contextually, it's both educational, right? Like they're both educational. S Pen's doing some very educational stuff right now. Yeah, it's just like like yeah. I could be saying like I'm right now I'm yeah. I'm stretching my hip flexor, uh -huh. and and it's going up from my upper Why quadrant. Why do you have two Christmas trees? Well, I have, I have one. Yeah, one fell over. <laughs> I'm a very festive person. Can you educationally take it's off your February. shirt? Yeah, I can. <laughs> okay, no, <I'm> nice. <laughs> anyway, could continue, guys. I, I also have another topic if you're done talking about it. Um. Mm. Well, it's yoga. Well, the, I think he wrote like, a good know. point. <laughs> what was that? I think it's I think it's okay as long as Twitch is consistent about it. So like, mm. if a guy does something and he gets banned for it, the girl should get banned for it too. Sure. And but it's Such you can clearly see what, 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 like, what, what the person's intentions are. are like, you, you gonna, can oh, usually see that. Like for example, yeah, like that person who I was. Not do you think Twitch is incons? Do you think it, Twitch is inconsistent on it, Erob? Oh hell! <laughs> oh no way, dude! No way! <laughs> no, but no. Hey, Rob, but I'm, hold I'm honestly just here. talking. So I've done something. You cut. Out. You cut out. What'd you say? I'm honestly just talking to look like I've done something this podcast. Oh uh, okay. Really you doing? Oh. Good. <laughs> so I said you had a good point because oh, I haven't heard you talk. So. Um. Anyway. Uh. So. All right. Well. Uh. Okay. Well. Wait. Uh, what? Go ahead. Who? Does somebody want to say something? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, go I ahead. Say I was go ahead, Train. About STDs too, and how to prevent them. Go ahead, Train. Oh. The problem with all this is, listen. Yes, yoga should be allowed. I do believe it should be allowed. I do believe there are people that do yoga. The problem is, when it comes to when it comes to categories like these, there is no governing it. You understand? There is no saying yes, but you can't do it in this way in 2018 and 2019. It's either you do it or you don't. The problem is it's the same argument that comes with clothing or comes with, you know, sitting positions or, you know, whatever the case might be. You can't actually call, you can't say, oh, I know, like, even though it's obvious the individual is doing it for this way, you can't say you know it in 2018 and 2019. Otherwise, you'll get slapped with misogyny, you know, sexism and, you know, assuming this and that and you, and you get fucked for it. And Twitch isn't going to do that like for liability sake. So you either do it or you don't. They, they, they can't say a yoga streamer is doing this position. Does, does that make sense? Like, that's just yeah, how I understand. Like, it's how it works. It's, it's the same with clothing, right? But that's, a lot of girls like, know that's not they should just uh, it's like logical thinking. Like you can clearly see if someone what the intention someone has. The yeah, intent doesn't so matter. Though. See that. The, yeah, but, but, yeah, but the problem the is. Yeah, but, yeah but, but here's the problem. Like if they hammer that and then the person gets banned and then it, 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 let's say it goes big that this streamer got banned because she was told that the position she was in was sexual and then Twitch gets backlash for sexism. It's just fucked. So like the, the, they wouldn't do it. And that's why they don't do it for a lot of streamers that you can tell are doing sexual things, but they don't actually make the final ban or the final call. It's just, it's the sensitive time we live in when, when, when it comes to like that category. And it's just this very fucked up. Yeah, I think. Do you think women get preferential treatment? 
Wait, no, but when you say we're no, living in a sensitive no. time, don't you think that you're all, or, or the people that you're advocating for are being kind of sensitive about the kinds of content that they're seeing on Twitch and, and saying that this is sexual in nature? No, because it's a gaming site. It's not Chatterbait or My Free Cams, but okay. It's not a gaming site anymore. It's not. It's I'm not a gamer. I'm on the but, site. But most are we gaming right now, dude? Like, like, expand like outside of it. That's unfortunate. I mean, it, we're it, literally it, not playing games right now. Like, yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah. We're, yeah. everyone here is a gamer. Have, we all have the same interests. Most interest. people That's in here are a gamer. That are we're you, playing whether you're, a game that's called King of the Hill. Whether you're good or bad doesn't make oh. you a gamer. It just makes you a bad or good gamer. Like, if gamers are gamers. Hey, here's Fuck the problem. Gamers. Hey, gamers are gamers. That's what they are. Gamers are just gamers. I think Twitch is like we we are we have like a certain personality. People who come to Twitch, people who choose Twitch, is usually nerds and gamers. And but they don't have otherwise to. Otherwise, they would I, go I, I, to I, like Blog TV. Yeah, that's the why you have so many viewers. That's not no, that's not really true anymore, though. Like, there's people coming on just place games content. as well. There's people just. Oh no, she has viewers. Yeah. Like, there's no Wait, point like gatekeeping the site. Okay, I, I what's he gonna say? It's not just attracting nerds and gamers anymore. Like, it's not. It like we've got people who come on just for political. We've got people who just come. I'm gonna gatekeep this site. Just for IRL and everything else. Like, it's not <laughs> just about gamers. I don't give a shit what Destiny or Hassan or what fucking little sheep come at me with fucking gatekeeping. I will gatekeep this site. <laughs> I don't give gatekeeping What's the difference between being a, you're not a gaming website Wait. anymore or a gamer Train, website? You're a big chunk of what you do is Reddit recaps and, and uh, podcasts yourself. Like, yeah, it, but it's I not game. like you yourself are, are like exclusively keeping it to gaming. Wait, so yeah, every stream has to have 20% of their content that content in video games saying. for some I'm arbitrary like, reason. Listen, like, what's the. It's like being a veteran, a, a veteran, dude. I'm just a 28 year old washed up gamer that does Reddit recaps. That, that, that's how it is. Does that make sense? But don't you realize that? Don't you realize that that you can't gatekeep gaming content when you yourself are not doing gaming for the most I part. I do you gaming. If you, look, if, you, if you look at my twinge, I have at least at least 80 hours of gaming every month. Yeah. At least that's half and, my okay, content. And all of your viewers are when you're not doing gaming. Obviously <laughs> Just like you so? have evolved uh, away from just playing WoW or whatever you were doing originally, uh, other people are coming onto the platform to not just do gaming. Yeah, and well, Twitch guess obviously what? is yeah, interested yeah, in expanding yeah, beyond so, yeah, gaming. Guess what? Yeah, but, but guess you what? Seen... You people, you people, and I will, I will you people the shit out of that. <laughs> yes. People that came on that don't game or have never gamed were the same motherfuckers that sat there laughing at the gamers 10 years ago when it wasn't the cool thing to do. And now oh, bandwagon mm -hmm. Twitch. Making some money, let's Daddy, hop on on a platform. So I will gatekeep right. the fuck out of it. You're I will not game right, a day in my life from this point. But I remember the days in high school when gaming saved me from those days. While you motherfuckers were laughing at us, you know that. Come here with some bullshit about I was a, a, a super cool kid. Like, fuck what are you talking here. about? I, I, I was goddamn I was yeah, you well. people, motherfucker. No. I will you know that give me the goddamn trident. I will gatekeep. Totally like, popular, you must have been. No, just because I look like this now doesn't mean I always look this way, and it doesn't mean that I didn't fucking grow up. I don't uh, care what you look like. I don't, I don't care. I don't care by if myself. I don't care if you're a kid or not. I don't care. And care having land parties at internet cafes in Turkey, like that. that you, but you don't know that. Uh, I guess, and you assume that because uh, I well, look did you or did you not? Or because I talk a certain way that I uh, didn't have enough gamer clout for you. Yeah, and, and like just, Hassan didn't come on. Gamer. Gamer, no, Hassan didn't come hey, on. Hey, so kick him off, fake gamer. This is like this shit is like it, he doesn't even fit that category. His first streams were just gaming, but he didn't grow as much until he went ahead and started actually talking about politics because that's why people came to see him. Like it's it's the the viewers, it's the site that wanted yeah, that. I'm not I'm not saying it's bad or wrong. I'm just saying I'm gonna gatekeep. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so they're like, this is like, you think it's bad or wrong? Like, you think it's bad or wrong if you're gatekeeping it? Like, inherently. No, I don't think it's bad or wrong. What I'm, does gatekeeping mean? Why are you gatekeeping it? Then? Mean? I don't know. Why, why, why would you not want that on the site if you don't think it's bad or wrong? Oh, no, it can be on the site. Brain, I'm just okay, why wouldn't you want it? I'm just going to gatekeep. I didn't He's, say that. I don't he just want wants to keep the game separate from the non game. Hey, listen. Hey. Hey, chill out, Josh. All right, yo, chill out. All right, well, separate but equal for the gamers. The, the and yeah. separate. He's segregating them. Yeah, yeah. that that but world the first game. Game is listen, ease up, right? Ease yeah, the saddles. I'm, I'm, all right, all right, well, cool, cool, cool. Ease um, the saddles. All right, dude. Listen, no, I love Josh. Terms, good dude. Yeah. Listen, I'm gatekeeping. We don't right? know I, each I other. The, I have double tridents. I have the pitchforks of the devil. Wait. I'm sitting here with my goddamn coke. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, and I'm okay. you're a fake gamer. It would have been Mountain Dew if he was a gamer. Fake gamer, confirmed. Who drinks Mountain Dew? Who got him? 
Wait, hold really? on, wait. Do really? people look like okay. Izzy Bear? No, like, just because at one point in time, a whole bunch of people weren't into games and they're getting into it now, I don't understand why people demonize yeah. that shit. Like, you should be happy that more people are getting involved in, in your thing. I mean, it's making all of us bigger, it's giving us more people to play games with, it's giving us larger audiences, it's making gaming more mainstream, there's more budgets that are being allocated at AAA companies to produce huge fucking projects and shit. Like, I don't understand- It's all just going to- yeah. I mean, I, I, I agree. Like, I, I, understand, <laughs> like, I understand from an no, emotional point of view that you want to like lash out against people that you've perceived that have done you yeah, wrong yeah, in the past. No, but like, why no. not just like chill? Like, there's literally I nothing beneficial that comes from like gatekeeping the fuck oh, out of a I website. No, listen, I'm gatekeeping emotionally. Okay. <laughs> what? Well, but mentally yeah. then. Yeah, Trend. yeah, yeah. Trend. Trend. I'm emotionally gatekeeping. I, I don't. Both? I don't give a shit. At the end of the day, realistically, what Hassan said. Listen, I'm I'm logging on. I'm I'm doing my Reddit recaps. All okay, right? I'm, I've got a legitimate question here. Okay. I got a legitimate question. Why does everybody re at the, uh, they, they considered IRL and just chatting the normie re sections, but why are they, why, why do they, why do they, why do, they, why do, they, why do a lot of influencers when they hit the IRL section, it's like their most popular portion of the broadcast because because the reason because being is personal. because it appeals to the most people right it Wait, no, 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 no 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 go ahead destiny there's a big there's a different i know exactly it's because it's personal one second destiny go ahead yeah. destiny's okay, passion when the IRL section started on twitch these were non-gaming people that actually hated games on twitch that's why a lot of people initially will re like the IRL stuff when people like ice poseidon were doing big streams i think hyphonics is IRL stuff i don't remember it in the past but especially like ice's crowd these are people that would come to the site that literally would shit on people for playing games like they would make fun of people that do gaming content like so it was a massive Fuck culture that. mismatch between the people that did irl versus the people that did normal streams the reason why people yeah. like irl now more than the people do normal streams because you grow an audience through normal streams but at the end of the day people generally like personalities more than watching pro gamers unless you're literally like the right. best at your fucking craft so people like greek people like train people like me typically you want to get as much personality to this person as possible and the way to do <clears> that is <throat> watching videos and interacting with the chat not just focusing on a video game yes yeah, yeah that's, that's what i was gonna say that's what exactly right same yeah, that's exactly right do you guys what, what do you guys you find more interesting just out of just out of curiosity what do you guys find more interesting watching a video game or watching somebody in irl depends what they're doing depends who it is the thing is not like I, for me like whenever i watch a stream i want to watch the streamer and i want to interact with the streamer but the reality of it is not every viewer is like that and um, they don't want to watch every single game but they might still like the streamer and the irl section or just chatting or whatever uh that's whenever you're like directly like you're directly watching their personality as opposed to watching what game they're playing yeah there's days where there's day it, it depends who it is there's days where i prefer watching destiny talk on the irl section and i just put them on in the background and them talk i feel great it's great content and there's days i just want to put on like you know summit or i put on shroud and i just kick back it depends what mood i'm in i think both i noticed you say on really good but can't you personally like come through when you're playing you video games me, like that's hey, what, what the that best case? people do casey what was that oh i said i noticed you said all male gamers have you seen <laughs> all the uh, female streamers uh, in the just chatting just section <laughs> Can I Might as well be. Go, go ahead, Casey. Oh. Go ahead, Casey. Oh, Trainwrecks, in my chat in 2014, you said, I love this. This is my type of female. She'll be there by my side while we fuck all over your dead mothers, you fucking losers. Do you still stand by what you wrote? <laughs> you said that in my chat. Oh, okay, dude. <laughs> She's got receipts. Hey. That's cute. Hey. I thought That's it was. Cute. Train, how hey. come you never speak like that to me, dude? He doesn't hey, like listen, that. Dude. I've, 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 been, I've, been, I've been whipped into shape by TOS, dude. I can't talk like that anymore. <laughs> it's still fun to look Holy back. Shit. Though. Oh, for sure. I mean, if, if, if you go into Sony D or Tyler once chat, I say, I, I used to say, like, yo, look in my eyes, you blue eyed sexy beast. Come in my fucking mouth. I used to say, fuck that shit in guys' chat, too. Oh Don't feel too special. Winnie. I can I, confirm. I, I, I did it. Says that about did, me all the time still to this day when he comes yeah, into my. I did, it in, I did it in men's chat, so don't feel too special. You still do it in men's chat because the women are the ones that report you and get you banned. <laughs> Being some uh, gay shit in a man's chat, no one cares, but it's, once you do it to a woman's Let's not generalize here mary catherine come on i'm just saying <laughs> all right okay all right let us uh take a straw poll now we are voting for who you want to keep on the raj royale podcast not kick keep not kick all right the poll is coming into the chat here very soon and you're going to vote all right keep not kick all right there we go poll is coming through all right go ahead and vote Chat. Remember, Encels, if I don't fucking win, I'm coming back next week. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Good point. 
Good point, Izzy. Um. Remember, you're voting oh for you God, on a kick, fun. right? Vote for who you want to kick, guys. No, keep. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, you That'll just fucked it up. Next week, Destiny. <laughs> I'll just say that every. But right, I go ahead and vote, chat. It's not letting me vote. Uh, I'd like to <laughs> say thank you to all my no subscribers. Appreciate it. Hey, Spam, what are you eating? <laughs> Uh, that looks good. Breast. I'm hungry. Mm. Turkey breast from Subway with mm. banana pepper. Great, yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, oh my really god. Good. I mean, uh, now that you sell, now that you said it was Subway, I changed my perspective. Why don't they eat turkey testicles? Subway? Isn't that kind of sexist? Yeah, it is kind testicles. of. Like, have you ever yeah. thought of that? Like, they never eat turkey <laughs> testicles. It's only turkey breasts. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Why do you? Why do you? Gotta be small. <laughs> Why would you eat testicles? And it's because <laughs> testicles have a really weird fucking consistency and texture. Because if Wait. you ever draw fucking. Sorry, I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to pull an you argument that Hassan would agree. With. I don't. Don't take that. That was. A, that was an. Attempt at a I'm just adding to it. it, was, it was you've fun. never had testicles candy. Really? I think. I well, think Hassan. I think. Well, uh, I think the reason not, why we uh, have. Uh, we have uh, people don't want to eat turkey testicles is because we're socially programmed. To believe that yeah, you think we're what, is testicles what is inside the balls or what? Candy Lynn, I'm, you balls know a lot about testicles. what's inside yeah, balls. Yeah, testicles, <laughs> testicles is what's I've heard about your pity blowjobs. Yeah. Holy shit, Izzy oh, Bear. Oh, you can get one. Izzy Bear. Is inside the balls? What'd you no, say? Semen comes from several different, from different areas in your body, but partially from the balls, partially from the prostate. Part the Wait, what? Semen's in the prostate? Why do you no. think men's G-spot is in their asshole? Wait, I didn't know semen was created in the prostate. I thought it was only in the testicles. No, no, no. no. That, when you when you balls. ejaculate, it's not just um, it's not just sperm or whatever that come out. It's like a whole bunch of shit, right? There's like it's not just baby making stuff. It's stuff that keeps it alive, like the, the, the whole seminal fluid and shit, right? Yeah. Mm. Well, I, I heard I heard, a, I, I heard if you drink a I heard I heard if you drink a gallon of milk, cum will just it'll just start replacing. <laughs> Come will just come out with cow sperm. With what do you mean? <laughs> no, like you drink if you drink milk and you start coming, it the body will be take the milk and come for you after that. Doesn't pineapple make your Wait, cum what? better? Yeah, did you know? So you can nut that milk. That is true. Yeah. It's true. So, I mean, we already call it nut milk. So yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. E Rob, you have won, but you don't get to decide. <laughs> Why? Because. Why is e -Rob so popular? Because. Destiny, you decided last time, and that's how the, the rules of the Raj Royale work. Destiny, you get to decide between the two bottom amount voted. It's either Mary, Catherine, or Izzy. Um, fuck. Who had the least, the least votes? Mary, Catherine. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bye. All right, Mary, Catherine, would you like to give Bye, yourself Mary a Catherine. shout out? Yeah, West PTW is where I do all my yoga. Um, but Patreon is my real money, so make sure you subscribe <laughs> to my Patreon, please. All right, bye, Mary Catherine. Bye. Thank you so that's much. That's a joke because that's, you can't say that on Twitch. Hit me up with Snapchat. That's, you know. that's a joke. Hey, no. Thank you, bitch. Yeah, of course it's. Thank a you, joke. next. Bye. All right, thank you, Mary Catherine. I appreciate it. Well, Izzy, you survived. How about that? I'm on round three. <laughs> Woo -hoo! All right, um, we do have to talk about this next uh, next one. Um, I just realized Wes is the most conservative person we had, and now lo now no longer we have that. Um, all right. Okay, so that? I want to talk about the Super Bowl nipple thing. Um, what? So what happened? So yeah, nipple gate. Nipple gate at the Super Bowl. Adam Levine, Kriegasm, took off his shirt at the Super Bowl and showed his nipples and was being praised. All right. And there is outrage because when Janet Jackson uh, showed her nipple in the uh, Super Bowl. There's outrage, uh, okay? Showed her nipple in the Super Bowl. Well, she no was she was nipple. banned. Yeah, she didn't even show nipple, by the way. Okay. There was a there was a, there was a plate over her nipple. Well, any, a well forget about it. The, whatever. She, but anyway, Jazz regardless of the fact, a plate, whatever, the act of even slightly almost exposing her nipple, all right, there was backlash on social media because she got banned from the Super Bowl when that happened. Dude, we're literally gonna get to a point, Raj, where people are gonna say, "Man, man, I don't get it. My boy went to jail for shooting someone, but oh. but X and X went to jail for or for shooting someone in a video game, and he didn't go to jail. Like some like Wait, what the what what the fuck kind of a Listen, dude? That's we're gonna go. Well, okay, yeah. let me ask a question. Shit. We're I think I think clearly, shit, dude. No, can I say something? Yes. There is clearly a difference between a woman tit and a male tit. It's a difference between them. Do you agree? Do you agree, people? Yes. 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 Yeah. No. 
Because it's a no? tet. It tits a tit. A tits a tit. No, a woman's got a really nice fucking pectoral muscles. That's more sexual to me. No, a woman teeth is painted as a sexual thing, and a ma male teeth has always not been. Why can't men be been. painted as sexual? Yeah, it can oh, be, it no, can so. be, but it's, it's just not, it's not if right I now. If I saw Sven's titties, I'd be like, god damn, they're probably some nice titties, like... Yeah, but my titties don't shoot milk. <laughs> it's well, for most women, most women's, women's titties aren't, aren't shooting milk, milk either. Wait, yeah, wait, right? Most, I know. most women's I breasts are not stupid. constantly producing milk. I was just being stupid. I heard somewhere that if you like suck on a nipple regularly, it'll like start producing you milk. Start like even like if you don't. Time, yeah. yeah. But Okay, here's so the boring reality is that right now, like, there's two different conversations here. Should a man's boob versus a woman's boob be viewed differently? We can have a discussion on that. The reality is, though, right now, at least in the United States, they are viewed very differently. So, obviously, if you show a woman's boob on TV versus a man's boob, oh, you're going to get in huge trouble for it. Like, that's just the reality of the situation. So, is the Super Bowl right to, like, perpetuate that? I mean, probably. It's a big business. I don't expect them to start breaking through, like, social norms or some shit. Not like that anytime soon. In fact, I'm pretty sure you even get fucking fined if you do that shit on public TV. So, I mean, it's not really surprising that. That would be Dude, the take that I've held this back for probably six months now <laughs> because I've been, I've been scared. I'm just gonna say it. Dude. No, I gotta no, say it publicly. He's I gonna say it. it. It's not, not working, it. Clay. Dude, I, not I working. Have, you spent oh, 30 no, days in the Twitch pen, man. Come on. No, listen, dude. I've got to say this. I am so sick and tired of this argument every day. I'm gonna say it. Whoever whoever gets offended, ah! listen, give me your give me your goddamn fucking give me a rebuttal. Listen. Women's breasts and men's fucking breasts are two different things. They're, they're, they're different. They're fucking different. They're different. They are fucking different. It's that simple. It's and done. And nipples and nipples, pal. It's that. No, no. Listen. They are different. They're different. Mm -hmm. Okay? They are different. Okay? They're different. Yes. They're different. They're different. Good train rigs. I get your point. It's I agree with you. I completely I'm so agree. Sick of this okay, like, so then here's so then here's the, okay, so here's the obvious question. So here's the obvious question. Rebut that, dude. So here's the obvious question. Say you take a, a, a woman that has very small breasts. She's an A cup. What's the difference between her showing her breasts versus somebody? I'm not trying to be mean here, but somebody like Esfan who has larger breasts showing his. Uh, no, Why is one different than the other? It's very different. It's a woman and a man. Like it's. I think it's okay, so you're saying it's different, but I'm asking you how. In what way? Because if I were to say how, I know exactly how you and a son would jump on it and attack me in a, in, in a sexist, misogynistic face. way. No, no, oh my God, I, I know, I'm not I know saying sexist, misogynistic. I'm just asking I know for how questions. It's responded to, I know how it's responded to. I'm not going to say it publicly. Well, then what's your counter, counter argument then? If you know how, if you know the counter argument. My counter argument is I... Everyone in chat and everyone, everyone knows I can't respond why, but they know my counter argument is they are different. That's it. They are fucking they are, different. Yeah, listen, are different. Listen, I'm going to get to a point. I can't argue that. Just listen, DM listen, Destiny. Listen, listen, DM Destiny. Listen, 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 you want to go down DM this road? Destiny. We're going to get to a point. I predict this, oh. okay? In 150 years, mark my words, when I'm fucking dead, thank God. God, when I'm dead, in 150 years, there's gonna be no man and woman. There's only gonna be human. That's it, human. There's gonna be nothing. Why is that there a bad thing? thing. It will just be human. It will, because it shouldn't it's matter. Like, it's it's matter. We're so digging beautiful. so deep. We're digging yeah. so deep. Like it's just so crazy. What do you think, want? Yeah. What do you got? Like what does people? What do people want? What do people want? I don't get it. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, wait, I can talk to Go ahead, Izzy. Want, Izzy, go ahead. Go ahead, Izzy. Nothing in society breaks it. down if we get rid of your general. Nothing. You can't name society fucking unhinging and burning and dying because of them. It's so dumb that we hold them to the level we do. And it causes so a much level, stupid shit like level. this conversation. A level? What level? What level? It, it, so, it, it, when society breaks down without gender role. The, so the structure of the family is probably a cornerstone right now in a modern Western society, and breaking that down seems to cause a lot of bad things in, in different scenarios. So, for instance, if you're raised in a single parent household, it can cause a lot of bad things to happen, or you're predicted sure. to, you know. Um, the, 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 what, in terms of train wrecks, in terms of what you're asking, like, what do people want? I think that generally what the, the general argument would be given is that what people want is the freedom to, to wear things or to show a boob without people necessarily sexualizing it. It can be sexual, but to, without it necessarily being sexualized. Let's be this, real. Let's be real for I a second. I don't like okay? that. Yes, there are men, there are men, there are men that are bad. They are mm, disgusting yes. pigs mm, yes. and they sexualize mm. women when they don't mm. want to be sexualized. Mm. Let's be mm. honest, yes. Mm. But let's not forget mm. there is also yeah. on the See opposite it, end, there, on the opposite end, just like there's piggish men, there are also mm. women that sexualize themselves. So stop uh, making this about um, like, Hold on, wait, this is what's called. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Destiny. This was literally not a response to anything. This was not a response to uh, anything that it just said. What are you doing? It, it didn't I address anything at all. I hate this year. I hate it. Oh, I agree. Me too. We are so me too. 
I can't even. I'm scared. To, listen, I'm with you, Rob, on this one. Listen, you know, here's a fact. Here's right, a fact. Stop okay, farming. Listen, listen, listen. No, I, I can't even say what I want to say now. Continue. Say it then. No, I mean, okay, can I wait? Can I can just can you DM me your argument? Because whatever you're trying to say, yeah. I could probably say it. You can just say it. I don't know why you're so fucking scared to say it. Like, what, like no. there are there are concrete differences between men and women. The way that we view breasts is highly sexual. They're they're evolved with secondary sexual characteristics. I mean, like, what what is it that you want to say? You can fucking say. It. I don't know why you're acting so scared. Because listen, scared. listen, listen. Those concrete differences that that you say that there are, which yes, there are. Maybe not now, but in ten years or twenty years, those concrete differences. Are, are going to be argued too. Do you understand? It's never right, going right, to end. Right. It's never going to end. There, there's going to be right, arguments. Okay. That's, that's because in society, that's because in reaching and reaching. No, no, we're not reaching. Okay. So our goal in any society, this is the point of technology. This is the point of science. This is the point of everything we fucking do is generally to make people happier. This idea that there is some established concrete difference or whatever is all at the end of the day ultimately subject to our own human values. If for some reason we decide to say like, hey, maybe women in general are happier if they can show a boob publicly or if they can walk around topless without people mm -hmm. necessarily sexually objectifying them and that makes the majority of people happier what the fuck is the problem with that how can you be so fucking mad about that i don't know yeah, i'm not I mad about it then do it i'm not mad so about it i'm not when, mad about when, it it's because it keeps going i'm not mad about it do it it doesn't affect me it doesn't bother me do it do it but do it it bothers listen, me I'd walk it's just non-stop it's not it, everything is being no everything <laughs> every syllable every dude, i probably dude in 10 more years i probably came in uh fucking sexist uh, oh, fucking misogynist! Uh, right, right. Fucking racist! Uh, 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 fucking I, I will, yeah, I will yeah, say yeah. this. It's end. I will say this. The 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 left is getting angry at the uh, at cate at people categorizing people based on their gender or whatnot, but at the same time turn around and categorize people as misogynist, racist, and multiple different other. Categories I as well. I understand this, but the frustrating part, and this is a large part of what I do, is that instead of having an, an intelligence response to somebody, you become a total fucking reactionary, and you basically let the person define you in a negative way. So, like, if somebody, so for instance, I'll one hundred percent agree on that. The left goes full fucking stupid on a lot of fucking issues, and they're real, especially things like fucking gun control, right? The left will see a lot of really fucking stupid shit. So, like, as an example, like, right? Whoa. When when the left talks about gun control, they obsess over like assault rifles, right, or AR-15s. It's like nobody even fucking dies to AR-15s. It's like fifty people a fucking year. But my response isn't, oh, God, I'm going to laugh to outrage culture. I fucking hate them all. It's, it's the same. Well, I understand that some of what they, say, the, like, some of what the they say is bad. And, you know, but we can find the good and we can develop our own position. And we don't have to become an insane fucking reactionary to everything that's said. There's a reason why a lot of people get mad at a lot of misogynistic shit. Because there's a lot of stuff that gets passed off as a woman. It's just casual fucking sexism that you're just supposed to live with. That's part of what the kind of the Me Too movement showed out. Just because there are some people on left or some, some people on Twitter or whatever that go fucking crazy. Doesn't mean you have to throw out the baby with the bath water and become a complete fucking reactionary to a, a couple of fringe positions that not everybody even believes in. Mm. I'm thinking about starting a new movement called agree. Free the Ball Sack, actually. <laughs> free the Ball Sack. <laughs> yeah, if I, ball no, agree. I think it's beautiful to cover up. I think, I think. What? Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, but like to cover your nipples, I mean, like if a woman. Oh, but not the ball woman, sack. Like, right. Woman should Do cover, no, ma we man make the nipple less sexy if we cover ball. them up or if we just let them out, I mean. Yeah, like, yeah, keep it sexy. I think, like, oh my god, I, I hope that it never gets, like, gets uh, neutral to show women. It's not about it being neutral. It's about you having the fucking choice. How is this so hard? It, like, Legs I, are sexy. People shave them. People wear leggings and style. People do all sorts of sexy shit. Yeah, but I don't want to come on them, Destiny. Some people do. Yes, you do. I fucking all come on a nice yes. fucking leg if it what looks about... fucking nice enough. Yeah, I know, but is, is why, why, why do I want to come on? T why is the, the tip my great option to come on? The difference is, is that if you're a woman, you can walk around and show your legs. You can have shorts on. It's okay because the power is supposed to reside with the individual at least in a liberal society like in the terms of liberalism not democrat in a liberal society we generally want to empower people with as much agency and freedom as possible if you want to present yourself in a certain way that's fine nobody should be allowed to say hey legs are too sexy cover them up hey ankles are too sexy cover them up we all sit here and shit on people for the sharia no, law shit yes, hey cover true. up your hair when, when i was younger and you turn I around and we go hey you know you should like cleavage brother. cover that shit up too like what the fuck is the difference it's literally the same no, type of argument when i was younger i had to cover up i had to, i couldn't wear shorts at my job I was working as a caretaker uh, nurse, kind of. Sure, and do you want your and, whole life to be like that? That you can't wear shorts anywhere yeah, because legs are too wide? Yeah, I'm very sure. Like, I didn't want, like, the old guys to 
Mm. You know, I when you to don't like, want them to do it, though, that's your choice, and that's the yeah. point. If but you're also my best job me, where I that's not a risk, would you like to wear shorts when it's too fucking hot? Like when that's when that when the old guy touching you or looking at you wrong isn't a risk, would you like to wear fucking shorts then? Also, the onus isn't on you, Candyland. The onus is on the guy not to fucking grab you inappropriately just because you're wearing shorts. Like, you shouldn't feel like it's your fault or you well, were asking for it because you were wearing shorts. No, I think it's my fault. If I'm wearing something super oh, sexy, God. I understand. Well, I, 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 that's because you have horrible yeah. fucking self esteem. Well, you're horrible okay. internal. I shouldn't be so fucking fucked. It's oh, actually not your okay. fault. I will listen. It's absolutely your fault. This is like what I'm going out and I'm wearing like. Guys, no, it's a language barrier. Okay. Shoot. That's not a language no, barrier. It's literally, no, this is the definition no, of internalized not. misogyny. Don't try to fuck it. No, it's not. Can I explain? Can I explain? Go ahead, yeah, Candy. Please explain. I, yeah, I, I remember once when I was like wearing very revealing clothes and I was walking in the city, I was going to a concert and guys were like whistling after me and I was like, well, I shouldn't, I should probably not have worn this out. No, uh, he shouldn't have whistled uh, at you. <laughs> okay, so here, so there's, no, a, thing, no, there's no, a thing no, in society no, where we can have this thing. thing, okay, we call, we call this internalized misogyny or internalized racism, where basically you can have a negative view of your own race or your own gender because society is reinforces so much. Another example of this is when a black guy says, well, you know, I got out of the car and the cop wanted to ask me some questions. I mean, to be fair, I am black and I am driving a really nice car. I guess I kind of understand why the cop wants to. Those aren't good thoughts to have. No, your goals shouldn't be changed. Your goals shouldn't change society. No, of course I'm going to get less respected depending on what I wear. If I if I want to wear something super slutty, of course people are going to yeah. Listen, listen. And I understand that. Yeah, listen. Here's why that here's why that African American example of the black of the black on the cops not the example. Okay, Candy. Okay, Candy is admitting. She is admitting that she's wearing clothing that is sexual. She has objectified the clothing <laughs> yeah. as sexual. Do you understand? So she Ooh, is admitting that it is sexual. Mm. When it's something that's sexual, you are wearing it for the attention of others for that specific reason. So it that sounds example, like she didn't want that well, attention. I'm never here. wearing that it for example, any others. No, it I'm sounds like here she myself. wasn't wearing it for that reason. Right, 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 yeah, right, right, I'm right, wearing right. it for myself. That example yeah. of the black man in the No, cop, literally, what you no just said is fucking wrong. She just told you that you were just wrong about what you just said. Can you please acknowledge that? Wait, hold on. Don't acknowledge it. She Don't literally it. just said that she wasn't going to be sexual sexy. for other people. Let me know. This is too yeah, funny. Yeah, I, that's I, literally I what she just said. She's labeling it as slutty. She's labeling She's not labeling it as slutty. She's doing it because other people okay. told her it was slutty. That's what she just said. Also, also, so again, the reaction of others should not dictate what you do. You should still have the freedom to wear whatever the fuck you want to wear without being harassed by other people. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I, I agree. agree. I, 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 I completely agree with that. I don't think I anybody agrees with that. Except for Candy. Mm. I oh, don't, I no, no, go ahead, Candy. Like, yeah, a little it would bit. Nice. Go ahead. It would be nice to be able to wear whatever, like whatever, and people not judging me for it. But I understand That's if someone is going to judge me. I honestly, I no, disagree what, with Erob on this one. <laughs> but okay, so Candy, do you think? Do you think that like okay? You don't think that they should be able to do that, right? Or you think that they shouldn't do that? But is what you're saying that you feel like? If if you feel like you're going to be in a situation where this could possibly happen, then you need to take like, um, like preventative measures. Is kind of what you're saying? Yeah, I think I think so. I think I should uh, not. I should probably not have worn that revealing clothes in the middle of the. But it's, but it's not necessarily your fault. Like you're just no. essentially like being proactive about it by like not wearing it in that situation, which is wrong yeah, anyway. But it's just logical thinking. It's just, thinking. I, it's just I, logical thinking. I think like. Oh, I don't know how to explain this, but why uh, isn't it logical? I see, uh, no, I see what you're saying. I see what no. you're saying. Control to not fucking catcall and focus just on. <laughs> no, the, yeah, but I can't change the it. Terrible. You shouldn't. I, do I that. can't change it. Like I, I, I understand. It would be lovely if they didn't. I know, but when we're having a hypothetical conversation it. about changing it, maybe don't take the role of the uh, of the victim blamer. <laughs> I, I don't. Well, I'm just saying, if you're not gonna get catcalled, don't dress like a slut. If you. Like that's that's, that's internalized. That wording. We're so having a hypothetical so conversation about what yeah. should here's be. The problem. And when here's we're having that conversation, if you're reinforcing the existing gender roles and reinforcing exactly. the bad behavior, exactly. you're essentially you're essentially caping for those dudes the, who are the, who are harassing you for whatever yeah, the, you want the, to the, wear. The, 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 main pro, the main pro, the, the, the main like problem is you the, the main problem is you're using the word slut so much. That's the problem. Like you're labeling what you're wearing as slutty, but you're saying you're not doing it for anyone. It just it's this weird thing. It's this weird language barrier. I think. Realistically, if you mm -hmm. wear clothing out and it's not for anyone else, you're just wearing it for yourself, 
and you're going to the fucking mall and some guy cat calls you, he is in the wrong. It is not your right. fault. He's yeah, dirty. I wish I could change the world, he's but the, the world is like the world is. He's a disgusting um, pig. I know, but, we're talking about but, how the world is right yes, now, and we're having a conversation about listen, what it should no, be. Man. Can right, I fucking finish, finish train? Please? Let train listen, finish. There's two, it's, it's very simple, okay? If you're wearing something for yourself, for nobody else you just want to look good you're going out and a guy cat calls you it is his fault he is a pig he is misogynist and he is what's some, the whatever. He's disgusting cat calling and walking up to someone and fucking hell you finish your yeah, fucking agree, question you scottish fuck <laughs> holy shit <laughs> fuck. fuck you prick <laughs> for the 80th time just please yeah of finish. course i agree he's a pig of course i agree yes, <laughs> but if you're wearing it specifically for the attention <laughs> And you want people to look, you want people to say stuff and look at you because that's where you get it from. If you're doing it for that specific reason, this is a hypothetical for that specific reason. If you're doing it and you're willing to acknowledge that, then yes, you are bound to get one or two terrible comments and you can't pick and choose, right? But if you're doing it for yourself, yes, the guy is a pig. If you're admitting that you're doing it for the attention of others, then yes, you're going to get one or two comments and you have to accept the consequences if you want the positive. It's Wait. that simple. Thank you. Mm, I, How could you distinguish really whether or not she was doing it for herself versus for others' yeah. attention? No, I was giving two hypotheticals. This wasn't to her. This was I was giving her two hypotheticals. She not said it her, was for herself. It shouldn't like, matter who you do it for, but yeah, it shouldn't matter who you do it, it for. Like, so this man is not should do it regardless. You should not women harass should women regardless. I don't think that's too crazy of an it's idea. Not, listen, it's okay, it, I listen, got one. Oh, what do you think about people that stare at you, Candy? What do you people think about people that stare at you rather than cat call you? Uh, well, depends how good looking they are, isn't it? You like what you I see? don't notice that. I'm not very. Uh, uh, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't notice. Okay. I'm but observative, or I'm not very. So, yeah. So. <laughs> Sorry, I lost him. Sorry, I lost him. I lost him. <laughs> you broke. The goal is that at the end of the day, what we want in society is yes. hopefully women should be able to wear something they want and yes. they shouldn't have to subject themselves to somebody yeah. else's interpretation of what I don't know why you're saying yes when you just disagreed with this for your whole previous argument. No, no, no. The, no, the goal is that why it. is it only you that doesn't understand? Why does S fan understand? Why is it only you? I completely understand what you're saying. I, understand I understand everything, everything you've either. said. I've heard it like but... a million times. I completely understand what you're saying. No, you don't. No, you don't. I think women should wear whatever they want. No. Without without being harassed or catcalled. I believe that. The thing is, there are times I, I do it myself. There's Wait, times then what did we disagree on? Nothing. I was you don't think there's some stuff that's not okay, though. That's what like I'm saying. You... Like, people were changing what Train was saying. But if also, you need to understand that like, if, if, if you're wearing something, you might. Like, you might be treated in a different way. Like we have to understand that. Like we can't just change the world. But okay, we can try to change the world, but we can't just do it. Do you do, think do, that do you guys seriously? Right, no, no, no. Can I, can, do you guys seriously want a world where people can go out wearing whatever they want, and that's okay? And like you can never like the, the difference between catcalling someone and calling someone out on something, right? Like catcalling is one thing that's fucked up, right? But like, do you guys want it so you you're never approached in public and someone like has a problem with you or anything like that? I, that's. Really? If someone's wearing a Nazi uniform, yeah, it's unrealistic. I'm probably the... going to call them out and even maybe do other stuff. It's oh, wait, so that's different because oh, not to oh, oh, fuck. Okay, but, 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 is go ahead. Illegal to wear? What about ahead. people walking around naked and shit? Like, is uh, how, how revealing can we get? Like, what, what are we talking about? Go ahead, sure. Destiny. So, okay, so yeah, so right now it's it's this is very frustrating because we're having this conversation. We are seated so deeply inside our own cultural relativism. It is unfathomable that things could change. But like this exact same conversation that we're having right now. Could you tone it down for you, Rob, a little bit? maybe use language that's a little bit simpler <laughs> okay our values change with the times and this same conversation that we're having right now has been had about a million different things should women flappers in the 40s did it right should women reveal their ankles should women be allowed to wear dresses that show their knees is showing the back too slutty like we've had and every time you know it's like well isn't this crazy well look at music right fucking when romantic music came out people thought that it was it was fucking the devil's music compared to shit that like Mozart or even further back Bach played and when fucking rock and roll came out you know it was like based on jazz and black music and all this gross stuff and then when fucking R&B and like we keep and then now we're today where people are like yeah. should women really be allowed to wear their nipples like isn't this crazy this is the exact same conversation you have like 50 mine. million times you know, the people like, have some responsibility you an ankle and a back to a nipple I, I, I can never again fathom it because right now you are seated so deeply in your own cultural relativism that you can't fathom it but in the past people absolutely did women showing even a little bit of leg were considered 
massive fucking sluts. And I'm sure that fucking 50 years from now, maybe women will be showing their boobs and shit, and, and people will be thinking like, well, should we be allowed to show this or that or whatever? Like, this has happened for all of human history. Can walk around with your tits out. What? In, in, in New York, can't you walk around with your tits out? I think so in New York City, can't <laughs> yeah. you? Oh, I know in my... Yeah. 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 Wait, guys, wait, guys, guys, guys Destiny's guys. trying to, Destiny's trying to explain cultural relativism in the simplest culture. terms possible. Yeah. The culture shifts throughout time, and we find things to be acceptable that we previously did not think were acceptable. The reason and why a lot of times we go back to like black people and, 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 and slavery is because there were a lot of people who thought slavery was acceptable and fought against uh, uh, abolishing slavery. So obviously, as culture shifts, we shift with it and we normalize this sort of behavior, which is why 20, 30, 40 years down the line, we probably won't have the same kinds of uh, perspectives on nipples, just like we don't have the same kind of perspective on legs anymore, even though it, that was a point of contention at some point. Do you I not just think people have say... some responsibility to fit within the zeitgeist no, of whatever won't. time? They, they, they won't have any responsibility. But also, but, like, like, at the like, time, like, Casey, I'm going to let you get in. Time, One second. It's not <laughs> anything that's weird. We're, it's all social conditioning. Yeah, <clears> and at the time where, where calves wasn't acceptable to be wearing out, you should, you understand you will get looked at and treated weird yeah. if you wear your calves out. That's, that's the same, like, if I'm... <laughs> you wear your cap. Sure, but, but, like, not, okay, like, but current societal justify bad behavior, <laughs> especially if you want to change the conditions that you exist under, right? <laughs> can't turn you, you around can't. and be like, well, they're just going to do this to me. Like, there was a point in time when if you couldn't wear pants on Sunday as a woman, what are you going to do? Are you just like, ah, well, just don't wear pants, I guess? Or if you're a black person <laughs> living under the Jim Crow laws in the, in the South, are you just going to be like, well, just don't break the this? rules? You have to. This? If, there is a, if there's a, a hierarchy that is unjust, I wasn't you must gonna fight against no, it, you especially if you want to improve your conditions. I wasn't going to bring the nuclear bombs out, but I'm going to bring them out right now. Oh, no. Okay. Yo, I'm gonna bring yo someone someone call fucking yo br 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 bring out Big Bertha okay <gasps> roll it out here dude okay listen here I'm sick of this shit it, it's so one sided it's so one sided how about this just recently a huge article released and this huge hype just released of a new emo a, a new emoji okay and it's the hand showing a sh showing a, a a small little centimeter and most women on social media are so happy with it because. The, they're parading over shitting on men and, and, and posting how they have small penises. Oh my but god, that's awful. Where, where are your arguments? Yes. Where are your arguments? Okay, wait, so this is exactly what I'm talking about. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Where are the reverse arguments? Where is the exactly This is exactly what I'm talking about when I say... Yeah, this is it's okay, right? Real, yeah, real equality, right? Dude, no. Okay. This, this so this is exactly what I say when you should strive to be better than the dumb fucks that you criticize. So when I look at that train wrecks, when I look at that, what I think is, that's kind of a shitty emote. You shouldn't do that. Rather than, oh, well, well, you're arguing for all this shit. Well, what about when the other side does it? That's what my fucking seven-year-old kid does okay i try to be better than that yeah you can and, be and right you now can in your be example better than that you don't have to see shitty people on the left doing dumb shit like naked yeah, and what are, are you doing go, right oh, now what? are you not reacting in the same way i just reacted to the emojis you're reacting no like, oh, he's reacting no, to the same way. Way. i have a core moral principle and i'll stick to it for both sides i'll say that's dumb as fuck on the left as well but i'm not going to use that as a justification to be shitty to other people no, yeah no sh I'm, not, I'm not using it as a justification then I'm why are you bringing it up what is it because, relevant to this because it seems like you and hassan are jumping on the 2018 2019 wave and, and and just milking the obvious high road fucking goddamn answer how about the reverse side how about the side that's unpopular how about that shift if you're really striving what do you mean what is the that's side that's unpopular the, side, the incels if there were no <laughs> outraged outraged again, if, this truly, the if this was truly if this was truly out there striving, no if this was striving what? if this was striving for true leftist true, outrage by the way no if this was if, if this was truly striving for everything and everyone then these it would, it would be both sides there'd hold be on. topics no, 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 no. Train. you have it's said so much and i don't have a clue what you're trying to say you can't be outraged over every yeah, like, single issue in society at any point in time women talking about some dumb fuck emoji or whatever is way fucking different than women being objectified in society today one is an actual real problem the other one just has some really dumb fucking emo that's yeah. probably stupid like what yeah and guess what but a, while, like, a while ago a while ago people brushed it off as a dumb problem back in the day and now look where we are so maybe we should fix wait no no wait where are we now tell me where we are now where are we now that women are maybe we should fix it because a big problem. Up we, we, we should fix yeah, it yeah. at the root, baby. At the root, we should fix it. At the we root. We should just cut off all the dicks. Fix it at the root. Cut it off the root. Ooh.
amputate the fucking arm, amputate that shit, cut it off, throw it overboard, feed it to the, the shark. The emo the record. record. I like, I like that, like, today, in today's society, all, I like I that I'm striving for equality for men, for women, yeah. for pets, for fucking animals. Give me the trees. Protect the fucking ozone. Protect the moon. Protect it all. I want what it now. So right for the record, now. for the record, no, no, in today's society, we I'm have dead. women coming out that are talking about literally being raped or sexually coerced by tons of people, by celebrities, by bosses, blah, blah, blah. And when Trainwreck says, look where we are now, he's talking about an emoji of a guy holding a centimeter thing on a fucking cell phone. Okay. That's not even the point, though. The whole thing, like, that's not even the point of, like, girls, like, being like, oh, like, look, we can say, like, dudes have small dicks or whatever. Why is, why is it saying people, F? Lot, uh, it they're, looks they're like it's lagging. a slideshow right now. Why? Like, but they're, I, they're, but they're, I'm, they're, not, I'm not dropping any frames. You're dropping frames. Yeah. You're dropping frames. Yeah. On, on, Try it's, leaving it's and coming back in the appearance. Is it a Twitch thing? Because I'm not, and locally, I'm not showing any frames. It's Love. probably On the it's bottom left, does it say encoder overloaded, Raj? Uh, no. It's good now. It's good. It's good. It's safe. It's fine okay. now. All right. Yeah, so, I just so... want to say, once well... upon a time, Total Biscuit told me and Destiny it was okay for girls to wear small shirts on Twitch, and he had good opinions. So well, I'm going to so... go with that. Girls should so... wear whatever they want on Twitch. The reason... Whatever mm -hmm. they want. Mm -hmm. The reason why girls, oh, there, there are girls out there who are happy about this emote. A lot of the reason is why is, is because like unsolicited dick pics, basically, so they can respond like this. That, that's why. Wait, wait, what is this emote supposed to be? Like, oh, it's supposed to say you have a small dick. I fucking love yeah. S fan, dude. S fan, that was a great, that was a great comeback, dude. Seriously. I literally said like ten minutes. That's the information. Still, is it going in and out? No, it's yes. good now. Okay. It's fine. People it's fine. are. Oh, was... All right. Okay. Very so, reasonable take, as We have we have a poll and everybody's voted in it. Uh, I put it in the chat. If you weren't paying attention, you, I'm sorry, chat. You had a poll without me getting the plug. All right. God. The uh, poll has been put in the chat. I'm firing All right. the plug. Okay, here we go. It is time to take a vote. All right. The vote has been casted and E Rob won the last round. E Rob, you have a choice between Mini Titan and Izzy Bear to eliminate from the show. Who are you going to choose? Sorry, going, not going. E Rob? Your microphone, E Rob. Hello? The drama. <laughs> oh, I was My dude doesn't even have a mic. Yeah, E Rob, yeah, let me turn you up a little bit. It seems like you're a little low. Oh, uh, Mini Titan. Oh, and why? Okay. Oh, okay. All right, oh, there he went. <laughs> he just left. He just left. All right, thank you. No Mini left. Titan, would you like to shout yourself out? Uh, Mini Titan on Twitch. Bye bye. Bye, bye, Mini Titan. Thank you so bye, much. Mini Titan. Right, peace out, Mini Titan. Thank you. All right, bye. Um, well, like and there we go. Anyway, continue with your conversation, Mini Titan. Did somebody else leave too? No. No, no trains AFK, but I don't think anybody else left. Did All they? right. Anyways, as you guys were saying. Dreams kind of lagging again. Is it? What's going on? In the bottom right, is your FPS dropping, or does it No, say it? nothing is dropping. Everything is green, and it says. Drop frames zero zero point zero percent. Yeah, yeah. So the dr drop frames are going to be for lag. On the bottom left, if it says encoder overload, that means your CPU is overloaded. And then on the bottom right, if that if there should be a number that says sixty or thirty, if that's dropping, then, then your GPU is overloaded. Oh, CPU's at sixty, CPU's at thirty-one. But no, it's still solid. Everything's solid. None of what you said is happening. It, it, okay. It's got to be a Twitch thing. By the way, shout to Mini Titan. I love you, dude. That's my boy. Uh, all mm -hmm. right. Uh. <laughs> so, uh, are you guys finished talking about what you want to talk about, or should I continue? Should I move on? Yes. I wanted to say something about yeah. micropenis. You I want, saw something You wanted to say something that, about what? Yes, about micropenis, since we were on the subject. I saw something earlier about a woman who married a man, and they didn't have sex until their honeymoon, and she found out he had a micropenis. Did you see that? No, what happened? No. And he wanted to... There's articles on it. She wants to like separate from so, him. So this is the That's question funny. that I have to towards Destiny and Hassan and and maybe you know I, I don't know if I'm I don't mean to call you guys out. Maybe Izzy too. Why is the outrage not as large when it happens to a man or oh. I, as opposed to if it was a woman? Why is the outrage not as large? Why is it not a the outrage about outrage. what in particular? Well, let's yeah. just take for example if a man was sexually assaulted or something like that. 
Why I take is it, that. That's not true at all. I You're just, completely incorrect. When Terry yeah. Crews was sexually assaulted that's by one example. Uh, a high-ranking agent, everyone got fucking outraged. They Wait, hold on. That's just as a, because... as a Me Too movement like example. And yet there were plenty of people who made fun of him and whatnot, but there were plenty of people who were also advocating for his bravery and standing up and talking about this issue. That, that's all. That's not because Terry Crews is a man. That's because Terry Crews is a celebrity that everybody yeah. loves. Exactly. I, I think that's that a great about. take. Yeah, that, so, no, well, no, because my take is about to go full feminism. Uh -oh. So in society, we have a concept that, that, that so intersectionalists, intersectionalists would call toxic masculinity. Is basically this idea that men are always wired for sexual activity, that men are always wanting to be fucked. This is why when a, um, and I believe it's even been joked about it's kind of Another though, podcast. But anyway, sorry. It's well, oh. I mean, women are very wired for sex too. If you when you graduate high school and you find some that don't hate themselves, um, but like the 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 thing <laughs> is, is that for men, um, whenever and you see this happen all the time, right? Compare the responses when something gets leaked that like some creepy old fucking forty year old teacher was fucking like his female classmates, and it's like the most disgusting, horrible thing in the world. But every time a, a story gets leaked and like some thirty year old fucking teacher is fucking her male classmates, people are like, damn, like I and it's even been joked about on Twitch. For, I wish I remember which podcast was. People like man i want to go to that school like that teacher is hot as fuck right oh that's uh, my podcast oh yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah that was, yeah like there is this double standard that, that is rooted very culturally in these ideas of what it means to be a man that make it more acceptable for, for men to constantly be wired for sex and this never get raped versus women i 100 agree with you as well i was stating that the people who are making fun of terry cruz are absolutely operating from that perspective that you just mentioned but mm -hmm. there were still definitely a lot of people who were advocating for terry cruz as well so Sure. Um, you know, the, the most likely. But generally, when guys make sure, fun of, but... when when guys complain about getting sexually assaulted, there is a pretty big double standard there. But it's rooted in things that are criticized by by feminism. That, I like, agree. And are expected so... to act in certain ways that isn't. <laughs> so for me, on this one, it doesn't actually have anything to do with leftist alignment that I hold. Like, um, when it comes to me advocating for like domestic violence and sexual assault, um, I tend to work in the LGBTQ communities and a lot with uh, just cis or straight men. Um, because in those, they are drastically underrepresented. And to me, I always like to, um, to work with the people who are so constantly like ignored or forgotten. And it is actually a huge societal problem. Like, like men are underrepresented and usually laughed at and don't get the same amount of help. Like unless you have worked with an actual sexual assault group that focuses on minority groups, uh, quite often, um, you've got a point on this one, Raj, like quite often, uh, male victims are laughed off. Actually, it was my point. Wait, what? I thought it was my Raj, point. Raj asked the point, Train. That, that, so, that too. Well, that well, too well, was a point. It was, point. Too, actually, like a, it was a follow up yeah. question from Train, was trying to say that point. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. But, you. but like, I mean, like, look, there was a, I'll tell you an example. Okay. I was at RuneFest and there was a girl literally putting her hands in my waistband and pushing me mm. all around and saying, mm. like, touching me and doing all sorts of things that made me very uncomfortable, mm -mm -mm. right? Um, so That's awful. I'm sorry that happened but of course, But no, but, but, I'm, uh, but I'm not trying to speak no, like I'm, I'm a... Vi vi uh, <laughs> I'm not I'm trying... But it didn't... Like, it does, Are it, you uh, laughing at him? You, uh, no, I'm not. I'm sorry that Wait, happened. so like right here, this is honest to God. Like what you're doing is, is actually an example of this. The fact that you're even embarrassed to kind of say that like that's really gross is like a, a perfect example of the double standards that are kind of set between no, men and women. In no, but I'm, yeah. no, I'm not... I, what I'm embarrassed to say is I don't want to make a big deal of it because it didn't affect me very much personally sure. it didn't mm -hmm. affect me that's why I'm, that's what i'm embarrassed to say not because my masculinity is so toxic it's that it didn't affect me if it was it's because you're born and raised that way if, you're born and you're raised, you that's why it didn't affect you i'm born and raised like if a man comes too close to me i should be like scared and and uh, why cautious. but what no, it, i don't know I'm, like well, to be fair self because fulfilling prophecy is that thing mm, no because we, because as a woman there's probably a higher chance of a man like following you and fucking raping you than there is for a woman to do that to a guy generally speaking there's uh, on both sides of the spectrum when dealing with uh with victim survivors um like even if you didn't see it as a bad thing and someone else does, like that's really common. There are some women who deal with something that a lot of people would classify as assault or inappropriate that don't actually have an issue with it. And there are tons of men that, that feel the same about issues that happen with them. That's not uncommon or unheard of. The real important of doing that is meeting people where they're at. So when it comes to things like this, if that didn't actually phase your life, you could probably still talk about how it shouldn't happen and work towards like educating society. I mean, but you also don't need to like identify as a victim and act like your whole fucking world's breaking down. Well, it, I, I, I did, did kind of, I bought it, I bought it a drink. Okay. And that's how it started. All right. Maybe I shouldn't have bought it a drink, but still. Whoa, whoa, wait, no, no, no. By the logic, by the logic. That changes things. Oh, yeah. here we go. No, it doesn't. No, 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 no,
<laughs> by the same logic that applies to Candy being able to wear whatever she wants, and it's the guy, and it's the guy's fault, which it is. It's Raj should be able to buy a drink for anyone, and yep. no girl should assume that he wants anything. Yep. So by that for same no. argument, don't be hypocrites. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, you're exactly right. Like, wait, no, who is saying anything with you? Wait, was anybody, was anybody you disagree, disagree, you disagree with that? No. Yeah, of course they don't know. I mean, Train, do you think the left is here? The left is outrage squad here. Uh, that I'm you uh, that you uh, call talks all the time. Do you think we disagree with that? Wait, wait, hold on, wait, Train. So are you under the assumption that people think that you shouldn't be allowed to buy a drink for a woman? No. I, listen, I'm on the left. I took a test. <laughs> <laughs> I took a test. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, dude. They came back so confused right now. Every time I got a drink for a man, uh, it's been like I never thought of sleeping with them. I just did it because we we're friends. Really? Candy Ouch. land? Ooh. She bought me a drink at TwitchCon. I got so happy about it. Ooh, then what happened? Huh? Yeah, she just walked I away. <laughs> <laughs> I was so excited. I was like, yes. Wait, what? Did I get knocked? <laughs> Is it wrong of you, Rob, to assume in those situations? I didn't, I didn't assume. I just got my hopes up. <laughs> Would you? Can why I could you do that to E Rob Candy? No, I didn't do it. What, what did I, what's the, are you, you saying? Got me candy. Candy. L -Rob, I didn't get you a drink, right? Or did I? Yeah, you did. Oh my God. Candy Lad, would you, would you, do you find E Rob attractive? Yeah, he's cute. Oh, okay. Well, mm -hmm. I don't know, E Rob. Maybe you should come on the Rod Schiller. Yes. Mm, we need I a, I, might need to find you a, a woman on Monday. I don't know. Maybe. Rod. There was so funny. plugging his other shows, dude. <laughs> there was there was so funny. There was someone in my DMs who said, "So was the Rochler a real thing? Like, are you out of the picture now?" <laughs> like, you, I think Candy on the Rochler might be good. But anyway, um, hey, you Rob, you yeah. Rob, dude. Honestly, bro, listen, man. If you shave that mustache, what? dude, you would be, mm. you would be. I'm telling you right now, dude, you'd be. You'd be top you level. You don't like model. it? Dude, that's clean. No, no it's my good. mustache Bro, is so it, cute. Dude, that's it's good. It's cute. Yeah, if he yes, shaved that though, not? he'd be, he'd be mo dude, model material, 10 out of 10, just fucking no. hot damn. He's going model material it. with it. Let's do see it. Let's it? see it, Rob. I don't want to. Do I like don't it. Shave it. Don't shave it. Don't shave it. Shave it on right now, you son of a bitch. Shave it. percent do it. Shave it. It looks so good. Don't shave it unless you Just want do it. to, okay? Shave it! My I opinion, Rod, 100%. Do it. Do it. Do it. The, the boner that you have currently is, is definitely a violation of TOS. It is. I do not have a boner. He literally popped a brain vessel when you pulled out the clipper, dude. I am the not that reason, horny for him, okay? Come on. The only, yeah, the only reason oh, I yeah. think the only reason I think I look good is because, first of all, I noticed the sexy-ass, clean barbara cut you got on your head by your mom or whoever gave that to you mm -hmm. that that cut you your cut dude perfect your edge your dead eyebrows, right now, dude. yeah dude, that ain't his mom that's a clean fade everything's fade. clean dude everything is clean on your head that's why i said the mustache should come off because it's just a fresh look but hey that's just my opinion but they, I don't, i'm scared they like iram e don't do it i think it's time to say goodbye just do it it'll, it'll grow, grow back, back. Dude, like, no, I'm it'll scared. Back. i'm on the big street tonight dude I, what, what if it like what You'll if i look like what if I look bad? I think you're gonna look very bad. You're not gonna look bad, dude. Just do it. Yeah. You guys just want it for oh, the cost. Always... No. No. I don't care about you. Excuse me, Elob. I would never tell you to do something for the content. It's only because I care about you. <laughs> okay, it's up to Candyland. What do you think? Um, you can try it. It's gonna grow back, right? Candy, be good? decisive. I. Shave it. <laughs> I feel like the mustache. I feel like the mustache is kind of like cholo-y. Do you feel that or not? Yeah, the mustache is super sexy, but shaving. I used to have a mustache like that until I was like 21, and I finally shaved it. Best decision ever. The second you shave it, Candy's gonna say you're not attractive anymore. I know that's. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm not shaving. I'm sorry. You too many miscues. Shave it. Shave it. You're gonna love it. I can't do. I can't do it. I can't. Shave it, you pussy bitch. Shave it. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! Can I ask something though? Yeah. Know, why does Erob have toilet paper on his bed? <laughs> do you see that? Go. There's just rolls of toilet talk. paper. Oh, okay. All right, Erob, you shaving it or what? Do it. Do it. Oh, there it is, dude. Oh. The stash. Oh, uh, I, hate I hate it. I hate it. Oh, oh, you look cool. Oh, it looks really, really, really good. It looks a lot better. Wow. Yeah, you look yeah, really good, dude. You're you shaving from the fountain head, too. Dude. No, I look terrible. Oh, yes, you look really oh my god, you look good, E Rob. No, it's no, clean. It's clean. Really good, dude. You, you look, look better. Really fucking good. I think it looks better. Better. You look really clean. Like, I'd make out with you. Hell yeah.
That's way better, dude. That's really? way oh, better. Oh, I love it. Wow. That's I call my way mom better. Yeah, yeah, call her right now. Call your mom, yeah. Well, what do you think, Candy? Um, <laughs> um well, I think... I think it was... I think the mustache was better, but he's still cute. Oh! <laughs> I, I agree. <laughs> the power was in the stash. Wow. <laughs> dude, I think it looks fucking clean as fuck. No, 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 don't I, feel I, bad. He looks like you feel dude, bad. Dude, he looks a million bad. times better. I he agree with way you. way better, dude. I'm telling you, you're Damn, gonna have a all the dudes, tonight. All the dudes in the chat now want to fuck wow. E-Rob without the mustache. I'm currently Why on the ride. guys like that? that? the only I... person that E-Rob wanted to hook up with. I'm on the Raj Patel show right now. And I just shaved my uh, mustache. Can you tell me if it looks good? She watch? Yeah, go. Okay, can you go to twitch.tv slash Raj Patel? He's, he's getting his mom on your show, Raj. Yeah, you can use your Twitch app. Tell her about Amazon Prime as well. Just go to the just chatting section. You might have to scroll down a little bit. I need, a, I need, to, look, I need to look popular for E-Rob's mom. Everybody use your Amazon Prime right now. Everyone, I don't want. Right I don't want this to be a bad impression. Like, oh my God, look at this channel and how little subs he has. Come on, sub. Everybody, sub. True. I am not seeing it. It's like <laughs> <laughs> your account's not very don't, high. You can that oh my bit. God, no, it is. It is. It's a little high. Come on, twenty-six thousand. Like okay, good at just chatting. Tell him. Tell him. Tell her she's used to looking. Tell her I have more viewers than Tyler. She's probably <laughs> looking a little more... too far down. He does have more viewers than Tyler does. <laughs> Number one in the just chatting section. Okay, what's his how do you spell his name? R-A-J-J. -J. Yeah. No, it's a one. Yeah. Okay. D-A-D-E-L. No, you found it? Okay. No. Nah. You gotta watch an ad. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> ching No, this is valuable content. We'll wait. We'll wait. How long is the ad? She wouldn't have to watch an ad if she Hold subscribed, on. though. Tell her, yeah, if she hit that Twitch Prime. Tell her, you know what? After she's done with the ad, I have another ad waiting for her, and that's a 20% 20% off a George Wood Watch exclamation point giveaway in the chat right now. George Wood Watch. Right. You see me, Mom? I do. Do I look cute? Straighten up so she can see you. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Really Young? Young? So I should have kept my mustache? <laughs> Not necessarily. It was a little creepy mustache. I noticed That's that right. It looks clean. Oh! I love the mustache. Yeah. yeah it That's cute. right. Okay, Mom. <laughs> ask her what Bye. she... Yeah, ask her what she thinks about Candyland. Hold on. I'm going to put Candyland. Candyland is interesting. What do you think about... The... No, I'm Wait, e Rob, you're cutting out. Say again. How do I see that? What, what do you think about the girl Candyland screen? I'm shy now. Yeah, you're delayed. It's okay. It's coming on. One second. <laughs> Hi, tell Mom. Her, tell, her, tell her you're engaged. Tell her you're getting married to her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking this girl out on a date. Well, have fun, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> what? You do not like her? Okay, cool. Right. What do you mean what happened? I right, love you, Mom. Love you. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. What does he what what did he mean what happened? No, she said That's she said have thing. fun. She said have fun. She didn't say what I happened. I probably look too badass with my shirt. <laughs> no, she doesn't think that. No, it's not at all what she thought. You see what my brother does on the internet? I don't think she cares. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's get another topic in. Oh, by the way, speaking of Terry Crews, he came out and said he prefers other platforms for streaming because Twitch can be too toxic. Wait, Yo, what? speaking of that, Not speaking wrong. of that, b b before we remember that topic, speaking of toxic, dude, honestly, uh, Hassan, you know, instead of merch or anything, if I were you, I would print out a card, hundreds of them, and It'll be called the toxin ma toxic masculinity card, and it'll get you into any bar. It'll get you out of any argument. I didn't even it'll, bring up toxic masculinity. It'll, it'll, it was Destiny it'll, that brought up toxic masculinity. It'll win you. It'll win you any argument. It will get you anything you want in life in 2019. Print those I out. Love, I love I'm this. I love this because first of all, I wasn't even the one who brought up toxic masculinity. It was Destiny, and I still agree with his perspective. 
but I like that you wanted to. Uh, I, I like that you wanted to attack me on toxic masculinity because I'm the easier target because you didn't want to go out and offend Destiny and have him fucking rage out over here. But that's oh. cool, man. Maybe it'll. Maybe it will win arguments. Who knows? Easier target. I didn't hear of toxic masculinity. To be real with you, I didn't hear about toxic masculinity from Destiny's mouth one time until you came on the platform. So don't even play victim with me. Ooh. That's your specialty, victim. So wait, oh, I, 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 uh, I taught Destiny about toxic masculinity. Is that what you're saying? What no, do you mean? I'm, I'm saying I never in the four year in the four years that I was aware of Destiny, I've never heard toxic masculinity come out of his mouth or in his vocabulary until he started hanging out with you. Do you think they have argument. the capacity to change and learn from their past mistakes? Something well, I mean, I hold on, this isn't even true. Babies. I've yeah. I've spoken about this in the past. I mean, like it's definitely a thing, right? Toxic yeah, but how, masculinity but how often is that like circa? Before a song came yes. out, every time yes. I talk to you, yes. I've never heard toxic masculinity. Well, because we just probably haven't talked about it. Exactly. But now it comes out of your mouth every every other day. Well, no, now it's because in the context right. of what we're talking about, it's hyper relevant. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay. all your fault, Asad. Oh, shit. How dare you? Yeah. Does anybody have anything to say Make about Teddy? I, I don't Teddy know. Cruz I'm saying that Twitch can be too toxic. Do you believe him, or would you change his try to change his mind? Oh, I, I think he's anything. just not used to Twitch culture. Like, I don't know. Like, I, I think that Twitch, there's, like, just a lot of culture around it that as an outsider, it's, like, kind of hard to understand. And some of it may come off as, like, really toxic. But to us who are, like, a part of it, you know, it's like we get it. It's like the outsiders just don't. You know? I don't know. Like, I mean, I it really depends on what his chat like was very, like. I don't know. Yeah. Like, do you think, mm -hmm. what would happen if you, if you put, like, entire Twitch chat in a room? Like, if you could fit everybody in a room... And like everybody was all of a sudden like, do you think these are like actual reasonable it'd be, people? It'd be exactly, no, it'd be exactly like, no. opposite. It'd be exactly opposite of your Twitch chat and anyone's. It'd be a no room. Of, it'd be a room of. It'd be, it'd be a room of silence and extremely foul smells. That's exactly. <laughs> what I agree. Like. Yes. No. It's like people can say so much stuff in chat. I was watching a uh, last show. Uh, I was watching Isabel stream after after the show was done, and you know. He was really, really mad, and there was some guy in chat being really, <laughs> like, annoying and like badass toxic masculinity. I, I guess in the chat, and then you talk to that guy on Discord, and he was like a pussy yep. on Discord. Well, tapped out immediately. <laughs> well, that's usually what happens when you pull somebody in the chat. But like I said, <laughs> like I said, sometimes you see people talking shit, and you go to their profile, and you're like, oh. This guy must be some geeky loser, right? No, no. Literally, sometimes it's some Chad or some Tanner that's fucking ripped, and he just still talks shit. I, I, you'd think that it's always that way, like they're always some nerdy person, but that's not always the case. They, they can be Chad or Tanner. You know what's I mean, crazy? that kind of behavior is still from insecurity, though, right? So obviously, like, they could be a Chad or a Tanner and still be insecure. I mean, John Zerka is the perfect example of a person who presents himself as, like, this masculine uh, guy who's a relatively attractive dude, and yet he exhibits a lot of that, uh, a lot of those insecurities. He would definitely be a flamer, you know? What? Do you think John Zerka is insecure? Yes. I mean, yeah. he can't defend himself, um... but yes, I think that that his personality is mostly projection to to hide his. Uh, to be fair, insecurities. To, yeah. to be, fa to be and fair, and I know this because I used to be that person. Okay? Vote, That's vote, funny. chat. I'm, I mean, I'm coming at it from uh from. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I think I think every, I think everyone has insecurity. I, I I truly do. I think everyone has insecurity, and everyone, everyone in this call. I I mean, I do. You know, I, I'm I think insecure. Every, I think everyone has in yep. I have insecurities. I think I'm insecure does. about the girth everyone of my does. penis. <laughs> okay, come on, chill. I'm, I'm Same, Raj. Same. No, like seriously, I'm like, like I'm, I'm very happy with the length, but I just wish I could be a little bit more girthy. That's all I asked for. <laughs> you can I've get even a sleeve. Take, take maca, dude. What? What's maca? Maca root. Oh, is that it's, a is that uh, some sort of fake supplement to make your penis thicker? Well, I don't know, but um, <laughs> people who know more than I do about this sort of stuff recommended it to me, and I used to take it every now and then. And it, I mean, uh, they, they claimed only... it was uh, veinier. Oh, there are two things that you can do to your penis. To, there are two or three things you can do. One is to tie a rubber band around the base or whatever if you're having problems like staying erect. Two is to take like a Cialis or a Viagra to, if you're having problems staying erect. Oh, the only no. way to actually make your penis longer is oh, to have God. a surgery where you cut the ligament at the base at the <laughs> bottom, which helps it stand out a little bit. Why do you know this? Oh my God. Because I know, fuck it, because I like fucking people, dude. I don't know, it's my shit. 
But uh, there's no like there's no like real way to like actually enlarge your penis. And the the easiest way to know this, the the second there is a real penis enlargement thing or like a real like fat burning thing, like this will be the most commonly advertised thing in every single person yeah. about it. If there is a way to enlarge your dick, it would not be a secret. It Kirk, would literally be the most popular selling fucking thing in Kirk, the whole world. I, I got a question. Fact. I yeah. yeah what's uh, up? Um didn't Canute give you a penis enhancement? Uh, yeah, he gave me two of these. It was like an orange flavored Cialis. It was like in a goo was it good? form. It was very tasty, but I took two of them, and I, I think you're only supposed to take one. And uh, Austin, well, my buddy Austin uh, went to go get food, and I was like, oh, this shit's not working. It's not giving me a boner. So I was like, all right, I'm going to start watching some porn while he's Yeah, in gone. the middle, of just right, right, right. Well, no, you right. were gone for like an hour and a half, okay? So, uh -huh. you know, so I was just like, I'm going to see if this works. My boner would not go away. So I fell asleep with a boner <laughs> and I woke up with a boner. And then I, oh in the God. morning, I had a boner for six hours. It would not go away. That's not good. But you should, you don't, don't they say if you have an erection lasting longer than four, four hours, hours, you should call your doctor? Yeah. God, no, you should call more if you don't hours. need that. <laughs> Why do you take pills like that if you don't need it? <laughs> well, I just, I never did that before. I never did Viagra to before. See. Just, you I just wanted, wanted to see. Curious. And yeah, for some reason, Knut had a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> you have a boner, I can see your wains. <laughs> Everybody, oh, damn it. look at that nerd. All right. Okay, the poll is the poll is out, and uh, the votes are in. Okay, the winner of the last round is E Rob. Jesus <laughs> Christ! E Rob won the last poll. Destiny, you get to decide now. Destiny's gonna axe me again. He's not Destiny, gonna survive. Destiny, lowest votes. It's between S Band and Izzy Bear. Who is it going to be, S Man? I'm sorry, Izzy. It looks like you're coming back next week. <laughs> yeah, it's coming fucking back next week, Chad. All right, Izzy. Thank you for coming. I appreciate. It. Go ahead and shout Bye, yourself Izzy. out. All right. Yep. As always, Izzy Bear Seven One on Twitch chat and chat. I'll see you next week. All right. Peace out, Izzy. Thank you. All right. Oh man, how's everybody feeling? You've all survived to this point. Does it feel good? I'm so yeah. proud. Seriously, it what an accomplishment to survive the Raj Royale. It's amazing. Um, oh, and on the boner shit real quick, for the erection yeah. lasting more than four hours, if yeah. you're just like really sexually excited, I don't think that's a big problem. Um, the erection lasting four hours or longer is they're worried that you might have a condition called pre, I think it's preapism, preapism or something, but mm -hmm. it's basically like if your fucking blood gets trapped in there and can't like get out, but like that'll hurt. It's not just going to be like, oh, I'm like turned on for five hours or whatever. Oh, well, I don't think he was turned yeah, on. He just had a boner. Well, I, I didn't feel in any danger or anything. Like it was just... You know, I just set up. I've had boners when I was younger. You told me it hurt, normal. though, didn't you? Didn't it? It was hurting. I can't, no. I can't believe Destiny's here talking about all of this stuff about penises, and yet he still has not revealed uh, his jelking techniques. Disgusting. <laughs> By what? Jelking? What? What the fuck That's is that? <laughs> Never well, mind. Jelking only works temporarily. Wait, what the fuck what is, is jelking? Jelking is where you get a like... warm towel and you yank on your wiener with a warm towel and it makes Go your on. wiener look longer because it's semi erect. Like before you, it's like fluffing yourself. Wait, but it works temporarily. Your wiener with a warm it's temporary, towel? yes. It, it it's only a, works it like work. it's an ancient maybe five to ten boys. minutes. Yeah. Oh. Look it up. Ancient Chinese secret. <laughs> For five oh, that was, I don't know if if that was true, then fucking a woman should make your penis look longer because they're hot <laughs> on the inside, no? Like, well, it's got to be half erect and like, kind of tugged on with a warm towel. So before you, you it, it, imagine it like uh, imagine it like a, a workout for your penis. But that's the new dick pic meta then. Every I will say that I had sex How last you night. Your penis doesn't have a muscle in it. How can you work it out? What do you mean? Kirk doesn't count, Rob. Mine has a muscle. Oh. <laughs> What, you saying okay. men can't have sex with men, you fucking misogynistic no, fucking roommate, intolerant I'm pig? about fucking your roommate. You intolerant pig, huh? It just doesn't count. You wow. Can't, you can't, Unbelievable. You can't if I, about fucking oh, your so roommate. Just assuming like saying that I fucked my girlfriend. Yeah, huh? Uh, what, what two men can't like be together, you, you fucking your pig? Girlfriend. That's what I'm saying. You fucking pig! I just not such a fucking pig. What is that? What is that fucking emote? Well, get the fucking Ms. Kiff out of here! <laughs> the fuck? Shit! All right. Um. Oh my God. Twenty One Savage got deported. Oh my God. I don't know if we should talk about that. We've already talked about that oh multiple different God. areas. Okay. Here we go. Gucci. Twenty One. 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 Gucci released a potentially insensitive sweater recently. All right. Should they be held accountable for hate speech? 
What's the, the sweater? sweater? Okay, so let me let me provide an image of the sweater, Gucci sweater. I'm gonna post it here in the Discord. I don't want, um, I, I don't want to, uh, show it on stream just in case. Uh, so it, it is a it is a it is a sweater that resembles blackface, according to, uh, the backlash on Twitter. I posted it in my lobby on Discord. Uh, all right, and uh, there were, it, it sparked a bunch of outrage on Twitter, uh, and it, this is actually during Black History Month. Uh, tremendous amount of outrage, uh, people calling them racist, and uh, they responded by apologizing and the and the stop uh, stop the selling of the jumper. Tariq Nasheed commented on it, and oh, that guy's a fucking troll, though. Okay, yeah. anyway, but anyway, um. So, anyway, so what do you guys think of this? Uh, I'm curious. Do you think they should have apologized? Should they have issued something regarding it? Should they be held accountable? Are people jumping to conclusions and drawing yeah, assumptions? Think, oh, but go on. People, you guys talk. Yeah, sorry. people just uh, people used want something to complain about. What the fuck? I don't this know. This is I what's wrong with the world. 2019. kind of legitimate. It looks... I don't know. I'm like... What? It, it looks really bad. It was just a yeah. dumb idea. You probably like, shouldn't. People should be getting Does every weird or something. Like, who okayed well, that? They sell, like, in sports stores, they sell that stuff all the time. If it's cold, no, they like, do not. Right? They do not sell anything that looks, that looks cool, like this lips. in sports yeah. stores. Yeah. No way. <laughs> I think it's yeah, like if it's... Wait, no wait, wait, way. Wait, 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 yeah, I'll put it in the lobby. It's a USA. Look, it's in the lobby on Discord. But go I on, have go one on, of Kenny. these things at home. No, no, the I lips have... are kind of what make it. That's the whole thing. Like, yeah. without the lips, oh. it's just like a black thing. But, like, the lips yeah. are... In the, in the U.S., oh, like, God. sometimes racist caricatures show black people with huge lips or whatever. It's kind of the meme. But do you think do you think do you think that was the intention of No, I, I don't think that was the intention. I don't think really. it was no, absolutely. Like I, I think uh, here's the thing, honestly, they should apologize for the fact that, that thing cost nine hundred dollars. Like that's yeah. Yeah. it's good to you. Like that's what you're you're paying for the label, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, not only that, look at those fucking glasses. What the fuck are those? Those are fucking goggles, fucking soldier seventy six and overwatch. Why would anybody ever buy them? The only thing that's pretty in a Gucci store is like the original tea. So you guys don't think that there's anything wrong with people being outraged towards them or anything yeah, like do. that? So unnecessary to be mad about it. I think. Yeah, it's I mean, like it's. Uh, yeah, I know there's lips on it, but like, dude, it's like some posh. Like, I mean, obviously, like they're gonna do things that like look stupid, and, like trying to be like fashionable. Like, I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't know, dude. I be, actually, it's gonna be over the top. Like, how, how, like, it, other than that, like, other than the fact that it's halfway up, it's not that much different than like, uh, like a ski mask. What, what is the like the yeah. balaclava or whatever? It's not that much different. Yeah. You know what I mean? You guys like, really think that's bad? Does anyone I actually think that's bad? I think there's some kind of artistry behind it, maybe, but like I, still. As someone it. who's been to a lot of I just, antique stores, those are definitely blackface lips. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, okay. Oh, the fuck? It's I like a little red outline all around the lip I don't think that was the intention, though. I don't really like to think that people. I think the, the design intentions. is cool, though. Like having a ball, having a half ball of lava turtleneck. I like that. Uh, I think it looks stupid. Have done it with. They just shouldn't have done a fucking no. black sweater with massive red, red lips. lips yeah. And they wouldn't have gotten under. They, I mean, they wouldn't have been scrutinized in this way. I, I think it's like unintentional or not. It, it is very obviously. Uh, I mean, it very obviously looks like blackface. So. Mm -hmm. Well, it's good for Gucci to just take it away and apologize. It's the easy way out, so it's good. Okay, so Gucci is not racist. No, no it's probably just a not, dumb. Absolutely not. No way somebody does something like this intentionally, right? It was just kind of tone deaf and stupid. Okay, well, uh, all right. Well, a, there was sure a lot of outrage on Twitter. I thought you guys were going to have yeah, a lot because, more. Like, a lot of people are no, there is a lot of outrage on Twitter. People are like calling, like TI is calling the fucking boycott Gucci. A lot of uh, mm -hmm. black artists, rappers have talked about mm -hmm. how they want to, Soldier Boy as well, they want to uh, boycott Gucci. They're canceled or whatever. I don't know. I mean, it's it's their it's their. Do you think? It, do you think it's, it's not like I'm gonna go out and buy Gucci anyway? So it's, it doesn't. Yeah, like it's this might be an it. example of um not to trigger anybody here, uh, but this might be an example of where having some diversity is probably good in your business because I I could be wrong, but I feel like it would be really hard for me to imagine that somebody that was black looked at this and was like, yeah yeah that looks chill. Like I I could be wrong, but I don't know. Hmm. I think it looks pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, uh, like I'm not even trying to be like edgy or whatever. It looks cool or something. Wait, what, Josh? Do you think it looks cool? I think it looks pretty cool. Like, I, I, I would never buy. I know, like, I literally just all the clothes I'm wearing, I literally just got given. I don't know. I would never buy clothes myself. Fuck that. But like, I think it looks pretty cool. Hmm. I don't know. I love. I, I, I love how this podcast just fought for. 
You know, never mind. I'm. Go on. No, do it. No, make your point. You've made great points so far. Inconsistent. It's just disgusting to me. What are we inconsistent on? Disgusting. What do you mean? Disgusting, dude. What's what's inconsistent? You see inconsistency? Call it out. Come on. You just fought. Die hardingly for people you don't know. Like I said, because it's the thing to milk right now, but you can't understand the the perspective of these black. It just like it just. Wait, like, what oh, did I fight cool. diehardedly for? What did I fight diehardedly for? The entire feminism argument we were having. I wasn't. You were. No, I I wasn't. No, no. No, no, the, no, you're, I, you're, I, a I, I said you're a leftist Candy. mob uh, guy now, dude. Sorry. Train no, no, I said, I said explicitly <laughs> I agree with Candy and that people should have more responsibility to fit within whatever culture exists at the time. Yeah. I wasn't. Well, you're like putting well, a point on me that I never said. You weren't fighting hard enough, so you must be Every, a leftist. No, I, I felt like every, everything that I was saying, it seemed, it seemed like you were... Uh, it, it doesn't no, matter. I, it doesn't keep, keep in mind. It doesn't matter, matter is, actually. Oh, no, keep then, in mind, then you're keep good. In mind, then, then, Josh, you're completely good. Then the rest no, of the podcast. Was, yeah. Keep in mind, you're good. I love you. Like you're good. I love you. Yeah, yeah. Good. Rest of the podcast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, what about me? <laughs> Wait, do you not love me anymore, Train? I love you. I'm sorry for all getting called. Destiny, I love you, bro. I'm going to come to California. We're going to fucking grab lunch, grab dinner. We're going to whip our dicks out, play some RuneScape, play some Minecraft. We're going to sit on your Reddit. We're going to fucking look through it together while we wink each other off. That's what we're going to do. Under the desk. Train hey, by the way, it. I want to I want to say something. Uh, go ahead, never mind. Go ahead, go I ahead. Say, Tran loves to get mad because people like inappropriately label others racist or misogynist or whatever, but then he inappropriately labels people leftist whenever he doesn't agree with them. Well, I'm I'm literally the most, I'm, I'm 100 percent the most right wing person here, like without a doubt. Like, I'm left. Don't be don't be proud of that, dude. Hold no, on. I mean, like I. I'm, oh yeah, brother. No, I, I'm not saying I'm super right wing. <laughs> I'm saying it's here. No, no, no. Like I mean, no, like here. Hat. Josh, show him the hat. Show him the hat. Oh uh, yeah, it's it's all the way over there. I can't get it. Josh, no, go get it. The, no, get, get, huh? It's the Make America Great Again hat, isn't it? Yeah, it's, no, it's the Make Azeroth Great Again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. on a serious note, cool. though, it's, it's cool. yeah, on a serious note, though, no trolling and, and no bullshit. You know, no, 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 persona or anything. No, stop. No, stop. Why are you making fun stop, of stop, stop. Stop. Having a no persona, no. no persona, no bullshit. On a real, on a real note, though, I, I think we should keep it consistent. If we're gonna fight hard for one uh, end of the spectrum. Or, or, or I shouldn't say end of the spectrum. If we're gonna fight for, you know, feminism very hard and understand people that we've never met, we should understand the perspective of people who are upset about this and fight for them. And you, you should keep it consistent. That's my genuine opinion with no mm -hmm. troll. I think, I think if anyone is, is if anyone is genuinely upset about this and doesn't just think it's a little bit like, oh, okay, they fucked up, whatever, just remove it. If anyone is like viscerally like actually fuck Gucci, this is like a, like, no. If, if anyone's upset about that, I hate them. I, I like, I've got no time for that yeah, kind of person. I agree, I yeah. agree. I agree. So unnecessary. Oh, do you disagree? Is that? I just, I understand why some people might find this incredibly intolerant and incredibly offensive, especially because historic depictions of blackface I, were, yes. were uh, created to delegitimize uh, black people and monolith them and stereotype yes. them and dehumanize them. Yes, okay. I agree with Hassan for but, once. I agree with him completely. What? I, I just sure. think, so you can't. You you probably can't put them put yourself in their shoes and be like, oh, I wonder why uh, this is bad because it doesn't pertain to you. It doesn't it, it doesn't impact you in any meaningful way. I myself am not personally offended by this. I already said that the, I think the design is cool. I guess if they use a different color for the lips or if they didn't even do like a lip thing, that would have been they could have avoided this problem. And I think Destiny's absolutely correct when he says if there was a black employee who was a uh, fucking sitting in the room they'd be like no don't fucking do, you, do that but That's just out of obviously black this thing. is just a, a side question uh to expand off of destiny do you think that that companies should uh hire based on uh that's a way more complicated question. Don't we? Don't yeah, go. I wouldn't go there. Yeah, that's okay. way different. All right. Oh, can of worms. All right. Okay. But like, all right. Well, blackface is. I, I mean, maybe maybe I, this I, is like way out of line, but blackface is predominantly a U.S. thing. Like, I'm just gonna be honest. Like, no, okay. no, 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 it's not. No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, at, a, at a high school Halloween party a few years ago, <laughs> some of my some of the people I knew in oh, high man. school showed up to that party. It like fully, like they fully blacked up, gangster rappers, chains and stuff, and so on. Uh -oh. No one, no, no, no one People cared. In Australia do that what? a bunch too. I, don't like they? no, no one cared. No one had any care. issue with it. No one, even retrospectively, has had any issue with that that I've seen. Right? Like I, was this super racist? Like I'm, I'm sincerely asking. Was this like some super racist thing that all of us were completely unaware of? Everyone's parents were completely unaware of. Like, was this Wait, something that? What do you mean? What did they do? They just, they just dressed up fully black and they were, they were a gangster rapper for the night. Dude, I was... Did they have that black face? Did they have like yeah, a black fully, fully black. It wasn't, it wasn't like a caricature yeah. of it. They just, 
Like, I, yeah, I'd say that's pretty racist. Did they put their? Did they put red lipstick around their lips to make their lips no. look larger? No, no. Okay, so um, it, it's probably still bad, but the, the the thing that we're talking about right now is like with <laughs> mixed depictions. The the big black red lip. I mean, uh, the big red lips are are uh, is what makes it definitely blackface. Like, don't post links in there. I like the picture of a Spanish parade. <laughs> Okay. So there, there's a there's an example of your and also if face. I'm not mistaken, there's like a Black Pete in uh, in the Netherlands. Yeah, right? dude. And it's like a it's something that people are, are, are criticizing. It's something that people yep, are talking about exactly. as well. Hassan, so, we have, can like, I comment on this, Hassan? Where there are virtually no black people whatsoever. I kind of understand why people wouldn't know, uh, wouldn't understand the 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 uh, the, the intricacies of of uh, African American culture and like what uh, African Americans go through or. or anything like that like systemic racism i kind of give a little bit more leeway to to non-diverse nations like turkey I mean, or, people okay, or, or, or like chinese people for example who uh have their own unique set of uh, of uh different like stereotypes as far as like fairness of skin i mean these parties were pretty diverse right like i'm not even i'm not gonna pretend it was like everyone was white and there was a few people like no these parties are pretty i like i'm from the north of england but like the school i went to and the friends i had were pretty diverse in that sense no one had to any problem with it and like i'm sure they would have said because yeah. they spoke about other things they're uncomfortable about. it's not like they were oppressed and they didn't feel they couldn't speak up oh my like, god I'm well i think it's fine confident. if somebody got offended by it it's like then then it's about how you react like if someone says I, i'm so wait i can dress up however i want to dress up little bitch like you can maybe he says that or he says i'm oh. sorry i'm gonna take, take i just realized i just realized um i, I need oh. to correct myself uh destiny i, I use the word wink that's, I don't know why I use that word. It's very weird. Uh, I meant we're going to jerk each other off, not wink each other. That's very weird. We're going to jerk each other off. I just want to Wait, correct. what the fuck is the difference? I, I don't like the word wink. It sounds very sissy. Uh, yeah, and that is toxic masculinity. <laughs> that is, to uh, I was I'm just going to say, that. toxic yeah. masculinity. What? Unbelievable. Yeah. Listen, <laughs> I meant jerk. I meant jerk. Continue on. Sorry about yeah, that. I, I had to correct I, that. Or strong. Hey, I, but I, I just want to say, Hassan, I was in I was in a mall in Amsterdam, and Santa Claus came out, and then following ten white people with blackface, and I was like, "What the fuck is going oh, on?" Oh, that was in Germany, wasn't it? No, that was in Amsterdam. There was like ten. Oh, that was Amsterdam. Wait, 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 Santa Claus in blackface? No, no Santa were, Claus's helpers they, were, they were like in blackface. Chimney black sweepers, though. Oh. Yeah, and then they went and walked through the red light district. No, well, dude, were, that was Mary Poppins. Sweepers. Like chimney, like they were the chimney sweepers. But Mar I think Mary they Poppins. were. They had, there I mean, was still a controversy about it being blackface, and it's kind of like oh, weird. whether it's either, you know, oh, it could be either or. Uh, you know, you know, uh, Persian Santa Claus is uh like in in in, in like Persian in Iranian culture, uh, Santa Claus is black. Our really? version of Santa Claus is black. Yeah. Wow. That's Haji pretty Fruz? cool. Yeah. I didn't know that. Huh. I don't think Haji Furu is a Santa Claus, dude. Well, it's like our version of him because there's like Boba Noel, but like it's like the same no, version. Boba Noel is Santa Claus and he's I not. I know, but it's it's like the same kind of thing. Cause, no, like, it's not. Haji, Haji Furu is not. Oh, he's gatekeeping Santa I Claus from you now. As long as yeah, he Noel Boba, Noel Noel Boba is Santa Claus. But but who do they have for Haji Furu? There's a different person who also is similar to Santa Claus. Go ahead and vote, chat. You're voting for who you want to keep, but go ahead, guys. Haji Furu is something completely different. Yeah, but they don't have they don't have somebody to relate to. That's why I just said like it's basically like Baba, Yeah, but, but but Baba Noel is is our Santa Claus in Persian right. in, in Iranian, and he's it, 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 it's right. it, he's a white guy. But I, I just want to make is that. Is he redneck? What? No, he's not. Baba Noel was fucking brown, dude. What are you talking yeah, about? I meant you know what I meant. Train hasn't slept in over thirty hours. Like, okay, 30 yeah, hours. I'm just saying like he, he's definitely brown. Or even Saint Nicholas, I think like even. Well, in... technically, I don't know if you know this, but Iran. Um, listen. You know, never mind. Let's, let's yeah, I know. They're trend. Iran is the original Aryan or whatever you were gonna say. They're not Arab. Hassan, I'm giving you some subs tonight, dude. Good job. Wait. Thanks. Oh, by <laughs> the way, we're gonna talk about the uh, the the card, the Overwatch card covering up. Have you seen that? Uh, I wanted to talk about that. Okay, we're gonna talk about that. Is. All right, that's I next. Hope the neckbeards got what they fucking want. Okay, here we go. Oh, Casey wanted to talk about it, but she's in the bottom too. All oh, right, okay. that's interesting. Um, well, if she gets kicked, we should just talk about it real quick. Yeah. All right. Okay, guys, vote for who you want to keep, not kick. Keep, not kick. Here. E Rob's beating everybody. E Rob is not lost. I one. didn't say a word that whole round. Keep it E-Rob down, dude. Right. Yeah, E Rob, you don't deserve it. 
Um, all right, in the bottom two. Not the voter. Uh, the Candyland and S Van. Let's what? see. What? Oh. <laughs> all right. No, everybody voted for Casey. Okay, it's time to. I'll call a vote in just a second. Vote for who you want to keep, not kick. By the way, hit that follow button. We're close to 330,000 followers. Whoa. Holy shit, dude, you're grinding. That's so crazy. Well, I mean, not really. Four days a week, four hours a stream. Uh, you know how it is. Uh, you're putting so much work in it. Oh, come oh, on. You guys, without it, without you guys, it's not even possible. Come on. All right. Um, all right. Okay. Here we go. Let's see here. Uh, all right. Everybody who says no doesn't know that I'm debating all of them because they're all following me because my stream's in follower-only mode. So, <laughs> if you're saying no in the chat, you're already following me because you it's in follower-only mode. All right, the winner of the poll they is... no and unfollowed, dude. Oh, uh, they say no and unfollowed. All right, bottom two, S-Fand and Candyland. All Fuck. right. E-Rob, make I a guess. decision. I like s fan but Candyland's so hot. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Yeah, the classic so man dilemma right yeah. here. Oh my god. Okay, S man, I'm sorry, man. Don't beat no, me I've up. No, I have to stream anyway, it's fine. <laughs> Don't beat me up. All right, S fan, uh, thank you so much, man, for coming. You. Go ahead and give yourself a shout out. Uh, hey guys, I'm S fan. I uh, I'm really sad that I lost, and I'm probably gonna go cry before I stream. Oh. Follow him at S fan TV, guys. S fan TV. E S F A N D T V. You're the fucking man, S Van. Thanks for showing up, man. Yeah, Appreciate no, you. thanks for having me. It was a lot of fun. Let me, All right, see you guys later. Take, you, take care. Yes, peace out. Right. Be peace. All right, Damn. ladies and gentlemen. E Rob, dicks before chicks, dude. What do no, you mean? I can't help. E Rob, J O B P, dude. Jerk off before picking, brother. I know. I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> we got I'm a new topic. Mm -hmm. I think I'm allowed to show both of these photos, right? Of the of the. Uh, <laughs> right. I'm able to show the. I would hope. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So, two, two Hearthstone. So there's two yeah, Hearthstone photos, right? So this is going to preface this topic. So look at the stream here. Hearthstone changed or, or Blizzard changed the um the look of uh Jaina Proudmore some some card. Um and this is what was the original card and then here is the next one that they showed. Uh Okay, this is the this is the one that it got changed to. Okay, hold on one second. Okay, here we go. Um, all right, this is what it got changed to. She got covered up more in the second rendition of it. Um, and um, now, instead of uh, she's not revealing as much cleavage, it's it's tightened up a little bit. Uh, tell me when everybody's seen it. Were you posting these things out? I see one of They're them. They're on the screen. They're oh, on the screen. Go. Sorry. Oh, Take a look. So the left is before <laughs> and the right is after. Um, what the fuck? Why? Okay. Right? Who's paying for this shit? Okay. So anyway, so this is what happened. This is what this is what they decided to do. This is what Blizzard decided to do with a um, with an Overwatch character uh, th that's been in Hearthstone for years. Is this a sign of? I, I'll just I guess I put it in quotes of the neckbeards getting what they want. I feel like it kind of is. This is the utopia that the incels want, where girls have to wear those like dumb tit napkins. Well, isn't it? And it just oh, as an incel, I disagree so? strongly. Isn't it the okay. opposite listen, of what? Listen, yeah, I need to drop exactly. a nuclear bomb here. Okay, as uh -oh. listen, no, no, I, I am listen. I'm gonna say this one thing, and I'm gonna sit here and shut my mouth and listen to you guys. The floor is yours. I, listen, <laughs> I'm so sick of this. This just, just, just generalizing this incel thing and just using it as an easy card out to make fun of like lonely guys listen realistically let me tell you now incels are actually the opposite of what everyone defines them as okay they wish these tits are out secretly they wish they're not going to secretly complain mm -hmm. publicly they might do it because because they see it as oh if i can't get it, i'm going to be a dick because it's it it, it 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 uh protects my ego blah 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 but secretly if you messaged any of these incels they would be loving you, complimenting you, wanting you. They're secretly jerking off to that Jaina problem. Yes. Yes, that's Train, I want, yes. before, before you go on, I want to say something. I want to say something, Train. One second. Ridiculous. Train, 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 hold so on. Slicker, yeah. one second, Casey. S one second. K Slicker just messaged me before you said that, Train, and said, I fapped to her once. Rest in peace. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's what he said. 
Anyway, exactly. I, I, I need to drop this and educate people because everyone just thinks, oh, the incels got what they want. No, they're pissed. All right, Casey. Pissed. Casey, go that ahead. That is the smartest Ooh, thing you've said all day, Trent. Hundred percent. I just, like, I wonder who took that decision to cover her up. What the fuck? It's Blizzard, man. Blizzard are fucked. Everything they've done recently has been and fucked. They're run by. Bad before. Like, like it's like so like not bad. Like that's hardly even bad. Yeah. Uh, it's Casey, probably the very yeah. loud few that f got their way to change it. The hilarity of this, though, is that um, a lot of times I think uh, when incels are are uh, perpetuating these uh, these like damaging ideas of like women shouldn't be able to wear this, women should be able to wear that, or whatever, they are kind of contributing to that outrage culture, and and that's part of the reason why companies make decisions like this. Just Can we talk about incels? And I think that's second. why, and I think that's why people are saying that this is like kind of why uh, incels were partially responsible for it. Yeah, I think. No. I think. I, I think <laughs> only. Who, I think only people that reported this. I'll, I'll be honest. Here's my idea, and I'm sorry if I offend anybody, but this is my idea of people who reported this. It's literally one of two people, in my opinion. One, extremely religious, right? Or two, I'm talking 39 or 40 plus, married with three kids. Their three kids play this game. They overlooked it during some, you know, some sort of studying, and they saw this. They thought it was inappropriate because they have fucking HBO blocked on their fucking cable. I'm telling you, it's married couples, fucking forty plus year olds, and fucking extremely religious people. I'm, I'm telling you, it, this, yeah, this has nothing to do with incels. Incels just the, it's just the generalized people to attack when anything's happens to women. I'm telling you, incel is just kind of like out. leftist, the right? Vote. Mm -hmm. I'm left. No, I, I, I'm left. <laughs> kind of like leftist outrage, don't you think? <laughs> no, no, I'm left. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Holy it's shit. just okay. going to move the horniness from Hearthstone to DeviantArt. I don't understand. I think it's really cool that the like girls in video games are sexy. I like that. Mm -hmm. I yeah, agree. Yeah. But yeah, but like, do you think this is like ridiculous? Like, is anybody outraged? Come on, this is the Raj Royale podcast. Somebody cut somebody's throat open. I Come think on. it's fucking bullshit. Like, yeah, why, do, why does stupid. Jaina have to cover up her boobs? Why are I boobs agree. bad? Why do they need to be covered? I like, Not I don't know. I know Trainwrecks was I saying don't. kids were playing. I just don't think that there's any kids playing Hearthstone. <laughs> I don't think I've watched it. It's a children's game. Of course there are. I don't think anyone nah. plays Hearthstone. No, oh, Hearthstone yeah. is not a children's game. It's an autism. Oh, yes, it is. Yeah, children's game. Oh. Exactly. Well, <laughs> well, no, I think it's like kids can see a, like tits like oh, I don't know. Maybe so somebody like, said that tracer's <laughs> butt pose. So somebody said that the reason why they changed it was to uh, sell in China. Is this true? Somebody was just saying that in the chat. Oh, that okay, if, if that's, that's true, that's a changes. different. Weird thing. changes get yeah. made in games and whatnot. Same thing with um, like Germany um, too. Like sometimes people relabel like different types of like you can't take drugs in games, so they have to relabel them to fantasy names and shit. Um, like I know that's happened in the past. But... Hmm, interesting. Uh, so. Oh, I'm thinking so hard, my brain hurts. <laughs> I kind of wanted to go. <laughs> oh, Can man. we talk about incels for a second? Because yeah, I, I actually have an issue with this person, mm. right? When the fuck did incel just mean like asshole guy? Okay, it means involuntarily celibate, a state that many men are in, completely out of their control, and they are not. They are not bad guys. They do not hate feminists. They don't want to hurt anyone. They don't want any bad things. They just, for whatever reason, some mad conspiracy can't get sex okay no it's because no, that doesn't make you a bad person the, it's, it's, in the community, dude. Huh? it's listen, yeah it's because every the insult community is a literal fucking cancer yeah listen i appreciate listen i appreciate as the insult ambassador i appreciate that but hey listen i'm not gonna even fight for that one that's reaching a little bit okay yeah listen, that's, that's, they might be a little asshole, asshole okay? we might be assholes no, okay dude, dude, but dude, 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 dude. It's the it's the reason why people have this uh, strong reaction to to incels is because incels self-identify as toxic or violent or misogynistic I, in their own communities, and you can easily go and take a look at it if you go to like the the now banned uh, incel community. There's brain cells too. Like these are yeah. all these are all communities in which like people are not just talking about how it sucks that I can't get laid. But I've, they're talking about how um, you know there is a there's a red pill that you swallow to become a part of the well, incel culture, and and that's when you understand the dynamic between women and men, and there's such such well, a thing as female hypergamy, and you can't have sex because of the system. Well, no, here's the thing. Josh is right. No, Josh is well, right. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. Josh, you're right. But those people that you're classifying as involuntary celibate, mm -hmm. they're not they're not actually the incels that Hassan is using the word incel for. Those people are just. You know, in their own boat, it, like incels used way differently now. It's not the actual definition. 
Incel specifically, involuntary celibate asshole. Like that's what that's how incels used in today's day and age. Well, I mean, and even my, the term itself yeah. has a lot baked into it. Like involuntarily celibate makes it sound like other people are forcing your celibacy on you. I mean, they are. The, well, no, no, they're not. <laughs> well, wait, wait, wait. Am I an incel? Well, have you had sex before? No. Yeah, I've had sex before. But then you're not, not an incel. I mean, okay, not, well, maybe, maybe. Bro, you just chose candy. You're a born, you're a born again <laughs> incel. Can you turn you into an incel quota. after having sex? <laughs> yeah, a no, born. That'd be like yeah, becoming straight yeah. edge after doing drugs. A like, born again yeah, incel. That's a ride or die, my dude. Yeah, it's a born again incel. I enjoy the incel word because after being called a cam girl for like years, whenever somebody calls me that and I can say, oh, an incel and it gets them like really triggered, you know, that's really rewarding to me. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Do you guys think guys can be... I, oh, sorry, go ahead. I think there's too much hostility from both sides. Both sides could do with Agreed. listening a little bit more, right? Agreed. Like, what, what, like you, you hear someone's an incel. What do I need to listen to from the incels to cover up more? I don't think no, so. No, no, no. No one's telling you. Believe me, no one is yeah, telling you to cover up more. I don't uh, know. I not... just don't think well, I need Jaina to listen covered to the up. Yeah, but that honest. was for China, apparently. That's for China, right? That's, well, not, that's nothing to do with incels. Know. That's China's problem. That's not ours. Uh, incels' problem, sorry, not ours. Um, no. But no, like, okay, wh wh why are there so many young disenfranchised men who feel like, who feel like this? Why is that happening? I mean, for a variety of reasons. What, what, what specifically are you asking? Why they can't I, have... Uh, yeah, well, why, okay, we'll, we'll ignore the can't have sex thing. We'll go to what Hassan said about, like, why are there so many men who feel like, you know, they, they're being betrayed by women and they hate them? Like, why is that happening? Um, I mean, um, like, this is a really complicated, sexuality is a really complicated intersection between, like, a lot of different movements. That, that kind of sounds like a non-answer, but, I mean, I don't even, I don't know if there's even any evidence that there are, like, are less young men having sex today than who used to have sex? Is that, like, even true? I, yeah. I, Probably it, young people, is that true? Inside now. Young we, people like, generally are having less sex. That That is, what? I'm pretty sure you can look that up. I've, I've, no, I've read yeah, something. Probably because we yeah. are online yeah, young so people, much. Yeah. Young people well, now are definitely having less sex. About sexual no, education there's, there's and abstinence. Why millennials are having less sex, but we don't know conclusively why no. millennials mm -hmm. are having less sex. This is like a huge point of contention. Yep. But they are. They are having less sex. But that is true. It's true that millennials are having less sex. Wait, just to chime in. So that's actually true. Wait, there's more people. There's apparently a study that says that more that younger millennials are twice as likely to be sexually inactive in their early 20s as compared to Gen Xers. Yep. But we don't know what the causes are, and this is I'll like I'll tell you what saying. the causes are. I'll tell you one of the causes. People are we'll... trying to figure out, but it, but we, we have Tinder. The what the fuck? Listen, Tinder, Tinder, the Tinder is one of the things. Tinder is one, one of the, the main things causes that probably is plays into it because on I don't Tinder, know. A lot of people say it's the internet. Hentai is that ruining connects America. Us more than anything. Hey, is it listen, porn? Dude. Do you think it's on the access to internet it's porn? No, 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 no. Listen, dude. I'll I'll tell you the main reason, okay? And let's let's all be real for us. Let's be real with ourselves for a second, okay? It's a worth it reason. But Tell listen, dad. Twitch, okay, L look at us. We're, in, we're on this thing fucking 24 hours a day. We're, we, we skip our meals to watch streamers. We skip our goddamn jerk off sessions to watch streamers. We skip our water breaks. We skip our sleep. We're watching Twitch. We're dropping anything we can on there. Hey, listen, Twitch is a definitely is in the top 10 reasons. And it's, that's, it's, I, it's just true. Honestly, but train wreck, what did you say that Twitch is <laughs> also a reason you've gotten sex and got popular in the last couple of years <laughs> don't you no, think God, you're getting more God sex him. because of Twitter? also also no, 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 train no, no, no wait, let, let me let me answer let me answer let me answer let me answer that train actually. is not train is not incorrect I'm just saying. talking about dopamine in general like yeah. our, we can wait. so easily find pleasure elsewhere and we don't have to Whoa. we don't have to resort to such actually primal, that's uh such primal yeah. things i mean i personally still love sex and would rather do that over twitch but Oh uh, wait! First people, of all, yeah, you can get it easily. Like watch. Ooh. What? It's so much easier to be on Twitch, dog. Like I don't know. And also, Twitch is just a substitute for everything else that's going on with technological achievements. I don't think train means like literally people aren't having sex because everyone's oh, on. Fucking I need to Twitch. clear this because th th there's a bunch of normies in chat that came over from the Fortnite section and still still using poggers, saying true, true to Casey Tron. Listen, I I I right. dated my. No, you're not. I dated my girlfriend. For, I dated oh. my girlfriend from when I was hated on Twitch. When, when I had ten viewers, I was with my girlfriend. So no. Wait, I, did she I, know you from Twitch? I yes. So oh, I, wait, I, oh, you just make, oh no, you're making her argument for her. No, I'm Don't. not. Because she said when I'm I got right. popular. She said, hey. 
But the <laughs> fact that you're on Twitch is how she found you. So that's yeah, but it doesn't matter. She said when I got popular, that was her key word. I just want to clarify that. Uh, okay. Did you like you before you were popular? I just have heard of what's happening. In I just said she, we did when I was people like, having sex and orgies, <laughs> drugs. I've never seen All these orgies at conventions. Where are they? I've heard of them. Yeah, I don't know. No, same. Guys, guys. Kirk is trying to get laid specifically. Kirk, tell him, tell him, tell him. You're, yes, Candyland. Yes, I was with her before I got popular. No. Yes, I was with you don't her before I got big. Okay, that's cute. I met her at a, yeah, I met her when I was at 100 viewers. But anyways, go, go ahead. Wait, no, that's I, popular. I, I, 100 viewers? Yeah. 100 oh, viewers? Oh, even a high road. Yeah, okay. Fuck off. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm... Would somebody please sleep with my best friend, Kirk, please, if you're listening? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Listen. I will. Every, hey, I've lost a lot of weight, though. That's you know to every, be. Every he's be fair. he's very good looking. I don't understand. Like every every convention is a pursuit for a nut, and it is yes, we're almost there. I so, usually have I to mean, go to don't, massage. Don't put it out there like it's, as if he's desperate. No, he's not. I know. I, no, I'm no, no. Not really, Kirk gets a lot of action. Kirk gets enough. a lot of action. I don't there try you know. hard enough. I think. But, I don't and know. I'm joking, by the but way. I'm not. I'm not that. soliciting my friend for sex. Twitch. That was a joke. <laughs> All right. Please don't take that literally, uh, and stop linking uh, his channel, look, AJ. Are, can we speculate like that? about the serious reasons why uh, we don't think millennials are having sex? Because I think it's an interesting conversation to have, especially trying to figure out like why some uh, men uh, feel alienated and and some men feel even violent thoughts about their current state mm -hmm. of, of sexual activity. I think that's like a genuinely a massive problem. And I, I try to personally uh, solve that for uh, people who come onto my stream all the time. I try to talk to them about like how to talk to girls mm -hmm. and shit. Oh, um, yeah, I think it's so, it sucks. Like I wanna have more sex for sure. And I wish that my stream and everybody is watching me also wanted to. Hey, I can help okay, you. Okay, this kind of shit, what you're saying is Come why on, guys are incel, okay? What you're saying right now leads people to incel them. Holy shit. What do you mean? Oh, what do you mean? No, no, Candy, you say that and then I meet you in an airport and you don't even offer. Explain. <laughs> Well, no, of course I wouldn't offer an well, airport. Why, I want to. Well, also, I yeah, I don't know. I I don't you want, you want to. to have oh, so you say it, and then you when it's sex. actually there, all okay, of a sudden, yeah, oh, I will. no, I want to have Hey, Josh, sex, yeah, sure, you can take a photo with me, but you can't do anything else with me. No, sure, a photo, but yeah. So which is but it? Josh, you want to have maybe, more sex? Maybe, or... well, maybe you're I not her type, right? Like, I mean. Yeah, but the difference is when it comes to like sexual desires, like men will go all over. Like a guy that I'm gonna use numbers here, regardless if you like him or hate him. A guy that sees himself as a six will fuck all the way down to like a one or a two. But like mm -hmm. girls that see themselves as sixes or sevens will never ever fuck down. Like Yoshi, that, that, that's the like crux a very Yoshi real. He didn't offer either oh. when I met him. He didn't offer either. I, I was afraid of Knut. <laughs> Knut was there. I was afraid of him straight off. Like uh, that's that's all there was to that. Go ahead and vote um, on who you want to keep. By the way. <laughs> Wait, wait, yep. gu guys. Mm -hmm. Look, I mean, I honestly, uh, uh, I, I won't, I won't, f I just fuck anything that is I find attractive. I don't rate them on a scale. Hey, that's what we fuck, baby. Yeah, that's right. I, I think it's a, it's a little bit more complicated for my. Wait, ask in the Oh what shit! I, I linked the wrong poll. Enjoy. Sorry. Yeah, it's a little bit more complicated to figure out what women like, right? Doc, what the fuck, Doc? You gave me the wrong well, fucking poll. Well, the, the general thing is like I'm making huge generalizations here. Okay, so this doesn't necessarily apply to what anyone. But guys, guys, well, fuck off, Trey. Don't, bu bu don't bump me with you, okay? Because when I say it, it's actually true. Fuck off. Fuck okay? off, dude. Don't Listen, bump okay. me with you. Are you saying I'm lower than you? Come on, bro. We're no, equal. not lower than me. I'm just, I don't want to be associated with all your fucking insult shit just because I say some things you agree with, okay? Chill associated. out. Associated? You're okay? my friend. Of course you're associated. Everything I say you're associated with and you defend and you with and you agree with. Okay, I love you, buddy. Okay. Twitter DMs right now, dude. Holy Check. shit, Josh Oh my, don't greek oh. me, don't greek me. Okay, listen. Um, I think that in general, it seems like guys have two categories for people that they would date and people they would fuck. And the fuck category is very, very, very large. And women seem like, generally, they don't casually fuck as much for people that they wouldn't mm -hmm. also consider dating. Like, a guy will look at 100 women, want to date 10 of them, but will want to fuck 95 of them. But a girl will have 100 guys, and she'll want to date 10 of them and fuck maybe 15 of them. But So, like, the mismatch there causes a lot of weird shit to happen because, like, if a guy's not getting fucked all the time and he can only look at things the way that he does, right, it's like, well, fuck, how am I not getting fucked by women? Like, I'll fuck almost anybody. Like, this, like, feels really weird. Like, this is super Very fucked. true. Yeah, it's I like a big difference. So when you say something like, so when you say like, I wish I could have more sex, but I can't, right? 90, 98% of the guys watching this right now would fuck you. So to hear that statement is like really irritating to a lot of people that oh, either sorry. perceive themselves as intel. Yeah. Insult. Well, you don't have to apologize, right? I'm just explaining. Well, I, I wish I could find someone that I wanted to do. Yeah, but that also like that doesn't like me. mean- Like me. 
right? she wants to have more sex, that doesn't mean that she wants to have sex with anyone or everyone. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, absolutely. That's something yeah. that a lot of guys should also understand. And again, this is something that I talk about quite frequently. That doesn't mean that, uh, you know, that there, there are ways around all of this, Oops. is what I'm saying. There are ways around, like, uh, trying to... Uh, trying to maneuver in the in the weird marketplace of dating um and and i think there's a lot of shitty information out there unfortunately that that a lot of uh, guys give and well yeah and like I one of the people meme and say i'm chad splaining but uh, i used to be very fat and i still got laid uh, fairly frequently chad so. vote for who you want to keep I the votes are going down what I'm one of the ironic things here is that a lot of guys who are in this kind of like in seldom and i understand that josh takes issue with this because it you don't have to be part of like this crazy toxic incel community to be an incel which is true but the, the problem with a lot of the incel communities is that they engage in a lot of ha really harmful rhetoric and when i say harmful i mean harmful to, to themselves so like people in these communities yeah. will constantly demonize women that fuck a lot of guys because they're not fucking them and then what you end up is in this weird culture where every guy wants every woman to fuck more but no guy ever wants to date a girl that's fucked a lot right mm -hmm. like we'll sit here and talk about like how disgusting like ooh, like 20 dudes like her vag must be like a roast beef sandwich and then in the next they're like, why aren't girls fucking me more? And it's like, well, because they don't want to take True. themselves off the dating marketplace. Because every time a girl has sex with more than five dudes, like in a fucking 10 year period, people are freaking the fuck out, calling them whores and shit. And they don't want to ever fucking date them. That mismatch Very between true. like who guys will date and fuck also causes women to, to become like quasi borderline incels, where women are scared of fucking too many people because if they go to settle down for a guy they want to date, I don't mean settle down like settle, but like want to date a guy, well, now the guy won't date him because they fuck too many people. Right? Okay. No, but True. The thing you, the thing you called yes. it a marketplace is entirely correct there is a there is a sexual marketplace right and i think to answer the original question about like why younger people are fucking less it's not like things like tinder and online dating have made that marketplace much much like a, i don't know the economic term but things move much more freely to like where they should be right um as in a girl can go on tinder and she can only swipe on guys that she deems to be like the top 10 percentile of whatever she finds attractive right um, but if that was the case, then uh, women wouldn't be having less sex as well, and no, yet but that's, uh, yeah, the women are also having less sex. The interesting thing is, it is still disproportionate. It is still, like, if you look at the statistic breakdown for gender and young people, it is still mm -hmm. quite disproportionate. There are more young girls having sex than young men. Like, there is that... Yeah, because like, it's easier for women to have sex than men. I think we all understand mm -hmm. that. I mean, Like, an attractive will, guy like, will fuck, like, seven different girls a week. Whereas, like, yeah. an attractive girl is looking for, like, uh, like one guy, typically, or whatever, on Tinder. I I'm being very general here, but... Yeah, like, yeah, 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 but, but I, I, get, I get the point. However, these things yeah. become, like, very damaging when they become... Because these become self-fulfilling prophecies very easily like i've watched some of your stuff josh like you're a decently cute guy like there are girls in the audience Ooh, right now that would fuck you like you sound fine you speak well like <laughs> you can get locked into an incel mindset literally because of the things you think yourself like looking at you just going on physical appearances alone there is no reason why you should be an incel like you're not hideous at all like even remotely speaking yeah it was cute that you hit on me. It was yeah, I, I no, like that you no. hit on me. It was, <laughs> it was adorable. I, I think you're cute as well, Destiny. But um, yeah, no problem. Uh, you, you guys no, should you, you guys should go on a hot chocolate date or something. That'd be dude, dude. No, no. You, 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 the you thing is, you go, say that. You say you that, and I've heard that a lot, right? If I've you heard go near what you're my saying. Man, I'm, I'm not coming for you. No, no. I've heard what you're saying a lot, Destiny, and I like I agree with you, right? Like it doesn't make sense, but it's there still, and I don't get it. And Josh, would you want to give your body away to use anyone? Like. Maybe that's why you don't do it. I mean, Josh, if you want to get a good idea of why most men are having sex, take a look at 10% of Destiny's subreddit, dude. That's exactly why. <laughs> what the fuck was that? What are you what does that even mean? Great. Your subreddit is way worse. Oh my god. Ooh. What the fuck? Sorry, no. Listen, I, I got some posts. You're high, bro, to me. I know how it goes. No, 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 <laughs> Destiny. No, no, Destiny. I said 10% for a reason, okay? I love you and your community, but. I just got like four messages, uh, uh, four post messages from uh, a couple of my friends of your Reddit. They've already made like six hate threads of just stupid shit. So I had to make Bro, that I wasn't even on your fucking show and there was 18 threads about how awesome it was that the fucking Listen, commie wasn't there. Okay? Just on, relax. Dude. Stop white knighting your boyfriend. Okay, easy, dude. Okay, chill. Um, all right. <laughs> all right. The vote is in and Josh. You have won the round. Congratulations, my friend. Give it up for him. Fuck. He has won yeah. the round. And he... I, it's interesting the because insults. of what he brought it's up earlier. What he brought up earlier. Casey Tron and Candyland are in the final two. Oh, oh, 
The oh. two girls? Don't make, don't make me. The two <laughs> girls. What an don't interesting... That's so fucked up. That's don't so fucked up. It. What an interesting chain of events here. Oh. For the Raj Royale podcast. Hey, listen. It's because I spoke against them. That's what we're fighting for, baby. It, it is. I'm sorry. Guys, I hate, guys, I hate them as well. Them. Don't worry. They, 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 yeah. it seems like the incels rebelled no. and didn't vote for Candyland because she didn't take a picture with you in the airport. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 No, she did, she did. Oh, she did take a picture, sorry. I, no, I have we the, didn't take a picture. Uh, I have the photo. Me you just don't know we took the oh, picture. Oh, you, you yeah. took a picture, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah you were like, you came up like... to us and you were like, Knut, I really want to have a picture with you. Did you even take one with me? You yeah, did? I did. Oh, I did. He took oh, one and anyway, it wasn't with uh, you, it was of you. Raj. Yeah. Anyway, Candy's going. Uh, wait, 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 what? Damn. Yo. Oh. Wait, Raj. what? Yeah. Oh, you, you, yeah. You, you said that really? Candy and Casey won the round, right? No, they got they got both. No, they bought we're, two. We're oh, I, I retract everything I said. I thought I thought you said they won the round. I was going to say, that's the step we're going. Hey, never mind. I retract what I said, boys. Hey, you, you, you two should have won the round. All right, thank you, ladies. Oh, uh, Kendlin, you. you're eliminated by Josh on the Raj Royale yes. podcast. Would you like to give yourself a shout out? Yes, and thank you so much for having me. And you can find me at twitch.tv slash Kendlin. Do you want to stay here anyway, even though you're not playing? Never mind. That's it. Never mind. All right. No, Bye, Candyland. Can she? Bye. Guys. Bye. I mean, I could. That was your moment, incels. That was your moment to prove everything, dude. <laughs> you should have voted Casey and, and, and Candy first. What were you mm -hmm. thinking? Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Un Casey, this is the farthest you've made it on my podcast. Yeah. I w like, I actually took my Adderall, you know, so I've been trying to pay attention and stuff. It's uh, been helping. Wow. That's a lot. Wow. Yeah, that's great. It helps me. I love that. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Do you guys think, um, do you think guys can be uh, friends with girls they perceive to be ugly? What do you mean uh, by friends? Like, not want to fuck them or actually, like, just... Just, like, friends? actual friends. Like, do you actually think that, like guys can be friends do you think that like all guys that are friends with girls like there's some sexual motivation for that no it really depends on the type of person you are and what you do like for instance like if you're like a, if you're a gamer and you play a lot of games it's probably possible to run into a girl that you wouldn't consider fucking but is like good at games you play games with them like that's possible but like if you don't ever like if a lot of your hobbies are like super gendered and you don't ever meet women normally then it's probably weird to make like friends that are girls depepending on what you do mm. you're my guys all right wait you... i'm confused by this question what like what yeah, Hassan? Oh, i'm guys. sorry i'm sorry i didn't i'm sorry i didn't bring anything up that was posted all over the washington post or something um no 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 i'm trying to dude i'm trying to participate i'm just in your fucking, fucking with format, you, you come... <laughs> oh my god i'm just Holy trying to fucking shit. understand i'm just what you were kidding trying to when say. the student attacks the teacher I'm Holy sorry. Shit. all right uh wow. okay uh, no, Hassan, I want to know. I want to know something. All right. Basically, like, do you think it's possible for guys to be friends with girls without any sexual motivation? Or like, do absolutely. You think I okay. absolutely do. I 100% think that, that that can happen. Um, do would the women or the men in that relationship still might have some sexual attraction to the other person mm. uh, that they need to kind of push back or push away in order to maintain that relationship successfully? Perhaps. But I think men and women can, of course, uh, be friends with one another I, without having any, without without actually like, uh, without one party trying to have sex. I have I lots think that's of such an friends. idealistic. It's, it's such an idealistic view, yeah. and here's why. Okay, why, like, why would I <laughs> all the time. No, no, it oh. is. No, listen, let, let me finish. Let me finish. I think, I think, I think men and women should be able to be friends, but I, I don't think right now we're there. I, I think right now, unfortunately, <laughs> maybe let, you're let, not. let me finish instead of laughing and fucking fueling your fucking goddamn fucking, you know, your fucking viewers. There's just no way where this, where this statement ends well, but go ahead. No, no, just listen. From my experience, okay, I hope one day we can reach a point where men and women can just be friends, okay? Unfortunately, though, a lot of the how, how are we not there? I think you're not because, there. No, yeah. no, no, no. Let no, him no, finish. Because, Let him finish. Let me finish. Because, listen, a lot of the times in a quote-unquote friendship, almost every... Listen, here's the problem, okay? <laughs> if you're not... No, just listen. We're listening! I, I'm, trying to out, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to word this, okay? Dude, okay. Clearly no one's okay. talking. Okay. Here's the problem with them. A, a, a male that's into women and a woman that's into um, man, okay, friendship, okay? Unless the woman sets very clear boundaries to that man, 
I, which I don't think, hopefully one day we get to a point where she doesn't need to set boundaries. They're both on the same page. Usually things go wrong because even, let's just assume even sober, they can do it. At one point through vulnerability, through intoxication, through some sort of circumstance of that friendship, something can happen and will happen because that's unfortunately just the way it is on right now. Wait, but you're doing that tautological fucking ar like cyclical argument again, where you say something is a thing because it's just the way it is. Where you uh, like you did this earlier too. I'm just trying to understand why. Like, have have you had zero female like platonic female uh, friends? I have a lot I of understand. female friends on uh, on Twitch. You know, Casey's my also, friend. But hey, can listen. we draw a distinction? There's a yeah. big difference between somebody that you would be friends with. Like and then yeah, would would fuck would hang them. Hang out with in real life yeah. and stuff with, too. And wait, just wait. hang out. Yeah. Well, there's, just, a there's a difference. There's a difference between never, like somebody that you would every, be friends with and would fuck them versus somebody that you're friends with just because you want to fuck them. Every, right. Friend, yeah. Every friend girl I've ever had or every girl I've ever known that has befriended a man, the man has at one point in their long term in their long period of being friends tried something at one point that ended the friendship. Like it's like I have yet. If I could give a number, you have in our no girlfriends that you would you would not try to have sex with right now. Out of every single girl, I that have, you a know, you have a girlfriend. So no, I, you have no I would not listen. Well, no, no, these are different things too, Hassan. Like, if, if it's like, like you're asking, I would listen. I would. First of all, listen. I have no. Yes, I have no <laughs> girlfriends I'd hang out with while I'm getting drunk. I have no girlfriends I'm hanging. I'd hang. I, I just, I just don't. I just, it, it's just, it, yeah. it's not appropriate. It's not. I have a girlfriend. Yeah. It, it, it just, it, it's not like that. Like even during my cooking streams, like I have to keep it very like. It's just. And that's me. Like we're talking about people who are using that front to just, just to get in. I mean, and that's the again, that's an it. anecdote. But re regardless, yeah. I mean, I guess I was asking I, I, I you your personal experiences. So you're right yeah. to, to. I'm just I, shocked yeah, yeah. that you have not you're a right. single person. It is an anecdote. It is, but I just I have never, in my history, seen a man befriend a woman without having one circumstance of him trying something or doing something that's a little too far or mistaking the woman's intentions and taking it too far. I, I have never seen it to this day, ever. I, it just, it's, it's- Well, I've been friends with Casey now for a long time. I don't think I've tried to fuck you, right, Casey? I don't know. We haven't yeah. each other. I In think our sexual it's... tension would just be too powerful. Okay. 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 Especially for a lot of girls that I've never yeah. even tried. Let me ask you this then. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry. It, it's it's been thirty hours of sleep. You know, sleep. it might well, happen. It's been thirty hours of sleep, so I'm having trouble. Uh, I have to close my eyes to even think of anything. But uh, 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 I will give you, I will give you an example, okay? Cause what I'm trying to say here, okay? Okay. I will give you one circumstance to why I think men and women can't be friends. Okay, check this out. Okay, or at least now, for now. Uh, hopefully, one day you get to an understanding. Anyways, imagine you in case you're friends. I believe sober, nothing would happen. I believe if you went out and had drinks, nothing would happen. But let's say this one situation, okay? And this one situation is enough. E even if you say it's a reaching situation, I think it's enough. Let's say you're both hammered drunk, blacked out, okay? And you're super horny destiny. And she offers. Let's say she offers. Are would you, you say no? I'm yeah, okay. This is why I'm trying to meet you in the middle, okay? This is why I'm trying real hard to meet would you in the middle. Would you say okay? no, though? No, but that's, but that's what I'm saying. There's a different. I would fuck probably almost every female friend I have. Yeah, exactly. I probably would. But yeah, but the difference is, I'm trying. To, I'm trying really hard to meet you, little. Please, okay. There's a difference between I'm friends with you just because I want to fuck you versus I'm friends with you and I would fuck you if you wanted to, right? So like, if Casey really wanted to, yeah, too. sure. But I'm not friends with Casey because I'm trying to fuck her. Like, there's never going to be a point where I'm talking to her and she's like, oh, I feel sad, or I'm like, oh, you know, maybe some dick will help. You know, like that's never <laughs> going to happen because that's not my yeah. goal, right? That's why I'm just saying there's a difference between those two things. Can, do you agree with that, or do you think? Yeah. Yes, yes, I there, agree there, with yes, that. Yes, I agree. I agree and, with that. And a yes, friendship can evolve into uh, a, a platonic friendship can then turn into something that's a, a more sexual as well. I I agree with that too. I don't well, think it's like a one or the other kind of Destiny situation. Destiny have a lot of chemistry as well, besides just sexual. Okay. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Like, <laughs> no, I agree with what you're saying, but the fact that somebody would fuck you just doesn't necessarily mean you're only there to fuck that person. That's all I'm saying. So, like, a guy and a girl could oh, be I, friends, I, but the I guy could also that, yes. want to fuck a girl if she ever offers, but he's not necessarily going to be, like, serving her up his dick on, like, a fucking silver platter every time she is in a mood or whatever, right? That's all yeah, I'm saying. I don't think you can be fully friends or fully take that route if you would, at any point, take that offer. Like, that's my point. Maybe it just depends on, like, how we define, I guess, friends then, maybe. Because it's an... In, in a, it, 
like basically if you do it in that situation it's an inhibition that's there and you're just you, i don't know you're suppressing it so it's this weird thing that i don't know i, I, I it's, it's it's rare i've it's very rare it's very i don't know it's very rare yeah but every friendship has some like you can always argue some friendship down to there being some benefit or goal or something you get out of it right like if the thing you get out of it is oh you're kind of attracted to this person like even if you would never do anything i don't think that's a bad thing like it doesn't it doesn't invalidate the friendship right I think it, like i think it is a bad thing i mean listen like well, like here's an example okay like Th th think about the the one girl you can be friends with, right? Um, <laughs> you know, a sister, right? Now I understand this is a little different. It's family, uh -oh. but like, no, oh, it's gone the right? incest. Oh, oh, there is no, no, no there is no. Okay, okay, oh, okay no, my dude. point is, there is no point. There is no Load point up, with boys. your sister. There is no point with your sister, even if you're both blacked out, drunk, and you're horny as hell. There's no point where she would even think of offering and there's no point where if, even if she did you would accept there's no point unless we're talking about some not, fantasy porn not world yeah i was gonna say not based on the that's... video i watched last night wait this might be true but i don't think just because you would fuck that's somebody if you had the opportunity though. to necessarily makes you not friends i think you can still be friends yeah, just... yeah i think you can be friends but what i'm saying is a fully platonic friendship that consists based off fr <laughs> friend principles i don't think it's possible for now with, with where we're at uh, uh, socially, Train, we're world. friends, and you talk about jerking each other off all the time. Like, yeah, but do you actually think we're gonna meet up and I'm gonna fucking jerk your fucking yes. hard dick? Fuck Wait, that's you what not? I thought. Wait, yeah, I, I, I thought you were telling me time? Off. What the fuck? Fuck no, bro. Fuck no. I, I'm down Train's to jerk. A little fucking cock down to piece of shit. in the same room, but listen, I'm not gonna spank your fucking chicken. Not to mention, are you cut or uncut? Mm. <laughs> Your ass better be cut. I'm not touching no uncut shot. I'm cut. No Fucking offense. dude, I'm cut. Don't worry, brother. It's I am the uncut. That's a halal dude. ass penis oh down there. Oh my Wait, god. Are you all cut? Shut I ain't fuck with that uncut. Yeah, I'm dog. cut. <laughs> oh oh my god. god. They work the same way. Don't be so scared. Can we talk about how fucked up dude, cutting it's is? Better by the way. to have an uncut dick. Okay, fight. Yeah. Uh oh. Hold on. 100. percent Wait. Hold on. Like, just a minute. Oh, what's the benefits of it? How, have you ever had an uncut penis? Wait, uncut's like circumcised, No, there's right? more, you have more No, no, uncut is uncut. You still have the same uncut. sensations, don't you? No, nope. you have more no. feeling in your penis head when you have skin. Yeah, but it looks gross. It's, no, no, it's it, well, some it, people, like it looks like skin absolutely has, the skin just has right. nerve endings. Like, the skin is very sensitive. It, a lot of those sensitive nerve endings go away when you mm. cut the tip of the, uh, like, I mean, when you circumcise a penis. Is um, that why I think anal feels better? Hello? Oh, what? what you receiving it? Maybe. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, what I mean, do you mean? Oh, dude, in, realistically, if you enjoy, Tom, Tom, dude, we, we could talk about intactivism all day. If you What's intactivism? Can you yeah. stum that down a little bit for me? Is, intactivism is the is the activist uh, circle that revolves around circumcision and like stopping oh, 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 uh, circumcision yes. as a whole in America. Yes, it should be stopped. Yeah, you, you're literally as well. you are mutilating children. Is what you're doing for no bait, for no you benefit should, other than you I'm happy with it. You should be able to decide that when you turn a certain age. Yes, agree. Um, there are there are oh, technically yes. the other side's argument is that there are I think 14 additional like uh, benefits to having uh, circumcisions per, uh, be performed, uh, lowering a risk of HIV. But these are like also I mean, highly yeah. contentional. Okay, hold on. I'm yeah, just, right, sorry, I'm, so, just I'm, sorry I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm okay, just right, giving right, you guys the yeah. full picture, okay? okay? I probably won't circumcise How much do you child. read, Hassan? Holy fuck. <laughs> Go I on. mean, I'm pretty familiar. A lot of guys that do polyps. No, let, let him finish. Sorry, I interrupted. That was yeah. rude. Sorry. Yeah, but the, uh, again, like, it, the, the questionable element there is that uh, you're, the child has no say in this, and they're doing it uh, against their will or against their, uh, like, better. I mean, it's coercive to some degree, and, and I, I kind of understand that because, like, they don't really tell the uh, parents that it's, like, a option for the most part in a lot of instances uh, america is the only country on the planet that actually circumcises people uh regardless of their religious background or regardless of their religious perspective like in turkey there's an entire like muslims have uh sunnet they were they uh it's like a ceremony it's a religious ceremony i didn't even do that i was because i was born here but america is the only country that where they do that across the board unless Whoa. the parent says no I believe they do it in America for sanitary purposes, right? Yeah, like well, that's yeah. The there claim. are fourteen medicinal uh, reasons for why, and well, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy. Contracting HIV I've, is one of them. Honestly, yeah, I've I'm, actually I'm, I'm, almost had to get circumcised yeah. when I was younger, and because I didn't wash correctly, so mm. so you have to wash. I get away. it, but dick cheese, been should, there. Yeah, you should uh, be able to teach your children yeah. how to wash correctly. Oh my god, yeah. I've completed the empire of business achievement on Twitch. Wow, Bro. now I want to stream more. <laughs> I, I think that uncut ahead, dicks are cuter because they have that mushroom shape. Oh, you know, don't tell cute. us that. We're a bunch of I mean, fucking I cut think, boys over I, here. I, I think... Yeah.
Hey, I, mean, I see how you do it. We'll work I'm out well, Casey. Good personally, job. Personally, I think right. that uncut dicks are cuter looking. I, I think that all Casey. dicks are cute, but now we're all turning incel because I mean, not ash. to mention, not to mention, if you have an uncut dick, realistically, you know, if you have an ant problem in your house, you can <laughs> <laughs> solution. Yeah, you could just do some push-ups where the ants are and just. I'll be honest with you, <laughs> a, an uncut, a, a cut dick looks so much better. Oh my I mean, cuter. I Whoa. think. I like that I like mushroom. The there are certain penises that do look better. I mean, mm -hmm. in my opinion, I'm just saying aesthetically pleasing. I'm not attracted yeah. to men, but oh, hey, you know, hey, I don't let say... your masculinity be so toxic that you have to even state that. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh my god. You can't admit that another. I could say that some cute? cut penises do look, maybe on a broader spectrum, that uncut penises do look better. But there are a lot. There's quite what a lot it? of uncut dicks what? that look really uncut good. Uncut looks better. No, no, no! I'm saying that cut looks better, probably on a broader. It's yeah, cuter, yeah. Oh, it looks like a okay, fucking it, sand slash, fucking well, devolving. It depends on the penis. Through. Some penises you, look better cut, some look better uncut. Shit's I want to hear this anteater. from the guys. Has any of the guys here ever put a tiny hat on their penis? No, but I stuck a cucumber <laughs> no. in my ass. For real? <laughs> I got a little Santa hat. I just would do that. Christmas. I try to yeah. hang a towel on it every once in a while. Yeah. There's restoration techniques, by the way. If guys. I had a penis, are, I would have an assortment of tiny hats for it. <laughs> oh, the people that pull their skin out and like, put like restoring a... your your the tip of your penis uh, or restoring mm. the skin, the foreskin. They have like little weights that you can put inside and like yeah. stretch it over to like hang it <laughs> yeah. down. Yeah. But oh, it, gosh, it's, it's, it's not too late for you, buddy. If you wanna, if you wanna reverse the cord. No, I I I'm I'm uncut. Mine is no. It's it's insane to me that you guys seem like okay with it though. Like the idea that children are. Being literally like having parts of them cut off on some okay you know what i can't get i can't get hand cancer if you cut my hand off at birth that's most of the health benefits boil down to there is less penis if you cut parts of it off I so know. yeah they have a slightly lower risk of penile cancer because there's less of it but that doesn't justify mutilating children on the basis that no, oh if not, i cut yeah, off like most of my body I'm not trying to justify. I'm I imagine right. like HIV like in the west is like not something that you're realistically scared of listen oh you're right fuck it Let's keep the umbilical cord on, too. You know what I'm saying? Let's keep just for the record, though, it's not... Circumcision isn't well, done because there's, like, less... Uh, there's going to be less penis to, to have... To get cancer. Oh, no. <laughs> but, like, I know, yeah. I'm saying a lot, well, a lot of the health was benefits. largely started in the U.S. to stop kids from masturbating. All right. I got an idea. Everybody who's uncut, use Twitch Prime on the channel. <laughs> and everybody who's cut, use Twitch Prime on my channel. How about that? All right. Uh, let's take a vote. No. no, let's take a vote. All right, let's take a vote. All right, I'm gonna get a report, and my partner manager is gonna be like, "So you quote ask them to sub if their penis was." Oh, my. All right, vote and then vote. Vote in the poll. All right. Vote for me. Vote Gaston, for me, thank you very I'm much already, for subscribing. I already lost a piece of my penis. Scipio okay. 110, thank you for subbing. <laughs> Her Majesty, thank you for four months. Is there a uh, an, an equivalent for women, like c c cutting your vagina at birth, or like, yeah. like is there yeah, anything it's like called, that? So Jolo, thank genital. you for subbing. Byron, so thank something... you for gifting five subs. Sorry, go ahead. Sorry. There's something called female genital mutilation, and I think it might be called type four, but the most, the closest equivalent would be the shaving of the clitoral hood, which is the part that covers the part. Um, the, so the clitoris is analogous to the head of the penis. That would be like the most similar thing to circumcision. And the wording is the point, right? They call it female genital, genital mutilation. mutilation because it is, and we call it circumcision as if it's just a normal practice that should be okay when it's literally the same fucked up thing. I don't know. It, it feels like I'm the only one who thinks this is fucking no, crazy. This I, 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 I still have good you. sex. I agree with you. No, right. when your clitoris is yeah. shaved, you yeah. have no more clitoral stimulation. When, you're, when your foreskin it's... is cut, you potentially, and this is not proven either, you potentially lose sensitivity from that area uh, mm -hmm. because you lose some nerve endings, but you don't lose sensitivity no. in your penis. I, 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 know, I don't care I know about the sexual pleasure about. people can have. I don't no, care about I know what you're talking about, but if you pull your... Relation is a little thing. Is, it's exclusively done uh, so that women cannot get off. It's exclusively done so that... Like, Why is circumcision done? Well, do you want me to tell women? you some proof as to uh, that can shut that, up, that down? If I were to pull my foreskin back and put my penis in my pants, it would fucking hurt. But, there you go. Yeah, so wait, so it's just a fact that, like, yeah, if, you, if the head of your dick is, is constantly exposed to, like, the inside of your pants or whatever, the skin will keratinize. It does become slightly less sensitive. It, it has to. It hardens yes. a bit. Like, that's Thank just you. a fact, yeah. All right. Now, whether that's good or bad I, or, like... But it, that's not the... I'm saying that that's not the and reason why they do it. 
Well, You're the right. reason initially it was pushed was to, I thought it was to stop little boys from playing with themselves. No, I don't think so. I thought so it was what, what it Dr. Kellogg. I was under, yeah, I was under I'm, the I'm, like that I'm Dr. Kellogg guy. Anti circumcision, like... just for the record, I'm anti circumcision, yeah. but. Uh, but according to the American uh, Podiatrist Association or whatever, they, they have uh, at least 14 different reasons for why this is a good thing to do. Well, reduce but what Josh said of, earlier, what Josh risk said of earlier, penile cancer, reduce risk yeah. of STDs, reduce risk of tract infections, reduce sure, sure. risk. Well, okay, okay, okay. So, okay, so what Josh said earlier is 100% true here, right? Like we could get rid of all foot fungus in the world if we just amputated people's feet at birth. Like to say that like you're not going to get a UTI, so we're going to chop off part of your dick. Like I don't think that's a good argument. Also, when you talk about things like UTIs, is that worth mutilating stuff over? Or things like STDs or HIV? Like an HIV. I was like, simply talking about things that completely West? avoidable. Hey, hey like, guys, yeah, guys, guys, guys. I was just simply stating. That that's circumcision such a is still, uh, Wait, what's a straw man? Female genital straw mutilation. Man. <laughs> what did I just man. say was a straw man? Wait, what do you think a straw man is? No, oh, I didn't say you straw man. Who said no, 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 no. I'm mean, trained to saying a straw man. A straw man not, is literally when you respond to an argument not. that nobody made. I literally directly responded to every point you just yeah. made. Yeah. I'm saying they're not comparable not whatsoever. <laughs> listen, dude, like... Listen, I said straw man only because you guys said it all the time. Listen, it's not comparable. <laughs> it's not comparable whatsoever, dude. Listen... I find it completely and utterly ridiculous and disgusting of everyone that's sitting here comparing cutting a piece of your a, a skin, a, a, a thin skin of your penis off and comparing it to cutting your fucking entire leg off. Like, shut the fuck okay, up. Okay, hold on. Well, what you just did was well, literally I, I a because I said cut off your yeah. foot, not your leg. Okay, to be Whatever, fair. Whatever, cutting off oh. your entire foot? You're okay, a finger. Cutting then. off a fucking little piece of your penis? Your ear. Yeah. How about your ear? That's a pussies? big piece of your like, body, though. Yeah. It's still pretty big. Why are we cutting children? Yeah, why are we cutting I'm happy. the skins I'm, of children's I'm, penises I am off? Okay, you're you're happy. you could be you're just as happy if you made that decision. You're only you're happy because part of society, unless you're... the American Association, yeah. American Academy of Pediatrics uh, or Pediatrics is fucking lying. Um, that that's the reason why uh, people are doing it. They no, that's not the reason people do it is because they want their sons to look like their dads. It's not for health reasons. Yep. Oh my it's god, I got a great topic thing. for next. It's one hundred percent a cultural thing. All right, guys, look. We've I've let the timer go for way, a little it, bit. It wasn't actually straw man. I was right. Anyways, guys, <laughs> wait, wait, uh, what was a nice straw man? Right. Comparing right. cutting your hand off to uh, cutting a piece. An of analogy skin. is not a straw man. No, uh -huh. it's a straw man because they're they're not. Uh, give me an example outside of the example of the thing that's not. Com it's, that's it's, called uh, an analogy. No, no, no. Watch this. Listen, listen. No, Raj, give me a sec here, dude. Uh, straw man argument. Watch this. Are you ready for this? A straw man is a form of argument and an informal fallacy based on giving the impression of a refuting of refuting an opponent's argument while actually refuting an argument that was not presented by that opponent. So listen, no one refuted that cutting your okay, leg uh, off. Hold on, hold on, hold on, let me do this. No, no, no. Because right, right. the me. argument you put forth was that it's okay to excise a piece of a person's body in order to save yourself from some hypothetical medical future medical condition. So I drew an analogy saying, well, we wouldn't excise somebody's foot in order to save them from a hypothetical future medical condition. These are literally the exact same points. It's not a straw man. It's a one to one comparison. Well, then listen, if it's not straw man, then it's toxic masculinity. I win. <laughs> Guys, no, no. It, oh, no, no! no. You, would, you would never allow... It's not a straw man, but that's, you would never allow for this kind of argument to ever fucking... You would no. never allow this kind of argument to go on. Just I would allow. What I would say... Here's your because proper the amount of utility that you get from fucking walking exactly. around is drastically different than the amount of utility that you get from the foreskin. Sure. You, so that's... Yeah, that you that put that straw manning everybody? Okay. So what Hassan gave was the proper argument. So what you could argue is you could say, well, these are disanalogous because a foot offers far more utility than a foreskin. And then what I would say is, okay, well, how much utility needs to be present for something for you to mutilate it? What if I wanted to chop my child's earlobes off at birth? Would you be okay with that? Even if there's not like, like I could say it saves you from some possible future ear infection or whatever, but I also do it because I think it looks nicer. Would you say that it's okay to chop off earlobes? And then if you say no there, which you probably would because you're not culturally accustomed to that, then I say, well, what's between an earlobe and a foreskin, right? That's where the argument would go. To just scream straw man doesn't really get us any further into the, into no, the really. Yeah, I mean, Train was wrong about the straw man. For sure. No, I was not. Listen, that relatively, not the best. <laughs> relatively, cutting your earlobe off is not equivalent to cutting a piece of your skin off. Cutting your earlobe. Let me finish. Cutting your earlobe off of your ear is like cutting one of your testicles off or cutting the head what of the your... fuck no, are you talking about it is it's not thing. comparable how are you comparing listen my ear is this big you want to cut literally two-fourths half of it off or one-third of it it's... off and you want to compare it to cutting a piece of your skin on your penis yeah. listen I, I don't know if you have a one inch dick if you have a yeah, one inch dick fine more it's more. comparable you know if you have a one inch dick it's comparable but not if you have a fucking gut listen fuck out of here your earlobe fuck out of here all right. I mean, like, the foreskin isn't... Oh, sorry, God, we're done. Okay. I'm getting insulin. All right. Okay, guys, look. The winner of the last round was Josh. Congratulations. But he voted the last round. So, E-Rob, 
on second place, so he has to choose between Casey Tron and Hassan. Hassan. Hassan? I'm sorry, Dustin, I'm putting you through this. I just it's so fun. You it's choose so Hassan? Fun. Okay. Not... Alright, Hassan, you have gotten eliminated. I'm Peace, so sorry. Guys. Thank you so much for coming. Everybody follow him on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Hassan Bye, Abbey. Please go follow his channel. He, he runs great shows that shows uh, no bias perspective over there. He shows both sides. Oh, don't and, fucking act like you're not no, there. Night and, I, and, okay. and, I, and I'm, I'm there all the time in the bathtub, so go watch. No, he's actually great for <laughs> guys. And please, if you would, you, you actually get bonus bits in his channel if you uh, click his channel with your left hand. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks, Hassan. Love you. I'll see you in the bathtub right. later. Okay, bye. Peace. Later, son. Bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Can I ask a question? Can yeah, I ask trainers a question? Yeah, the next round, by the way, before you go. And <laughs> Casey, by the way, I didn't know you have you had anal warts. I didn't know that. Oh. Oh, sorry. Oh. Okay, sorry. I didn't mean to make it loud. No, um, it's like, you know, I'm trying to, like, you know, inspire people not to get them, letting okay. them know that I... Oh, uh, okay. Uh, Destiny, so, go ahead. Okay, let's say, for instance, let's say that we could demonstrate that pinky toes weren't really needed for no, people. No, no, no. I was kidding about the earlobe. That, 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 that was a good argument. I, I was totally fucking with you. Okay. The, 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 the earlobe was a completely fine argument. Okay. <laughs> you were only pretending to be retarded. <laughs> no, no, I, no, I, no, no, that, that okay, I get was, it. No, I get it. You were only pretending. Jokes yeah, on you. No, no, no. Yeah. That, that, that part wasn't pretend. I, I am retarded. But <laughs> <laughs> the earlobe was good enough for me. All okay. Right. Um, oh, but uh, by the way, so the next round, two people, the bottom two people are eliminated. Then we go straight to the finals because we had one extra person today. So just oh, letting shit. you know, the bottom two yeah. people are out. So whoever gets the top two, we're going to get into the finals. All right, we need a good topic. We need a good topic. Yeah, I'm going to give you a great fucking topic. Uh, well, this is a viewer question. said, why are there so many genuinely mentally ill people on the Internet? Okay. Um mm -hmm. Uh, ooh, do you think you modern going? society is raising a generation of overly sensitive children that will oh, grow yeah. up oh, to be permanently I offended what adults? Yeah. Yeah. Gonna be. This, oh, yeah. this question was It'll be insightful. This question was submitted by a viewer, and the viewer was not Train Rex TV was his Twitch name. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying we say that, but look at how sensitive the baby boomers are. They bitch and complain about everything, and like mm. you know, I don't, I don't think it's fair Art. to say. Okay, all right. Like, look at the baby boomers. They fucking bitch and cry about everything. That's a good point, you know, Casey. I think there are, there are so many perfect examples of old people saying that younger people bitch and moan about everything, and then old people turn around and complain about, like, the dumbest fucking shit. Like, if two gay guys want to get married, like, why the fuck do you care? Or if somebody wants to write happy holidays on a fucking Starbucks cup, like, why are you so upset about it? No, like, but Destiny, let me tell you, I'm going to argue here with you, and I'm going to say the reason why they're upset about people writing... Happy Holidays on the Starbucks Cup is not because they are upset about the fact that you can't write Merry Christmas. It's because they're upset that everybody's so sensitive. Why can't you write Merry Christmas on the coffee cup? That's because you want to be upset. more inclusive of more people. What's the problem with that? Well, but they, but that argument yeah, would they, be like, why is that? Inclusive. Christ out. We're done with Christ. I know, but why is it so? Not real. Is, We're done. The, basically, the mm -hmm. issue is people will constantly say things like, oh, well, I don't care how many minority people there are. I don't care how many women there are, blah, blah, blah. But the only reason they're saying that is because right now the status quo actually supports them. So whenever you do anything, even slightly to shake that up people get fucking enraged over it like i don't know i saw happy holidays on a cup and i was like okay yeah i guess it yeah but the, the reason why they're enraged, why would you ever get mad over something they're enraged that? because everybody's so sensitive and they they don't understand why people are so you, offended by people saying merry know, christmas nobody's offended yeah. by it though they're just saying like maybe we should just do they happy are holidays. that's the reason why you wrote happy holidays because people yeah. were offended by it i'm pretty sure I they did know. it because it's just I easier and it's more inclusive of more people well i agree with that i agree i i it is more inclusive but okay thanks you rob uh, anyway. I think the baby boomers are offended that we don't want to play into the whole Christ Christianity. Thing. We're gonna bring back to Christmas, and we're done with it. We're ready to move on. <laughs> say, could you say that again? We're oh, done Jesus. with it. We're ready to move on. We're we're done with Christianity, baby boomers. But but but, but it's but, happy but, holidays. But Chris, Merry Christmas has become an increasingly corporate. Um, has become. It's always been that way. Okay, be Destiny. Real. All right. Hey, well, it's becoming We're more that way. Christmas All right. Away from Christ, it's Happy Holidays. Well, no, but it's be it, it's <laughs> becoming even. It, oh, fuck. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. <laughs> Do you not think that in the interest of like not offending anyone or the interest of being more inclusive that signs we erode into people's individual culture overall? Like by just wishing people like generally happy holidays or anything like that, that it's in a lot of things. We don't recognize people's individual culture and holidays and stuff like we should necessarily. Like the, the reality is like, it, 
it, so if I had to choose between having like a targeted like Merry yeah. Christmas thing on some public thing versus just a general one, people are still free to celebrate whatever they want. No one's saying you can't set up a nativity scene in your yard or you can't say Merry Christmas to your friends. Like it's just, just like yeah, the really yeah. public facing stuff is just more inclusive. Why does that matter? Sure. And so also, they, real quick, that, like, what, what real quick like on, on the two end there, like you're saying like, well, maybe saying happy holidays makes some people feel like their shit doesn't matter. What about saying Merry Christmas and not acknowledging at all the other holidays that exist? Because, yeah, like, happy it's not about Monica. not acknowledging at all. It's just about recognizing that like the Western world that we all live in, like predominantly Christmas is what's celebrated here for a long time. And that the reality is, I, I hope this doesn't offend anyone, minorities are a minority in some cases. And for what it's worth, I would never be in China and complain about Chinese New Year celebration and them not recognizing our New Year or anything like that, right? I, I like, like, I would like to see that. When I go to somewhere else, I want to see their culture necessarily, right? All over the world. Yeah, but I mean, like, the reality is, is that, like, if you can make a small concession without taking too much away from yourself and make other people feel included, like, why wouldn't you do that? Like, for, this is like, if you were to show up to a party, like, I like cheese pizza with, like, pepperoni and sausage, and then somebody else is like, why well, I like cheese pizza with only sausage? Like, I'm not going to sit here and make a huge fucking stink about it. Like, I still like the oh. sausage. I'll just get that. And then everybody's happy. Like, I have to make an itty bitty concession that people aren't specifically tailoring their message. Like, happy holidays, um, you know, middle class white America. And it's like, or Merry Christmas, whatever, to like my spring things. Like, well, fuck. Like, you can make it a little bit more general. Minorities feel more included and everybody feels more included and it doesn't hurt me at all. Like, I don't know. It just seems like a really easy thing sure. to do. It a happy holidays message specifically, I don't think mm -hmm. many people have a huge problem with it, especially on me. But I'm talking more just like generally about culture. I, I feel like there's been a lot of cases where certain celebrations have been actively shut down because they were offending other people. In my country, at least this has happened. Well, I mean, wait, I like what kind of celebrations? I, okay, this is something that I've said offhand that I would have to go look up specifically. Oh, but gotcha. I'm, I've, I've heard cases of it. And like, I, I'm, I'm not just making this up. Like, this has definitely happened at least a few times. Uh, like how schools it, will cancel like Christmas. Yeah, that, that's a pretty good example. Yeah. 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 It's, it's schools more, canceling like, Christmas celebrations? Or, this happen a lot. Yeah, that, that, that's that's legitimately like happened. Elementary yeah. school and shit. They, they like no longer allow Christmas celebrations. They're like, oh, it's they a do that, though? I don't know. I just heard of schools true. doing that before. You can take the religion out of Christmas and it just be a hol that's what like that's what I'm saying. Like it doesn't have to be religious. Well, it's just the idea that not everybody but celebrates they don't say Christmas. Christmas. Some people celebrate Hanukkah. Some people do Kwanzaa. Some people do whatever other shit. All right. Well. Okay. Damn it. Let's vote. It's the end of the round. Okay. Oh, what? Oh, Holy shit. shit. Wait, yeah. really? <laughs> yeah. That was a fast it's round. It's over. They're short. The fuck? They're short rounds. This is the, oh, uh, my God. This is the Raj Royale. All right? We, we get, we get out, you know, hey. Well, only one more round left, okay? The winner of this next round will win the whole Royale podcast. Do they win a Jord watch, too? Yes, they will win a brand new Jord watch by Jord, courtesy of Jord Wood Watches. Nice. And by the way, chat, everybody in the chat right now that types exclamation point giveaway wins 20% off a brand new Woodwatch by Jordan. And you go to the website, woodwatches.com, and you type in code RAJ20 with two Js, and you get 20% off a Woodwatch by Jordan. Destiny's got three of them. Tell them how, how, how they feel, Destiny. Um, Hold on, I got a message to the people that I gave them to. Oh, okay. What did you give them away <laughs> to? Uh, dude, I'm going to show up next TwitchCon with like fucking seven of these watches. I know, I know, it's, it's unbelievable. So, well, All right, so excited. let's check it out here. The people in the bottom, oh my god, this is going to be interesting. The bottom two are getting eliminated, just letting you know. Uh, all right. Wait, let me vote. I haven't voted yet. All right, sorry. I'll wait for everybody. Kirk is, hasn't voted yet, so we'll wait. Come on, this is too quick. There we go. All, all right, right there I you go. All right. Oh, damn. Okay. All right. Whoop. Let's check the results here. The two people in the finals right now on the Raj Royale podcast is Josh and Destiny. Erob and Casey Tron have been eliminated. God damn it. Oh no. Uh oh. They I tried to get my man they to They completely win. turned around. I'm sorry, Erob and Casey Tron. You have both been eliminated and you will not oh, be done. participating in it. We have the ultimate showdown conservative versus liberal. I, I didn't did I say cons okay? Uh, fuck. You said the most e right. Do you want to shout yeah, yourself yeah. out? The, the, the uh, problem with this is I generally agree with 90% of what Destiny says, so you're going to have to find a topic we disagree on. Dude. All right, oh, Casey, yeah. thank you so much. Would you, can you shout yourself out, please? Hi, my name is Casey Tron, and I. <laughs> Casey, your mic's cutting out. What'd you say? Your name's Casey Tron, and what? And I'm a dumb bitch. <laughs> and I stream on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> Follow right. me on Twitter. I'm unbanned now. Oh, really? Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. I'm going to go nice. follow you on Twitter. <laughs> like you can, 
<laughs> no, I can communicate with you. Thank you, Casey. Well, have yes. a good day. It's always fun to have you on. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, God you bless. God band? bless you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> How'd you get on band? I just, oh, okay. Um, I um, just message Twitter support a lot, like every day for like six or seven months. And I think somebody, fin well, not that long. It was like three or four months. <laughs> I don't know. I think a real person finally read it and unbanned me. And I got banned for saying that I would cut somebody's dick off and wear it around my neck as a trophy. But I only said it Jesus. to be a feminazi. So uh, I what thought that account was did you, uh, yeah, yeah, but what, what account did you uh, uh, tag them in? Or, or, or was it an email? <laughs> it was, oh, it was an email. Yeah, I oh, emailed yeah. Twitter support. Okay. okay, cool. That's good to know, just in case. Yes. All right, thanks, Casey. Thank you, guys. Have a wonderful day, Casey. Bye-bye. See ya. Bye. All right, the finals are in here. Destiny versus Josh. Holy shit, we need to find a good fucking topic. Oh my god. Nothing about incels. He went over the audience. It's a hot dog yeah, I mean, that's unfair. That is unfair. That's true. Uh, well, I mean, I have a good topic, but yeah, it's you can go on, go on, try it, go You on. can go on for it. I'm, I'm looking it's, through my topics right now. I have a good topic. I mean, it's dead though. Ooh, what what up, hey, what hold on, hold on. Destiny, what do you think about trans people in sports? That, it's that's so complicated. Don't do another. <laughs> right, well, okay. Insanely All right. Is the my, what about no? The, let's get into it. It's complicated. What about the fat acceptance movement for society? This is an easy one. It's probably stupid. We're probably not going to disagree on this. Okay. What uh, do you disagree? Okay. What's your what's your quick no, take, it, real quick, Destiny? My quick take is that people should love themselves. Like just because you have a bad body doesn't necessarily mean you should hate yourself for it. Demonizing the fuck out of fat people and making them feel like shit about being fat clearly doesn't make them not be fat. Um, there is no psychological evidence that bears this out, right? It seems like being more encouraging towards people helps. However, there's a fine line between accepting yourself and loving yourself versus encouraging everybody to be fat. And the latter, I feel like sometimes the health at every size movement goes that way. We're saying like, oh, well, being fat is fine. It's like, well, no, it's probably not good. But like, you shouldn't hate yourself because you're fat, but you probably shouldn't be fat. Hold on, Brexit, yeah. Brexit. It. <laughs> what okay. the fuck is Brexit? Hold on. Oh God. Brexit. Did you vote? Did you vote Remain? No. Or did I you didn't vo vote. Okay. I'm too. I didn't vote because I was too stupid to understand the thing, and I know that, so I didn't vote. Okay. All right. You guys. Yeah. I don't think you guys. Disagree Brexit on that is the one. United Kingdom's uh, decision to leave yeah. the European Union. Destiny. That yeah, was. I, I know. I know yeah. what it is. I just didn't vote because I. I wasn't well informed enough about like what it would do. That was a very centralist just... argument there, Destiny. No, everyone was just saying different shit, and then like they. I didn't know who to believe. Ooh. <laughs> if you could run Twitch for a day, week, or month, whatever, a, a, a period of time, what would you do with that power? That's a good question. Go ahead, Josh. All right. Um, not much different, I think. Like, mm. okay, oh, uh, pe people have problems with Twitch, right? People have all these fucking problems with Twitch. Like, oh, the moderation's inconsistent. Oh, this, oh, that. Okay, the things I would actually do is just make the features fucking work, right? It seems like every single feature that Twitch releases is like half baked and kind of shitty, right? They release sub gift, like mass sub gifting, right? And then you have no control over who it goes to. You can't gift to people who were previously held, people who follow alongs, people who are actively chatting. They have their own algorithm that you have no control of. And like every single fucking feature that Twitch releases, like the community tag and stuff, feels like completely half baked and shit. That's the only thing that like I actually have a problem with on this platform. Other than that, it's pretty fucking reasonable for like a private company to not want like hate speech and shit on the platform. Like, yeah, you can be able to, like CX ten toes down and want like ice and shit. Thrown and I, I like ice always with like, but it's just like it, I don't disagree with them not wanting that shit on their platform. Like, I can understand why they wouldn't want to do that, and I think they probably wouldn't want to do that anyway. I don't know. I mean, like, the only thing yeah. I change is they have like half baked features, and that's it. I mean, honestly, I think Josh has the best take on half-baked features and companies releasing them. He's a World of Warcraft player, so if anything, he has the most yeah. credibility. Destiny, your All right, here's my platform. I got three things. Number one, for the chat, ban Amaranth. Not for any okay. good reason, but just because. Oh, yeah, this let's, is kind of. Let's go. fuck one. you. This is, you're just trying to win the bullshit. chat. <laughs> no, you, okay. All right, incels, listen up, okay? This guy <laughs> Wait, hold on. had sex before. This guy's had sex before. Sex before. Let, let you neglected guy. them, okay? Sex that was your platform. I love the audience, okay? There's number one. Number two, um, I'm seeing a lot of CXs in chat. I would say, I would say that there should be a process for previously indefinitely banned streamers to get unbanned not so that they can get partner and stream on twitch again but just so they can appear in people's <laughs> streams so people like ice poseidon and people like hyphonics i think it'd be cool if they were unbanned just so that like i could hang out with them right or, or somebody could hang out with them or have them a on the soft unban a soft unban yeah something like that yes. maybe. or like even just like an unban but no partnership they would have to like re-earn that or do all that shit again or something yeah maybe. exactly um, like like sorry before to interrupt the as I am I getting cut off by a non-contestant so, right now I, I, but i just want to add on to what you said <laughs> okay Go ahead. Destiny is that yeah. like people like Slicker, where 
he he's uh, he's banned right now, but he could appear on the show and not break the rules because I'm there to watch mm -hmm. over him. Had he had or I been even there, you could take on the responsibility for it. Like you'll understand. Like okay, yes, I'll have ice on my stream, and if he breaks the rules, like I'll take the heat for it. Like that's on me. Okay. Right? Anyway, continue yeah. with your last one. Sorry. Um. Okay. Last two. One tier two and tier three subs on Twitch should get double long emotes. There's no reason not to. People would tier two and tier three sub like crazy and having the double long emotes would be fucking awesome. Tier three subs get triple long emotes. That shit would be fucking awesome. And then my final idea, this is the killer one that Twitch is never gonna do. Amazon, you should be able to set your stream so that only Amazon Prime subs can watch it. You have an Amazon Prime sub only stream, and while you have that stream on, you should be able to watch videos and stuff that are available on Amazon Prime with your audience, because everybody there has it anyway. So you're not like violating any IP or anything. That would be my. Those would be my changes. Josh, do you want to add anything to your changes? Those are all really good ideas and stuff, Destiny. Um, yeah, having thought about it some more and thought about this competition some more, uh, I would make subscribing to everyone free. I would allow pornography on Twitch and people can say and do what they want. Uh, everyone in chat would be given money for the amount of time they watch. That's what I do with Twitch. Is that. I think those are all great ideas, Destiny. I agree with all of them, uh, but I have my own as well. So, yep, great. I'm done. Wow. Who do you. Yep. Mm. Mm. Wow. No, but seriously, the band streamer thing is actually completely correct. Like, it's it's insane that... Did you see, like, a, I guess you have seen at events and stuff, whenever... Pe like, ICE is walking around, and IRL streamers are like... Oh, they have to, like, hide their they, 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 like, turn the cameras away because they're frightened of yeah. looking at him and stuff. Like, it's so insane that a company has that stance when they should be able to recognize, like, how completely unreasonable it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. No, yeah, 100%. All right, 30 seconds left. <laughs> Maybe another crazy idea. I don't think this would work for a variety of reasons, but you should be able to set your stream to like a no ad stream. So you're not allowed to run ads on Twitch and then you can do whatever the fuck you want on that stream. <laughs> you can say the gamer words and you can show the gamer images, whatever the fuck you want to do. On a no ad, NC17, you have like a warning that pops up like you're about to enter like the dark zone of Twitch or some shit. That would be some funny shit, but that'd probably be a bad idea. All right, Destiny, you're on the heels of potentially your fourth victory. Josh, you are trying to dethrone a champion on the Raj Royale. What is on the line is a brand new Woodwatch by Jord. Courtesy of Jord. Woodwatch is by Jord. All right. Please, Doc, present me the poll. Thank you. I gave it to you. There you go. Thank you. All right. Vote in the poll. The winner of this poll wins the Raj Royale and walks away with a $250 Woodwatch by Jord. Thank you. All right. Here we go. Go ahead and vote. Vote in the poll. Vote for who you would like to win. Guys who, who don't look at the poll, Destiny or uh, Josh. Don't look at the poll. Hands off the keyboard. Hands don't look at the, the poll. All right, all right. Don't look at the poll. Hands off the I'm keyboard. I'm excited, dude. I'm excited. Oh, oh, oh. Six months. Thank you very much. All right. Please vote in the poll. Vote for who you would like. This could happen. Also, the winner gets a host from this channel, which is... You know, hey, I know you guys are big streamers, but hey, I do what I can. Listen, those hosts are big deals. These make or break our careers right now. <laughs> All right. By the way, next week on the Raj Royale, we're shooting for T-Pain. Wait, what? Wait, is that actually real? Wait, yes. Wait, that's real. We just, wait, need to, we just need to firm some things down, but that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get T-Pain on the Raj Royale podcast. Holy shit. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah. All right. Here we go. The poll is out. So we're trying to do it. It's not confirmed. That's what we're trying to do. It's not confirmed yet. Nothing's confirmed for the record. Nothing is confirmed. As of now, nothing is confirmed. Ladies and gentlemen, I am about to crown the winner of the Raj Royal podcast, sponsored by Jord. The winner of the Raj Royale podcast is going to be set after this advertisement. One second. Hold on. Oh just, I'm God. just kidding. I'm joking. Unbelievable. I'm this fucking with you. I'm yeah. fucking with you. Hold on. Just, all right. Hold on. What kind of? Sorry. All right. All right. As I take a sip out of my Arrowhead 100% Mountain Spring Water Cup. I am proud to announce the winner of the Raj Royale podcast is Method Josh!
God fucking damn it. Unfucking believable. I. Okay. We're coming on this shit show again. <laughs> oh, How come much on, are those watches worth? $250. Brand new wood watch by Jord. Okay. I'm sending you one. Wow. Brand new. That, that, wood watch by Jord. You do have to. I'm sending you a free wood watch by Jord. Taxes and yeah. shipping fees not included. Understood. Great. You make people pay the shipping on the watch you sent <laughs> You Listen, free, ladies and gentlemen, if you are in the United States, you get a brand new wood watch, but if you are overseas, you may have to pay an import fee. Uh -huh. But it is 100% free. Wood watch by George. All right. Congratulations. Yeah. Worth 250 $250. Okay. Which is approximately 20 pounds. Yeah. All right. Destiny, thank you so much for coming. Are you going, are, are any of you going live after this? Um, yeah, bed. I will be. Oh, but now I, f I don't want like a pity host. If he's going to bed, <laughs> fuck. No, host destiny. There you go. Um, oh, look at how fucking. I I, I, I kind of feel like I pandered a bit at the end, so I didn't really deserve. Like straight up, like the whole. I'm gonna be honest, boys. I don't actually think uh, that, uh, that like viewers should get money. Fuck you guys. You're worthless. I just said that. Uh, I was yeah, straight up. Like that was oh, just lying. Wow. I yeah. Sorry. Um. So I guess destiny takes that one. All right. Thank you, Josh. Destiny. Uh, I'll, are you going live? <laughs> Yeah, I will be, yeah. I will host you then. All right. Uh, thank you, Destiny. Go ahead and go live. All right. Okay. Bye, Destiny. Josh, since you don't want the host, you have given up his charity. Josh, thank you so much. Congratulations. Would you like to give a victory speech? Uh, it's been a pleasure. I, incels unite. Uh, but not the bad incels, only the good ones. Um, That's right. Sorry I had to take hand yet like that. It was not revenge explicitly, but it did make me feel quite good. Uh, <laughs> I hope me and her are still very cool. Uh, been a pleasure. Um, who voted Invader V off again at the start? Uh, E-Rob. E-Rob, yeah. Yeah, okay, I gotta have words with him. Yeah. Anyway, uh, it's been a pleasure, everyone. Good evening. Bye. Bye. Thank, you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Where the fuck is that echo coming from? Echo. 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 Jesus Christ, Kirk. Kirk, what the... Alright, let me mute him. Yo, Josh, it was great meeting you, brother. Yeah, you too, I can't actually. serve him here. Get him out of here. Oh, oh sorry. Get okay. the fuck sorry. out of here, Kirk. I can't. Kirk. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Josh. Take care, man. Josh, where right. can you be found on Twitch? Twitch.tv slash method Josh. Josh, you are a prime candidate for the Raj Schiller. Where can I contact you about that? Twitter. The same place as this. I feel bad asking you to come on my show so much, but fuck it. No, well, okay, if the Rachel is the one where you get me a girlfriend guaranteed, right? Yes. Well, I mean... <laughs> don't, don't, don't feel bad about that. Okay, all right. Thank you, yeah. Josh. Take care, man. All right, yeah. Bye-bye. Yeah. Okay, Ladies good. and gentlemen, let's give it up for my co-host, the one, the only, Trainwreck TV, Ape Gang. Thank you. Been up for 30 hours, but still came and showed in a big hey. way. <laughs> Anything from my boy Raj, dude. You and I go back, Raj. You and I yes. are in the same class of Twitch, dude. Hey, yes. There's got to be someone here. Someone here that people, you know, there's, just listen. Someone's got to be here to call on this out. You know what I'm saying, dude? Squad W. Squad W, Incel Kings. Incel Ambassador. Thank you, Raj, for having me on. Great show. Beautiful show. You're a sexy man. Can't wait to see you again in real life. Yeah. Shout out to all the incels in chat. We don't forget about you. Shout out to the gamers that chose gaming life because they were lonely in high school. I vouch for you. And Twitter.com slash TrainRexTV, right, Raj? Twitter Hell yeah, Twitter.com slash TrainRexTV. And also Twitter.com slash RajOfficial. My Twitter is getting a lot better. I'm proud of it. Thank you. All right. Dude, same. I'm so same. proud of it. Okay, same. let's tweet at each other. Okay. All right, bye. Twitter.com slash TV, boys. We're almost to 50,000 followers. Rog. And that's it, guys. Thank you, Raj. Later. Thank you, Love Train. You. Take care. Love you, man. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the conclusion.